reason some people say benign. Come all you loyal Britons and watch Twas by Design. Why, hello there ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Twas by Design stream. I'm your host Chris, and as always, I've got myself a brew. Cheers. Mmm. Oh man, that's a bloody good brew. That is. Oof, I'm going for that again. That is good. Mmm. Oh. How you doing, guys? How you doing, War? How you doing, Prophecy? How you doing, Shy? How you doing, Zeno? How you doing, Kashino? How you doing, Eleanor? How you doing, Amaral? How you doing, Leona? How you doing, Vasility? How you doing, Panzer? Welcome back. Hope you guys have yourselves a lovely, jubbly day today. I hope all is well. Um, back again with another Monster Hunter World stream. One of seemingly only a couple left because Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's Dogma 2 guys in like, well, I'm going to be hearing back from them tomorrow. I've emailed and they got back to me. Thankfully, I was talking to uh, Christina, who is the uh, Dragon's Dogma community manager for Europe. So hopefully, we'll have good news on the morrow. But they did get back to me, which is fantastic. So we're just waiting to hear. And then, obviously, we got... Um, what's it called? Uh, Thursday, Friday. Eight-year anniversary stream, guys. How you doing, Carbon? Shy, thank you for the five-stream streak. Street streak reset. Oh, we missed. We missed one day. That's the only problem with streaks is the feeling of missing a day. Hey, doing Kashiro? Welcome back. Hope you having yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. But yeah, today, guys, uh, co-stream with Viseri. Uh, I think he's just gone for a little break, but um, we I've got my uh, what's it called Discord up. I'll give him a call in a second and uh, get him on in. And uh, yeah, exclamation mark ID, I guess, if you want to join the lobby. We need to save a spot for... Uh, oh, I think Viserys already in, actually. Um, but I'll give him a call in a second. Um, you got surprise breakfast at work today. Oh, yeah. yeah. You Surprise breakfast? Wait, you had a surprise breakfast, as in someone made you breakfast? Or as in you had news or something happened at breakfast that surprised you? <laughs> What's your pawn's name? Milfordon! We got Milfordon. I made Milfordon as the pawn so that everyone can have Milfordon. Because stream mascot, you know. Anywho, I think this area's ready, so I'm gonna give him a call. It looks like he's come back from his break. So we'll get him on the thing, guys. And uh yeah, we'll get some hunting. Should be good fun. Let me uh let me quickly give him a bell. Cheeky bell. Hopefully this hopefully it's working. I always get nervous with Discord because sometimes it doesn't work. But I remember in the past I used to use it and it, it wouldn't work properly. Let's see, let's see. Can you hopefully you guys can all hear me okay? You thought that'd be your main character? No, no, no. If you watch my original Dragon's Dogma series, Milfordon was my pawn. Always the pawn, not my main character. Always the pawn. <laughs> How you doing, Viserys? Welcome back. <laughs> Hope you're having yourself a lovely, Hello. jubbly day today. Dude, how's things, mate? Oh, dude, that's busy, busy. Busy, busy. Love me, busy, busy. Standard. Stand that's the way you want it. That's the way you want it. Oh my god, wait, we is it full already? Oh my god, it filled up. That's it. It's one space. Yeah, I, I was in break <laughs> right now. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. And I told Gaudi to give me the to, to pick the session idea without thinking about oh shit. Maybe I should join first. <laughs> oh god. Before we post it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, I'm in here, I'm in here. Hang on a second. My my Discord's messing up. It said new audio device detected. Hopefully, wait, chat, oh. can you can you hear Viserio okay? Is the volume good? How are we? How are we looking? What are you saying, chat? Hello, hello. It is it is I. It is me. You can hear Viserio? You, you can hear? Me? It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, yeah? All good? Excellent. Excellent. Good stuff. Perfect. Um, but yeah, guys, whilst we start, if, if you're new here, just in case... Introductions to Viseri. We 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 have what's called a, an occasional twas day, as Viseri's lovingly called it. Um, 
That was that wasn't my yes. name for it. That was Viserys' I, name. I, um, I actually think Gaudi came up with that. Oh, that the Ga- Gaudi came up with. Okay, Gaudi's lovingly called it a twas day, um, yeah. where Viserys and I do some help hunters on a Tuesday. Um, yes. If you don't know, Viserys going for fifteen hundred followers. Now here's the thing, chat. I said he could get it before Dragon's Dogma Two. Dragon's Dogma Two is on Friday, which means fifteen hundred followers before Friday. That's the launch day. If you're not following Viseri, head on over. I put a link in the title, as always. Click on the link. Go give a follow, guys. 1,500 followers. I think, what, what's the actual official number, Viseri? Where are you at? The official number right now is 1,361. So you got to get 139 followers yeah. in three days. Indeed. Okay, there you go, chat. Challenge accepted. <laughs> 139. So if you haven't gone over and hit okay. the follow button yet, you are one of those 139. You can help him towards his goal. That's uh, that's his plan. That's his. Uh, that's what he's aiming at. So make sure you get on over there, guys. Get on over. Give a cheeky follow. Thank you. Thank the you for doing shout-outs. Yes, shout-outs indeed. The same goes for Twas oh, by he design. Ass, he is one ass. of the best... Monster Hunter players oh, I know nice. that has tons no. of knowledge about progression, no. helping, yeah, what you should do, what you have to do, what you like could do in the game at very specific points. And our good friend Twas is going for 100k at the end of the year slash when Wilds comes out and or 10k before Friday. Because guess what? There is an 8 year anniversary for Twas. With Dragon's Dogma release. Nah, it couldn't have been eight years. <laughs> couldn't be so, eight years? What? <laughs> he needs 900 followers to get to 10k before Friday. So guys, if you're new here and you don't know Twas, you don't have to know him, just give him a follow. Twas li- has literally forgotten one. more about Monster Hunter than some of us will ever know about Monster Hunter. Probably, yeah. <laughs> so honestly, that's that's accurate. Yeah, god that damn. That is accurate, yes. Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm Carbon and Corvus. Thank you guys for the follow. I'm good at being reminded of things, you know? Like, it comes back to me. That's the thing. Like, what was it? Like, the other day, so Viseri, I, can't, I think you might have been in chat, but we were trying to recall our adventures from dra- the original Dragon's Dogma, right? And there was a uh, yeah. there was a character that wasn't mine that I summoned in, and she was with yeah. us throughout like, like the whole game, right? This uh, this uh-huh. uh, it was someone else's pawn, and I was like, "What was the name of that pawn?" And it came back to yeah. me. It I could remember the name of the pawn that came back to me, like after all these years. And this is talking. This was six years ago. I haven't touched the game since. Oof. Oof. Big grill. Big, Big grill. grill. <laughs> Big grill. She was a magnanimous woman. Let, oh. let me guess. A uh, big girl sounds like it's. It's. I wanted to say like warrior type of thing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Big oh, grill. Yeah. Big grill was a big warrior. Grill. Yeah. Of course. With a, with a massive name, hammer. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> massive hammer. It was. She was great. I love big grill. And I was literally telling chat if someone makes big grill as their pawn, I will love them forever. A giant female barbarian. Um. Oh, well, warrior. Yeah. Perfect. So, I did do a little bit of tinkering in the Dragon's Dragon oh, Dogma 2 went character back? thingy. You went back. Nice. What did you and do? And I made a character. Yeah, yeah. And I I don't know if I'm going to use him, but I titled him Vice by Design. <laughs> Vice <laughs> by Design. Amazing. So maybe he does look a little bit similar to Lou. I don't know. Maybe it did happen. Could you get really big moustaches? I didn't make male characters, no. so I didn't play around with it. Sadly, no. I did try my best to, to get the biggest moustache I can find. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it's not very uh, very well done when it comes to beards and facial hair. Oh, I see. I didn't, I didn't get to play around with facial hair because I was doing the... I did women characters. I actually didn't... Uh, there's something I need to do is yeah. just play around with, like, the male character editor. Someone asked, hello, I want to give a gift code. I don't know. It's a Discord gift. Oh, 21 Ryuk. I... Oh, man, I don't know where you'd post it, to be honest. Is it for me or is it for the, just the community? Like... 
That depends. How you doing from Bush Cypher? Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. And, and hello to everyone in Viserys chat as well. I hope you're all having yourselves a lovely, jubbly day today. Oh, me as well. as well. Hello, guys. And over in, in Twas, chat on the other side. Uh, there is a spot for you, by the way, Viseri, in, in tradition. Oh, 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 Cheeky spot for tradition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What, 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 what are we playing? What do we do? I don't know, man. I mean, I, I just oh, equip I the sword and shield. Bogan. Never but... mind. Oh, you have to play light, but I'll play light bowgun as well yeah. then. <laughs> I have to play light bowgun. <laughs> I need to play it because I've got to get a thousand hunts with it, so that works for me. I'll bring me spread light bowgun. Um, thinking about slicing, but no. <laughs> Oh god, no, don't don't make me suffer. No, 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 no. Don't make me suffer. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I sing ammo, god, god. <laughs> I'll never forget slicing in Sunbreak. So, like, it obviously it was broken in base world, but they fixed it pretty quick. Slicing in Sunbreak was broken throughout the whole thing. And I remember yeah. you I could kill a Mitsu in like 45 seconds with a team of slicing ammo users. Like I, yeah, think, I think it was nuts. I think we did base level slicing because he had such a good um, um, hit zone for for slicing ammo because oh, it uses yeah, the yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, um, several hit zone, right? So I think I used slicing ammo. I think I used the Zenoga base, and the reason I did meet too was because you had the anti uh, aquatic thing that like boosted damage yeah. against water monsters, and I think it gave you like a huge boost. So the damage was just. Ludicrous. Yeah, we used to anti flying and we did it in four player and we oh, just annihilated. Yeah. God damn. Like, complete annihilation. Basil's Basil's hit zones are really good too, yeah. Yeah. Um Right, let's go then. Uh wait, have I got everything I need? Oh no, I didn't bring my ammo. God, good job, I bloody double check. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is this is why we always do a little double check <laughs> little double check. Oh no, it's the mm -hmm. wrong one as well. I need spread there we go, spread. Okay, let me let me check as well, just in case. I got it. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. You don't play this game? Oh, you don't play it, Ryuk? No Monster Hunter? You playing Dragon's Dogma 2? You're going to get converted. Yeah. You got to play Monster. I mean, Monster Hunter is just too good not to play. Yeah. It really is. Especially when Wilds comes out and everyone is going to hop onto the game. Oh, speaking of which, I had an interesting debate on Twitter the other day. Oh. Um, and uh, in input for you. So, a masterpiece, right? Would you consider, mm. just, just to get your take on it, does a masterpiece yeah. have to be perfect? Mm. A masterpiece in terms of the perfect in terms of, in game? Terms of, no, or? in terms of anything. Like, any... So, just anything. in general, as, as, as far as, like, a masterpiece goes, does it have to be... Per does something have to be perfect to be a masterpiece? In your opinion... No. Okay. Right, so I'm not going mad then. <laughs> okay. Why? Why happened? Well, because well, basically I had a disagreement with someone. And uh, ah. uh, and and the disagreement involved... My, my site was like, look, they basically said, look, Dark Souls is not a masterpiece. It's this, that, and the other. And I was like, they were like, it's not perfect. It's got loads of issues and... Uh, I'm paraphrasing basically, but I was like, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be perfect to be a masterpiece. Like, yeah, Dark Souls has its flaws, but like, it, by, mean, by that metric, nothing could be a masterpiece, you know? Yeah, because you can also not see it from today's perspective. No, as well, it came out in 2010 as well. That's the other thing. Yeah, for example, if you probably if you look at the first car that was invented. People would probably say that was a masterpiece. Yeah, exactly. But for t in today's standard, it's it's a piece of metal <laughs> that, that drives. <laughs> to, by today's basically. standards, it's a piece of poop. My fridge would probably drive better. <laughs> like, no! Probably, yeah, but... My controller disconnected. Oh, sorry. Like, this could even exist, I, I would assume. So... Yeah, I think a masterpiece is just some. It's hard to describe, actually. So I, I, I came up with a definition. I can't remember. I'll, right. I'll, I'll get my tweet up and I'll read it in a, in a second after this. Mm -hmm. But I did come up with a with a definition. Um, okay. I'll have to I'll have to get it up because I actually because uh, it's it's something that's kind of like it's it's defined. Lots of people have got their own definitions for what constitutes it. 
But I came yeah. up with my own one because I was like, oh, that's how I do. I do my own thing. Um, mm -hmm. And I'll, see, I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you see what you think of uh, my one. But no, no. What, what? What would you? Let's hear your definition, and then we'll. What, what, what do you reckon? Uh, how would you define it? It's a tough one, right? It's not easy to define when you think about it. Clodan mm. says a masterpiece is something that's in the 90th percentile of perfection. It doesn't quite reach the the you know the hundredth. Wait, now my controller, dude, my controller is completely disconnected. Oh come on, it's not even working wow. anymore, Basari. What what did I do? I don't know. I think I think it's my cable. I, I mean, see you carving. I think I need to get. No, yeah, I'm using my mouse and keyboard. Mouse and keyboard ah, gaming, mate. <laughs> mouse and keyboard gaming. I see. Um, how would I define it? I I think I would agree with Clodon. Like, yeah, a masterpiece is not. No, nothing can be a hundred percent perfect. Nothing. Can no, be. no, no. Exactly. This is there my point. Yeah. Like people will find the flaw. Like we have how many? Seven billion people in the world. Somebody will will find something. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so, I would agree. Like yeah, ninety or ninety-five to a hundred percent. I think that is. I, I would say a masterpiece. Nothing is ever going to be perfect anyway. No, exactly. Exactly. Oh my god. Dude, oh. Oh, for some reason, I thought I was doing Arena Telstra. I was going to say, dude, I got two decorations from that. I was like, I was shocked. Dude, I got the Kana from <laughs> Telstra. What the hell? <laughs> I'm so used to fighting, dude. I did so much Telstra yesterday. So many of them. Like, every time there was one up, I was just, like, hopping in and getting it done with the bow. Okay, so, he, so hang on a second. What did I What did I define it out? The only thing is I've, I've got so many notifications to scroll through because, I mean, question of the day popped off yesterday. People liked... The Slinger Ooh. Burst. Well, some people didn't like Slinger Burst. Um, a lot of people don't like it. But so my question of the day yesterday, again, chat and Viserys yeah. chat, if you want to um, check it out. But it was basically I said, uh, uh, what did you think of Slinger Burst? Would you like to see it come back? Uh, and it was it was actually a pretty even split. A lot of people didn't like Slinger Burst. And they say they want a new mm. mechanic. But uh, I was like... For me, I'm like, I feel like it should be a staple going forward. I think not, maybe not like every element, like all the combat elements necessarily, but in terms of having an object that you can load up and just shoot at things in the environment, no matter what, you don't have to like switch to it and throw it like in the old games. I thought it was brilliant. For me, Slinger Burst, wah, mm. yes. I don't know about I you. I think I like Slinger Burst because it's more interactive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, not only with the weapon, but also with the with the environment and the monster. Like, uh, for example, you want to get phone pots. How do yep, you get yep. phone pots? Do a do a you know clutch claw attack, which is a little bit weird because they go hand in hand, the clutch claw and the the slinger. But I, I think at this point it. <sighs> How do I say it to not make any 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 uh, enemies? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, forget making enemies. Who cares? Enemies uh, okay. enemies were made meant the to be clutch made. The claw is necessary for the slinger to work properly. Okay, okay. Like, if you want piercing pots or thorn pots or dragon pots, the best way to get them is with the clutch claw tenderized attack. That's true. Yeah, with a light weapon. That's the best way. If you fight a monster and you want to get the uh, the, uh, the 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 parts you have to damage the monster, and usually they they how when did they drop parts like fifty percent HP and then another one at like twenty five percent something like that. There is like a metric for that. But at this point, what's the point? Any what's the point anymore? Like if you get the thorn part at twenty five percent of the monster's HP, then you know do you do you still need it? Probably not. Hmm. So, so and what if what if they came up with a new mechanic to create uh, pods that without the clutch claw though? This is what I'm saying because you, I think you can remove the clutch claw and still have the slinger pod so long as you implement. Because obviously, yes, we have the mechanic where monsters drop pods at certain mm. health thresholds. But what if they added something where you could I mean, create if they pods? Would, or maybe maybe make it so you can craft pods we, out of ingredients yeah, in your thing. Yeah, if we spin it further and we just remove the monster pods, 
and just say, you know, you have more environmental pots and pots that, yeah, you can craft, for example. Yeah. I think then, yeah, it, it would be awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because then you actually go around, pick up stuff for your slinger. Yeah, and you make it. That would be kind of cool. And you make it. It helps enhance. This is the thing. This is why I think the slinger, but the slinger in general is good. Obviously, it doesn't do that, but like it enhances other mechanics within the game. Um, mm. even, even the simple act of just in interacting with plants to pick up pods, it's it's pretty interesting. Like it, it, a base level, it's like a not. Uh, a particularly well, it's not like a crazy revelation, but yeah. it does encourage you, even at endgame, to still interact with the environment. Whereas in Rise, there's none of that. And it, it does feel yeah. a bit, if you can, uh, for me anyway, I it feel like empty. it's, yeah, it feels a bit more empty. Like I'm never really gathering stuff, but I, I found my definition. So this is what I said. Yeah. I said, masterpieces do exist. I, and I said, for me, Dark Souls would absolutely fit the bill. It's not perfect. Nobody expects perfection when referring to something as a masterpiece. It's something that's so influential or enjoyable or can be close to perfection as to, uh, as to the... Uh, uh, so, as, so I said, as the person points out, you refer, you'd refer to it as a masterpiece because I said it can be close. They, they were saying like, oh, uh, something, you know, maybe not perfect, but close to perfection. I was like, yeah, 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 it could be close to perfection. Um, I yeah. said, and I said, essentially, it's not about, so art in general isn't about perfection. It's about the meaning and enjoyment derived from the beholder. If enough people call it a masterpiece and the majority of people agree with the statement, then it's fair to mm. call it such. And then I, and then I said, the notion of something that, that something must achieve perfection and only then can be considered masterful is complete bollocks. Um, <laughs> that's, that's what I said. That was my, yeah. uh, my piece. But I feel like, I feel like that's a, a good way of looking at uh, a masterpiece. Yeah. I, I I agree, yeah. I mean, what's the definition or what 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 was the saying from that guy in Dragon's Dogma 1 about masterpiece? Oh, there's masterworks all, you can't go wrong. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh, dear, yeah, dude, there's a whole shop of masterpieces. God damn. Yeah. Yeah, but there, nothing can be 100% perfect anyway. Like, nothing can. This was my point. At least in our world right now. No, nothing is, is... No, it's it's not... Um, perfect. The, the thing is, even if something's perfect to somebody, something might be considered perfect. That doesn't mean it's perfect. That's why I said it's about how someone perceives it. Because the, yeah. the next person, it might be uh, perfect, yeah. Um, let me see what's yeah, been like posted. Yeah, we would probably yeah. consider the world a masterpiece. I would absolutely, yeah. Probably, probably says he doesn't like world that much, like we do. Yeah. So, yeah. And 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 likewise with Rise or Gen Yu, like some people are going to consider those masterpieces, and there's going to be people that, that that don't like at all. Um, for me. I, 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 I'm trying to think. Is there a Monster Hunter game I wouldn't consider a masterpiece? Uh, four. You, oh, really? Four for you? For me, it's, yep. honestly, it's the original Monster Hunter on PS2. I wouldn't consider uh, that a I masterpiece. Would, I would disagree with that one, actually. Oh, you really think? You think the, yeah. Yeah, you think the original one was a because masterpiece? Because even though it's, it's super wonky and cl clunky and you don't know, it was completely different. From games you had. It's true. It was an innovator. It was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, there you go. It yeah. did something completely different and it spawned, well, what do we play right now? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh, no. I'm not saying. So, so I'm not saying like. Uh, so, so for me, I don't think it was a masterpiece at that time. I don't think it had achieved masterpiece status. I think the masterpiece status came around once it hit second generation for me. That was where uh, it was like. Yeah. Uh, for me, I feel like there was so the, the the idea in number one is brilliant and it's a great game, but it's kind of like hmm. Demon Souls to Dark Souls. I don't think Demon Souls is a masterpiece. I do think Dark Souls was. I feel like Dark Souls took the formula that was established with Demon Souls, which again is a bloody brilliant game. Same with Monster Hunter One, but it became a masterpiece. Like they improved upon it so much as to make it um, make it such. That's how I feel. But again, that's again, 
someone's going to, like you said, if you, you might consider uh, Monster Hunter 1 a masterpiece. I'm not going to necessarily disagree with it because it was, it, it, yeah, if, if the metric for masterpiece is just how innovative it is, then yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, now, why I consider For You not a masterpiece is because I don't like the game. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair I, enough. I, I don't like it. What didn't you? What, like it, it, what was the? What was it you didn't like about it? Out of interest. Two major enemies of mine: yeah. ledges and slopes. Oh, two right. Two major enemies that are still consistent in every Monster Hunter following. <laughs> God, they, I mean, they were. Why do they do that? Because of mount. Yep, yep, yep. And if you look at Rice, we have Insect Lave, and mounting is completely out of the window. They got replaced by Vyron Riot and Insectlave lost its job. Mm, yeah, I guess. There's no job for Insectlave anymore. Like, yeah, it was supposed to be the mounting weapon. But well, what's the job now? It's it's a it's an a flying weapon. Oh, we have double monkey. Oh, do we? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Yeah. Um Oh wait, wait, Red Dragon need help. Red Dragon, are you in the session? You're not. Um by the way, we have one. Bunny heart, yes. That could need help. All right, yeah, with yeah. The build. Yeah, yeah. What the? What, uh, what stage are they at? Whereabouts they at in the game? Um, I think they are at the Safi Recon. If Bunny heart, okay, if you're here and okay. you're listening. So we're talking Rage and wanna... stage, yeah. Wait, what? What weapon yes. did they play? What weapon did you play? Uh, what, what weapons does uh, does Bunny play? What are they looking to uh, make? For? Great sword. Oh, okay, nice, interesting. Right now, great sword. Okay. So, Bunny, um, are you still needing help with the Safi Recon, or are we at Raging Becky now? And Dino, we have a second lobby if you need help. Because there were so many uh, so many people who, who who wanted to join today oh my goodness, <laughs> to a, make a second lobby. It's a busy You're day, Raging. man. Let me, oh, let me tell you, it's busy. Yeah, Bunny, if you want to post up Raging, go for it. And we're going we're gonna to hop in and, and give you a hand. Oh, right, okay. I'm helping with Raging. All right. Sorry about the double yep. monkey, guys. I'm going to go help with Raging quickly. You guys. Yeah, if um, Bunny is running around with full Stygian armor. So, might give a hand getting um, that Raging back here. I'll, I'll play DBs. Why not? Just so I can help with claggers and stuff. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play Swax. If you want to play something else, I'm going to go Parkbreaker for the uh, tail. Wait, you said they play Greatsword? I'll play Greatsword as well. Yep. That way they can position on me and they might pick up a thing or two. Okay. You joined the second one, Red Dragon? Yeah, um, if you just post your nice. your stuff in the second session, I'm pretty sure people are going to join and help you. All right. I'm hopping in. Raging Bracky. So yeah, fourth generation is probably my least favorite one. Except GU. GU is, is is peak performance, but 4 and 4 Ultimate, I don't like those After games. playing GU, it very much is 4U+. Plus. The the vibe I get from yeah. it is it's it's everything that 4U did and then more. Uh, yeah, it, it really is just like an objective. I guess maybe not story-wise, but like the overall mm -hmm. just like... Again, for the nostalgia factor is unreal in uh, for you. It's crazy. I mean, sorry, uh, Genu. Yeah. It's, it's uh, immense. I... Going back to all the old villages, I really wish they played into that a little bit more because it doesn't last very long. It's sort of, yeah. Maybe for me, it's also the fact that for you was on 3DS and I just can't cope with the tiny screen and oh, stuff like oh, that. Oh, I was it's used to that because of the nightmare. PSP. That's the thing. So for me, it was like, it was normal. Well, I'm... my first one was on Wii, so I had a big monitor. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, it yeah, went yeah. back to 3DS, <laughs> and I had this tiny little screen, and, you know, I had to squint my eyes and actually put the 3DS into my face to see something. So, I, I mean, I started on the PS2, Ooh. but that was back when I had a, you know, I had a 14-inch CRT monitor back then, the, one of those TV video combis. So going to the PSP with its lovely LED screen, it looked way better than my, like, tiny little TV that I had playing yeah. Monster Hunter on like the PS2. So the upgrade yeah. to PS2 was huge. Then obviously when the Wii came out, like, yeah, it looked good, but I wasn't like hyper enthralled with the try. Like it was good, but- oh, Try, perfect. And then uh, and then obviously back to 4U again, I was like, 
I, Bio is perfect. It might not have looked as good, but it played for me. It was it played really good. Yeah. Hey, do Miko um, walk back? Bunny, you might have the Kana armor, but the thing is, the Kana Alpha and Beta are very inefficient right now. So if you play Greatsword, it would be better to just go for a normal build because the Kana is nice with Frostcraft. But you but, lose a lot. Yeah, you lose a lot. And just getting those pieces because you want Frostcraft, it's a little, it's super inefficient because of the armor. Fr Frostcraft is incredible and it can account yeah. for a lot. But you're gonna lose consistency because unless you've got like, and I, and I and I preface this literally like you've gotten the perfect decoration rolls up until this point, um, in yeah. which case you can get 100% crit and crit boost on it and it, it will do good. But I I do genuinely think at that stage in the game a Bracky Safi, Bracky Kaiser, uh, Bracky Frostfang, those combos are, uh, well Bracky Cool Frostfang as well, Bracky Allen. There's a, there's, yeah. a, there's a lot of different builds you can go for, but I do think, yeah, as Viserys says, they'll they'll give you a bit more, bit more versatility, a bit more survivability, which again is something you're going to want going forward as well. Yeah, they not only do they have more defense, but they also come with way better skills, and also Master's Touch from Kaiser is, especially with Lightbreak or Frostfang weapon that have only a little tiny bit of purple, and Handicraft doesn't do anything for them. It's so, so much better to have Master's Touch on those. Mm. Oh, as uh, Zeno points out, the PSP was LCD, not LED. Yeah, but my point is, you're going from CRT to LCD. Like, I can't describe to you how big of a leap that oh, was. Oh, I know. I played, I played Try on a big, big old TV. Like, on a, on a beefy one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the, the big CRTs looked good. I had, I'm, uh, what I'm talking about is literally like, you know the thirty-two inches we had. We had a thirty-two inch CRT in the living room, but I wasn't. I, I think wasn't I think really allowed to play too. games on them because that was like the family TV. But in my room, I had a little, tiny little. I mean, we're talking like my phone screen's height was the height Oof. of the TV screen. Obviously, it was like uh, a lot wider. <laughs> but that was what I that see. was what you had. That was what you had, man. That was it. And like obviously, that was incredible. Like you know, I was lucky to have a TV. Um, yeah. <laughs> like. It's, ATV? Yeah. <laughs> it's just having a TV you had, in general. You had Arch Tempered Volcano. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Early, <laughs> early access, mate. Early access. You got no, you got no people <laughs> pulling the strings, you know? Early access. <laughs> <laughs> early access ATV, like what? 15 years before it came out? Wow. Mate, wow. I know, dude. Riozo and I, we go back, mate. He was like, oh, it was, you yeah. know, me, me as, a, as a little kid. Uh, you want to you wanna test out this uh, Monster Hunter Monster, you know? I plan on releasing uh, about a decade releasing from now. In a, in a couple of years. Or oh, could someone grab second Warnock, by the way? Because uh, oh yeah, I can, I can. I am. Uh, I need me pods. Being great sword and all that. Oh, Ellen, Eleanor, got it. Thank you, Eleanor, legend. Cheers, me dear. And yeah, Bunny, uh, your great sword is good. The Volcano one, Ice Element. Virgin oh, we're Gretti getting. Is weak to ice. Get him the uh, what's it? Frostfang straight upgrade. Yeah, yeah, but for now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For now, yeah. It, it, works, it works. And Ezzy, hello, welcome in. Oh, I missed. Bugger. Wait, who's on Clagger? No! Me. Oh! Me. Oh! Me. Sure. <gasps> Calm down. I, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I forgot you had a <laughs> uh, switch axe. I got you. And if I don't have it, then then I think Eleanor can, can get it. I need a weak spot on one of the arms in case I miss the head. Come on, give me, give me the tail. Thank you. Thank you. Put a weak spot on. I'll do it. Die. Damn it. Oh shit! I don't, I don't. Okay, I don't know. Got it. Don't know if I got this. Oh, he moved. Damn it! No. Something this... broke. Oh, we got the, we got one arm back. Put weak. Yeah, I, I, the the only problem is, is that no one put weak spots on at the start, so I keep hitting the arms, and I'm getting no crits, so I'm literally hitting 900s. <laughs> Wait, I have great sword, shit, your tender eyes are so slow. Yeah, I'm nothing to do. I've done every single one, mate. <laughs> we got the NWC. The NWC. The no weak spot crew. 
Okay, I hit the it's head me, there, at least. I have only put one on the tail for me. <laughs> I know. I got flash. one on that. Wait, why? Did... Oh no, he, he's what? done then. What the hell? He I ignored the done. flash. There's no, no, nah, there's no way. That flash would have got him. But uh... is it Safi again? That's weird looking Safi ignoring flashes right there. I'll pop a trap as well just to see. Oh, you put it before mine. <laughs> so I'll put one after as well because I don't think he's anywhere near. Okay. Yeah, no. Uh, no, Laurel, we, we don't do Safi. Laurel is addicted. Laurel is a machine when it comes to Safi. Laurel helped more people with Safi yesterday than I've helped with Safi all month. Yeah, I, I, it, it, I'm telling you, it's an addiction. <laughs> that, that, that's not normal. The NWC is a good name for Future Viserys Steam Group. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Malding, thank, uh, Malding even, thank you for the follow, welcome. And Bunny, thank you for the follow as well, welcome, it's good to have you with us. The fuzzy screens were your favourite? That zero delay was so good for Guitar Hero. Oh yeah, I mean they oh, had yeah, their, they yeah. had their benefits, man. The CRTs. Yeah. Oh, Gene, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Oh, I missed completely there. Sucks. And Potato Panda, thank you for the follow as well. Got him. Nice. That's the head break. Oh, nice. <laughs> and again. Sit down. <laughs> Come on. I was mad. What the hell? I was pressing circle there. I should have done a shoulder barge. Oops. A tackle. There you go. GG. There we go. Don't forget the tail. I'm going to stand on it. Get your yeah, one. Thank you guys well, for the follow. What do they need? Uh, immortal reactors. Oh, wait. Have they got the light break? That was the very first Lurching Bracky. They have nothing. Oh, man. Okay. Make the light break greatsword first, then. That's yep. a huge upgrade. Light break, great sword, and then chest piece, legs, both beta for great sword. Yep, yep. And then, would you reckon we go all Kaiser or we do uh, Frostfang pieces? Mm. Um, Frostfang's more efficient slot wise. Kaiser gives you. Ma Actually, to be fair, great sword doesn't need master's touch. I never. Sharpness isn't an issue, especially if you get yeah, protective polish. Doesn't really need it. Yeah. I guess we go for efficiency then. Just go. Yeah. Last thing. So, uh, oh, oh, how, how would you how would you do that? Oh, you know what we do. Uh, this is so. This is what you do. You do raging bracky helmet, raging bracky top, and legs because the top's good, mm -hmm. slot efficient, agitator too, agitator yeah. charm. So, and then you go uh, frost fang gauntlet some waist. The waist is okay. Um, not bad. It's got good slots. I know that it mm -hmm. does have quick sheath too, which for great sword there is some benefit to it. Or is that the fastest raging run? No, 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 no. Or you do Damascus the... Waste. Focus one. Well, you could... If you want, you can also keep the Stygian legs. That has Focus two. Uh, yeah, but the... Um, raging Bracky legs are so good if you're... I don't know, I don't know what yeah, the decoration... Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah, the, if I don't know what the decoration situation is, but... Raging Bracky legs are on par with Garuga, except they're better in the sense that... If you don't have Wex decos, and Wex is so like important, don't even have the Stygian legs. Ooh. Okay, so you would say, uh, let me build it real quick. Bracky legs. I say Bracky chest. Yeah, and Bracky helmet. Bracky helmet, and then uh, Frostfang gauntlets. Definitely, they're too good. I think at this stage. Frostfang, and for the coil. Well, 
What does Frost Fang have? Quick Sheaf. It's it's just mm. yeah, it's just Quick Sheaf with good slots, so it just gives you some versatility. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's better than like in terms of efficiency, it's better than most other things. Hmm. And they don't need Wex because they've ATV already got it on the helmet. ATV would be nice for free focus. But... Oh yeah, <laughs> of course, absolutely. Then we might as well get the whole ATV. Wait, what's their level? Uh, thirty-eight. Oh, okay, yeah, no, nah, listen, raging brachius yeah. then. Yeah, I think I think that's a great build for the level then. In that case, other people uh, got the immortal reactor except me. Well, we can go again. I I I got two. I I know. I'm so sorry. I got one as well. <laughs> I, I wait. Did I get two? I at least got one. I carved one. I think I got one in the rewards, but I wasn't paying attention. Try yeah, doing a hundred super uh... jumps in Mario RPG without a CRT. I feel bad because I got I had the most amazing CRT guys, Viseri. It was I had a a massive Sony one. Like before I before I upgraded, well. before I upgraded. So this was before HD. Obviously, I didn't have the little combi CRT video forever. My uncle mm -hmm. at the time uh, gave me a Sony. Like a, he had an old Sony, a huge one. We're talking this thing weighed forty kilograms. It was massive. It was like bloody 36, 38 inch, which at the time was nuts. Anyway, I had this wow. big, big wooden table in my bedroom to support it. And even then that thing was buckling under the weight of this bloody thing. Yeah, I had, uh, I had also a pretty big one in my room, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you I have? have um, I, I don't remember. It was so long ago. I don't remember how big it was, but it was fairly big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, probably something like 30, 32 inches, probably. Yeah, it must have been. I, I would say. That was like that was like the like the biggest ones they made. Was You didn't have 40, really, back then. The Raging Berkey's up. Because the thing was, to make a 40-inch one, like, you had to... The back of the TV had to be even bigger for, like, a yeah. massive uh, cathode ray tube, you know? Like, a huge bloody thing. Yeah. So it could fire all them, uh, them X-rays out. Was it X-ray? All oh, them X-rays. What was it? What did it use? Was it? Is it? Is it X-rays that it fires? I can't remember what a cathode ray tube fires. Let me let uh, me Google it. I learned about I this know. in physics. Let me see. And uh, Mossy, thank you for the follow and welcome in. Yeah, I'll come it's join the other down. raging bracky. Let me cathode ray. Yeah, the quest is up. Tube fires <clears> which <throat> rays. The first time I fought regular Becky, I got this mantle. Yeah, the pallium, you would, you probably need that one for the armor, actually. That's oh, no. You have one. That was it. It was electron beams at a phosphorescent screen. That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't, um, X I don't know why I thought it was X rays for some reason. I think it's because I was learning about it on the same bloody, because we were learning mm -hmm. about devices that use rays to produce images. So we learned yeah. about like X rays and stuff. Uh, Electrons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny. yeah. Um, beta legs, beta chest, beta helmet, and the the great sword that the weapon. If they don't, you know what, we could go raging bracky beta waste as well. Now I know that I seems mad, it. but like they're not going to have an agitator charm five. So realistically, yeah. it's probably maybe the... even a little bit better. And then frost crab. Yeah. You only need one frost thing anyway because punishing draw. Exactly. You don't get the benefit of the three. You're not really going to be shoulder barging to the point where you need slug a secret. Yeah. You know, maybe we just do that. I think, it, yeah, it's probably better. It gives them agitator well, five right out the bat and, yeah. I can make the chest right now, but should I wait? No, no, the chest is oh, good. Make the chest. Yeah, just get it. Just get it straight away. The chest is good. With, with Raging Bracky, just make the pieces as you can. Um, yeah, I bet. Just get, go, for, go for it. Hey, um, dude, you? Yeah, Welcome but back. I think it's a good idea. Only like full Raging Bracky except the armors, which are Frost Fang, because they are just really good. Yeah, and gaining Punishing Draw is a nice little bonus. Uh, yeah. Plus, Critical Eye is the hardest decoration to come by, paired with like, no, you, you know, get attack. A, you get a four. No, I mean like... To get the two, you know, to get multiple of them efficiently is, is the hardest thing to oh, come yeah, by. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. because at that point you can always run the Master's Charm three, which is very easy mm. to get, and then you've got your Crit Eye Deco. You have got the Crit Eye two on the gloves plus the Master's Charm yeah. three. That's it. You're at Crit Eye seven. Simple. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good to me. So, Bunny, everything from Raging Bracky except the arms. Everything beta. 
Should I equip it right now? Um, I think you can, yeah. The full Stygian doesn't really... Uh, oh, yeah, 100%. You anything, right? Yeah, Raging Bracky, yeah, 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 yeah. No, you can equip it straight away. Yeah, equi equip it right away. Even if you have right now five piece Volcana, you can. You don't do Frostcraft if you equip one piece. How you doing, Rock Friend? How so, you doing, yeah. Alex? Welcome back, guys. Go equip back. it. And here, my what weapons are excluded from the break key, Tiostra? Uh, gunner weapons. Every uh, bow, bow guns, they are completely excluded because they don't need Master Touch at all. Um, gun lens is excluded because gun lens goes for four piece Raging Bracky. Yes, yeah. Um, charge Blade can use it if you go Savage Axe, then you want the Teostra. If you go SAD, Impact File, you're gonna go for four piece Raging as well. And if you go SAD Element, you wanna go for four full Staffy if you can. Uh, I think. I think that's it, right? The other ones can make very good use of, of Master's Touch. So so for me, uh, I was more using the... If for the, a lot of the raw builds, if I wanted Agitator Secret, I'd go two-piece Bracky, three-piece Safi anyway. And then i just utilize... Yeah, for, uh, uh, for dual blades for something like yeah, that. Yeah, blades. and i, I utilize the old uh, Protective Polish. Just uh, Yeah, you mm -hmm. had to sharpen a bit more, but the damage increase was pretty huge. Because you can activate Resentment as well, just with three-piece Safi, which was big because 25 rods pretty freaking good i see yeah so lance Wax, and ig will use the same build uh they can yeah they can all make good use of master's touch and edgy secret picky also wants four to five piece raging yeah that's what i mean by uh, um bow guns and bow they don't use the Astra at all doesn't make sense for those weapons all right you ready was boogie bunny Seems like when you L tap, you DC. Yeah, that can happen. Mm. That can happen. Um, I suggest, actually, even though it's, you know, mods and stuff, get the performance booster mod. That can help you. My sticky build is waiting for KT. Ah, sticky for KT is not that great because you don't want to get the chaos in area one or, or, area, or two. area two. Yeah. You want to only get the uh, the Chaos in Area 3 when it's actually uh, necessary to get them. Um, again, I need someone to get second Moonock, just a reminder, because... Uh... Yeah, I can, I can. Thank you. You're welcome. There we go. Did you chuck a weak spot on the arms for me? <laughs> just because my thing's so bloody slow, sorry. Oh, lower got it. Oh, I'm gonna go on the other one. Legend. Cheers, guys. Thank if you. If I can. There we go. Oh, that's a big hit. There you go. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It makes a difference. You're welcome. Always. It's only because my thing is so bloody slow at doing it. It's. I'm gonna get the, uh, the lag. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, headshot. You look so weird because you don't have layered armor. Yeah. It... Before Guiding Land, I mean, before you can make layered armor from monsters you want, you look a little bit weird. If you have a mixed set on, and a lot of people will look like... Oh, wait, was know. that a clagger? Oh, that is a clagger. Okay. Yeah, it was. I took it immediately. Oh, no. So I, Do you have I'm... a poison build for Swax? No, I don't. Poison in World is it's one awful. of the worst yeah. statuses. Except for two monsters, which is Safi and Shara. The only reason but... you use poison in this game is if you literally don't have the blast, access to a blast weapon, and you want a status yeah. that isn't going to interrupt the flow of combat. That's, that's it. But most poison weapons, for example, Longsword or Charge Blade, they're Gold Raffian. You don't use them for the poison, you use them because they are just good weapons. Oh, oh, no. oh a little bit too late. Oh wait, no, no, wait, what the, wait, what the hell was that? Flinch. Oh, right, yeah. I'm yeah, out. poison is one of the, uh, the, the worst statuses in the game. 
Oh, it's probably the worst one. And only uh, only Safi really makes use of that because Safi takes way. Yeah, he's good. Fuck? He's done. He's done. I'll trap okay. check him, but yeah. I mean, we do have Laurel and Pierce Heavy done. Bowgun. Yeah, the, yeah. I got probably five or six TCSs there. All right. 2,000 damage a pop, and then Laurel with a Heavy Bowgun. That's huge. We only missed like one Clagger. But I'm pretty. Oh, oh, no, no. I was wrong. Never mind. Flashes don't work today, uh, it seems. Yeah, no, mine didn't work before either. It might just be uh, with Lucille as the host. Maybe something like a latency positioning issue or. Another one. I'll host the next that one. Could be. Yeah, you'll host the next one. It does happen. It happens with Safi well, as well. You and Tua stream during Stockman 2 at the same time. Uh, I will stream probably on, on, on Friday. I am going to stream on Friday. However, for Seri, I have heard back from Capcom. So. Oh. Yeah, they're going to be. I did not. They're going to be contacting me tomorrow. I, I can send you an uh, email maybe. Um, oh, we we already are. In, oh, oh, yeah, of course in you contact, are. Yeah, that's. But... I don't even know why I'm blooming saying that. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine, but yeah, it's. Dude, they I should don't know do. How they much I can talk because I do know something. Oh, okay, but fair I enough. No, no, don't, don't, no, 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 Don't compromise you know. yourself. <laughs> don't compromise yeah, no, yourself, Viserys. Um, say nothing, mate. I, I better not say anything. Yeah, I can just tell in case. You probably in private. Yeah, yeah, no, no, don't, 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 don't. Uh, somebody needs to take that. I'm already. <laughs> yeah, Thank I'll make. I'll, I'll take it. Just kind of need a weak spot anyway. Thank, Thank you. you, Laurel. I know Laurel went for it. Legend. Sorry. Trust Laurel. Oh, what? Huh? I broke the arms. Yeah. That was weird. Do we have a head break already? No, I need a bit, of, a bit of a hand with that. I have landed a lot of TCSs though. It's going to be close, and I did land like area one. I think four of them on head. Okay, I do need rock steady real quick. I need, I need pods, man. God damn, we don't have a light weapon to make pods. I have torch pods for you, but I can't. I can't give them. I know. I there, wish I could. There are some crystals. I could. Maybe, let me see. Oh god, there these heaps. Oh. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can get the head here. I'm not going to be able to do it. TCS though, I'm. Ah no, ah, nah, that sucks. The heavy bowgun is too strong. I couldn't reach the head, man. Up there for whatever reason, I couldn't reach it. The heavy bowgun is too strong. You're using points spec. It helps me uh, with the large HP in mastering. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. You need to look because... up how to get great wet fish. Oh, dude, um, a fish to wet your appetite. Yeah, Sorry, you Viserys. Just... Sorry. <laughs> yeah, fine. I just saw it and I was like thinking, oh yeah. So Nings, poison in master rank, low rank, and high rank gives the same damage. It doesn't change. So mm. if you see 32 on a monster that like 32 damage, it deals the same between high rank and master rank. And, and because master rank monsters have so much more HP than high rank, it's even less damage you deal with poison. So think about think about this way, guys. Think about this way. Low rank. If a monster's got 5,000 health and you're doing 32 damage a tick and it does up to, I don't know, what, like 500 damage, you're doing 10% of the monster's health. Now that poison is still doing the same damage on a monster that has 50,000 health. Well, now you're only doing 1% over the course of it. And it's not even that much. Yeah. I'm, I'm exaggerating. Like, I'm, I'm doing it just so mathematically you can think, oh, yeah, that makes sense. But you're, you're just talking about it's such a low percentage that it's just it's not yeah. worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah, that, that's the problem. And even in Rice, poison itself is not really worth it. The only reason why you want to have poison on your weapon is um, build up boost. And what's the other one? That gives you damage and affinity when something is poisoned or in a status. Foray? Oh, yeah, Foray. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah, those two, but you don't use it because of the poison. You use it because what the skills do when the monster is poisoned. Yeah. The damage itself is so low, and I wish they would change poison in Monster Hunter to make it, to make it better and be more usable, like percentage based. I think statuses in general could do with a bit of a buff, because again, especially once you hit the end of these games, you're getting like unless you fully commit to it and sacrifice so much damage, 
you're realistically getting like one, maybe two status procs in a quest, if you're lucky, before you kill the monster. Which... Oh, yeah, it's like... on, on on big monsters like Safi, Alatrion, and Fatalis, you won't you will get one and then never again. For for those monsters, I think that's fair. I I, I think for yep. those, yeah, I think that's it's fair. fair because it is what it is, and it's not like loads of other weapons are doing crazy amounts of damage necessarily to things like Safi, especially. But um, yeah, but certainly when it comes to regular monsters in the game, I keep coming back to Hammer. I think about, you You know, Hammer used to be four or five KOs second gen, you know? And yeah. it was like, it fulfilled that role. You'd never go, oh man, I'm going to use the um, crag shots because that's better at getting KOs or something, you know? You'd never even consider it. And now obviously you've got Sticky, but it's like, Hammer's, dude, Hammer, if you get two knockouts on a hunt, even eating for Slugger, with Slugger in the build, bloody hell, that's a good, yeah. <laughs> you've done it, oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> What happened? What happened to poor old Hammer? Yeah, yeah. I would change statuses completely. Like sleep, I would leave unchanged because sleep is already what it does. It sleeps a monster. There's nothing much that you can do. Yes. Um, the only question is, how do we do this sleep? Is it like world where monsters do lose in rage, or is it like rise where monsters keep in rage? That's the only question I have, because it's about, you know, Agitator. I understand why they removed it in Worlds, so you can do a, a wall bang. It makes sense. But also in Rise, you keep Agitator active, or you keep the, the Envelge Multiplier for that, for that matter. Yes. So Thanks. I don't know which one is better. Um, yeah, Bunny, uh, you, can, you can just hop into our quest. There you go. Um, Para, I would actually make Para like they made it in Monster Hunter now. So you you probably didn't play that, right? Me, mate. Me. Mobi so Mo does... Mobile phone gaming. Mate, mate. <laughs> Don't you have phones? Don't you have a mobile phone? Oh, yeah, I got it. I got it. I ain't, I ain't gaming on it, though. Man, yeah, be... so what it does yeah. is basically uh, the normal Para thing, right? But with the difference that as long as the monster is in that para animation, it takes 10% more damage. I would, I that's would do that. That's good. That's a good, that's actually a good uh, implementation of mechanics. This is what yeah. I was saying. Do you remember when I, I don't know if you remember this for Sarah, it's probably like a few months ago, but I was mm -hmm. suggesting with Dragon Piercer, make it so that if a monster is locked under status, you gain a damage bonus to certain attacks. So that you you oh yeah we talked about yeah it so you can use them in certain circumstances because they will be higher DPS than just performing normal attacks. Yeah. I feel like I feel like that'd be such a good addition. Just obviously just not for every move, but have modify. I know it's a lot of extra stuff to program because you've got to set all the flags and everything to check different moves and what's being used. But yeah. I still feel like it would be a great addition. You could apply uh, it to, to all kinds of things as well, not just Dragon Piercer. Probably, yeah. Oh, why am I on the stupid tail? Uh, uh, black. Oh, well, I appreciate it. Okay, there's one the arm. I'm going to take the that second wall bang. Bomb, thank you. Buff oh, you're on Insect Life now. Yeah, yeah, I switched because I, um, I figured it'd be easier to get. Well, I can help with claggers and, and the head break. It's much easier with this. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, um. I would change para into that one. Just the monster takes more damage when it's para. Honestly, is, dude, it sounds good. Yeah, idea. it is. That's a, actually a good idea. Solid. Oh yeah, you take the players now. Okay. Yeah, I can. I can get them. Um, a poison. I would make percentage based. Yes, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. Thousand make times, it. yes. There's no reason for not. Not being percentage based. Um, blast. I'm not sure. Maybe uh, blast could maybe also I be a it percentage based. I think. But like uh, block damage. I, I wouldn't do it percentage based. Maybe I would make it that the more blast box you get, the higher damage it deals. Oh, would you mean like the blast value of the actual uh, the weapon? You mean? No, no, no. Like 
The first blast proc deals, let's say, 300 oh, damage. Oh, I get you. The next blast oh. proc deals 330, like 10% more. The next one deals 10% more, and so on. You know, it, it deals more the more you get. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Um, oh, Time yeah, to see. Let's see if it's he's working. nowhere near yeah. ready. Yeah, it's working in my quest. <laughs> um, what else do we have? What does Exhaust Ammo do? Well, Exhaust Ammo does also... Yeah, KO. I would probably make KO as the, the same as Para. Like, in KO, it takes more Thank damage. Thank you, Gaudi. Thank you. You know you know what Exhaust should do? Not just more KO. I think you could make it so that Exhaust allows uh, puts the monsters into a weakened state. Because think about it. If they're exhausted, they're not defending yeah. themselves. You know, think about like a boxer, you know, in a fight. When you're boxing. Yeah. When you get freaking fatigued, dude, you're not punching as hard. You're... Uh, you know, you're more susceptible to knockout. Like you said, KO. I think that's a great idea. Maybe make them more susceptible to other statuses. So that would oh, that, that actually, would yeah. that would lead into CC builds more, because then you have a reason as CC to exhaust the monster. So that they you know, it, it benefits your CC build up. Yeah, isn't that what it does? No, actually what the only thing that, that exhaust does is make the monster move slower. Oh, oh it's done. already ready. Nice. Played. That's the only thing exhaust does. It just moves slower, but it doesn't take more damage. It's not no. more affected by status effects or anything like that. It just moves slower. That's it. But yeah, you you you're right. Like, I would maybe yeah. Like there, there's a you know monsters have enrage multipliers, have exhaust multipliers. <laughs> I mean, why not? Gaudi's making me laugh. Twas his first single. Oh. My, uh, oh. my, my, uh, uh Rajang monkey song. Can't fix me. <laughs> monkey fit, yeah. Yeah, uh, I saw it was such, it's such a good <laughs> clip. I, I really like the ending. Dude, there monkey. was some, there was some, there's been some cracking clips. Other things, I forget a lot of this stuff happens. And then the, I see Gaudi with the clips, I'm like, Oh, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, that, that one that one was really good. Really laughed at that. But yeah, give more to exhaust multipliers. Like, you already have enrage multipliers, go exhaust as well. So you have a reason to play exhaust weapons. Oh, I got the tail cut, nice. Go get that head again, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. Yeah. Trying. Maybe I should just play Switch Axe as well. <laughs> I Maybe feel like I'm. Should. I feel like I'm much better at breaking the head with the swanks. Oh god! My girlfriend had uh, the idea of a new status, something like bleed a little dot, and alternatively, uh, for tender eyes. I will say. I, I will say. I find it weird that w monsters can do all the statuses and the hunters can do all the statuses, with the exception of bleed. Like I feel like they could implement bleed as a, a hunting mechanic, and then make oh, some monsters probably. susceptible to it. Oh, was that the head? Oh, no, not yet. Uh, no, that's an arm. Oh, I went for the head on the last hit. There was, a, there was an arm break. Okay. I I'll... think bleed would be nice, but I have the, I have the weird feeling that bleed would be way too uh, too similar to poison. Well, you could make it behave in the same way as it behaves on hunters. So you only get tick damage when the monsters perform certain moves. So then you can like try baiting out those moves in order to get the bleed damage to proc. Um... So mm. you could you could you could inflict bleed build up. I'm I'm just thinking how would you balance it? So, so if you would bleed a monster, that would mean you don't want to power or sleep it because it doesn't. No, move. exactly. So if you if you use other CC on it, if you KO it, it can't bleed. So it's not like poison huh. where it's continuous. It only procs when the monster's actually moving around and doing stuff. But and then I would also make it take more damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would, it would have to. The bleed would have to be uh, bigger chunks of damage. Maybe not as much as blast, but not as little as poison. But then have it so that the monster bleeds X amount of time, and then to make it like an interesting status. Once the bleed finishes, the final bleed tick. Once it does it, so maybe it takes like some small ticks. It's bigger than the other ticks, so it might have a mm. chance to flinch or um, stagger or etc. You know, just. Uh, yeah, like the final bleed tick. Perhaps something like that. You know, we have the elemental blights and rice, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But what I'm just thinking about is something like Thunder Blight. No, oh, actually, fire. Oh, fi uh, it's Fire Blight. Yes, applying so lights. Yeah. You know what Fire Blight does? Um, doesn't it make the monster more susceptible to um? What was it? What was it? That makes them more Lynch. susceptible. Yeah, 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 that was it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Flinches. Yeah. What if feel? What if bleed does the same? Like, oh, the thresholds for like part, no, not not part yeah. breaks, but like flinches are like cut in half. So the monster flinches way more when it's bleeding. I like the idea because it make it also makes sense thematically because you know if you've got like a cart and someone touches the cart, if you wince, yeah. you're like, ow, you know. Yeah, that could Still be no interesting. Mental. Okay, we have to go again. Oh god, please no. No, but here's the thing, like, you you choose if you're gonna go with a bleed weapon, right? So it allows yes. you to it's not it, so yeah, on, on paper it sounds annoying, but think about it for like new players, having a, a utility that allows you to flinch monsters could be quite good. Also, think about weapons like Odegaran weapons and stuff like that that kind of lack that unique um uh what's what's the word for it? They, they they don't have like their own uniqueness. Yeah, they've they've just got what is Odegaran? It's the same as uh, Naga. High affinity. It's Naga, right? Affinity with hidden yeah. fire. Yeah. It's like uh, you know, if it had bleed status, okay, now it's got an identity. It's got something that kind of yeah, kick <laughs> kicking bleed players from my hunt Giga Chat. May come on now, Ram <laughs> Ramster. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. It's good to have you with us. But again, it would be like. If you're playing casual hunts, again, messing up CC chains with random paralysis and sleep can be frustrating. But if you build it into a strategy, then it's not frustrating, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah. it's the same as any other status, really. But it just gives you more diversity. Uh, Ramster, thank mm -hmm. you for the follow. Guys, take this opportunity Good. just to remind you. We're streaming with Viseri today. Those of you joining us, the legendary the legendary hunter himself. If, Hello. Um, if you didn't know, he's going for 1,500 followers. And he's very close to 1,400, guys. There's enough of you in chat now, I'm sure, that haven't checked him out. He's a great friend of the TBD community channel. Fantastic helper. Brilliant hunter. Knowledgeable. I mean, you know, what 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 more good can be said? Plenty more, but I'd be here all day. Trying my best. Um, <laughs> guys, go give him a follow. The link to his channel is in the title today, guys. You can head on over. Give him a cheeky follow as well. So if you have given me a follow, highly, highly recommend. Consider giving Viseria a follow as well. Squid Vicious, thank you for the follow. Welcome. It's good to have you with us. Oh, wait, I just realized my follower notifications are working again. Hey! Nice. There we go. Nice. That is good. Apparently, dude, I got 20 followers yesterday when it wasn't working. God damn. Like, <laughs> what, okay, I have what? to catch up a little bit. Um, Dread Gizzle, Squid Vicious, and Ramzo, guys, thank you for the follow. Do you Very want me to post it. another Raging yes, Bracky? Another yeah, another one. Another yep. one. Um, you feel like Raging Becky weapons should change blast to slime. We had that in try. We did. It was we absolute did. Absolute OP. Yeah, it, it was, was broken. It was dude. completely broken. In three years, we U. already had that. God damn, that was before blast became its own thing. That was like that yes. was what we had. Yeah, we we already had that. Didn't really work out. So, I mean, if they yeah. brought it back, they could rebalance it, to be fair. Like, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're sort of basing our preconceptions on, on what it was. I think the main thing why they did that is because only one monster would have Blast, which is Bracky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, you had, like, the Kelby bow, but, you know, you, you would have... You have to make weapons use Bracky or stuff. Just to get slime, because if they have naturally slime, it doesn't. It wouldn't make sense. Like, why do they? The, the, why the other do those issue with the slime, slime was its general purpose utility. The fact that it was, it was so up in the meta because you could just use it for basically anything, and it would do decently. Yeah. That was the other yeah. problem. Mao Ding says, "I think a good bleed idea would be uh, the hyper monsters in GU, where it makes them more exposed parts on the monster, where they can take more damage." That's it. Oh That's my good goodness. You could it's freaking like water blight you could rise, retro but... Oh my god. You That's could actually a good idea. It's like tender yeah. rising, but on a weapon. Exactly. That's what I was gonna say, dude. It's like <laughs> you actually re you make the mechanic specific to one type of weapon. Dude, yeah. that's a good idea, Mao Ding. Mao Ding Games Designer. Mao Ding by design. <laughs> I like it, mate. I like it. That's a great idea. 
What's the best Fatalis build for SNS? Uh, four piece AT uh, Volcano. That's the best build for SNS. Oh, yeah, I had to pet my Lajar because I'm a little bit late. <laughs> pet the laggy. I did, I did. Take the what says. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Like, give the weapon that. The tenderized effect. Yeah, because obviously we don't That's like. It. I don't think anyone wants the tenderized to come back. But all you have to do then is just make them a little bit weaker. You know, not as much raw, etc. Because they're they're providing a role within the team, uh, and it's but and it's then, a bloody uh, strong role as well. Obviously yeah, for solo then, yeah, play, you, you have to you have to really really balance it properly. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Because if it's not balanced, everyone is gonna do the uh, bleed weapon. Yes. No, I agree. I agree, a hundred percent. You do. You you're gonna fall into that trap with any new mechanic or new status. Yeah. Um, like I would probably for those bleed weapons take the raw down because yes. they have bleed. Yeah, 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 a hundred percent. I was thinking build Fatalis set before. Oh, um, if you build Fatalis set before ATV, then the the best set would be probably. Uh, Four piece Fatalis, Alpha Coil, the rest Beta. And for the legs, you go uh, KT or Younger Ruga, probably. Yeah, or Raging. Those two are really oh, no, efficient. not Raging Bracky, sorry, because the Fatalis no, no, stuff no. has Wex. I keep, I always forget that. But yeah, yeah. Gar Gar so, Garuga for now, cool when Corv's available. Yeah. And yeah, so uh, Beta Helmet, Beta Chest, Beta Arms. Uh, Alpha Coil, that's important. The Alpha Coil is the best coil in the game. And then, yeah, for the legs, if KT is up, go KT. If you don't have KT, then uh, Young Garuga Beta. Yeah, goddamn, that Garuga Alpha Coil. That I mean, sorry, a uh, cool Alpha Coil was something else. Um, Ooh, you mean Fatalis? Oh, sorry, I meant, I was thinking the <laughs> legs, the, the cool bloody legs. Oh, yeah, the cool legs. Oh, cool Two Alpha legs. And peak. Oh, man. What a bloody set of armor. Yeah. Thank you, you're welcome. I wonder if she's ready. Uh, maybe. ID's not working, uh, probably session is full. Free spot, you're gonna make dinner? There you go, chat, there's a spot opening up. First come, first serve. There you go, pistol. If you wanna hop in, uh, now would be your chance, we have 15. The second one. Oh, the no second way, he is done. Ready. Oh, nice. Well, color the Heavy bow gun. Heavy bow gun. Deeps, mate. Helms deeps. Helms deeps. <laughs> Should I put a trap? <laughs> oh, hello there. Oh, sorry. Fancy That's seeing fine. you up here. <laughs> I just want to turn the ice to tail real quick. Oh, or not. Never mind. Let me get a clagger. Let me get a clagger. Vesaria and I on Brachidios' leg so while he while he does his uh, his, his thing. If you yeah. leave me now, you take away the biggest part of me. <laughs> Ooh, no, baby, please don't go. Why can, can, can we not do a tech team attack on the leg? <laughs> <laughs> That's teamwork. Dude, there you go. There's an idea for Waltz. Tag team. Tag team attacks. Thingy. Oh, God. Can you imagine? Clutch Claw comes back. No. <laughs> Tag team attacks. No. God damn, man. I'm gonna Clutch Claw you and then I swing you around and throw you at the monster like a insect. <laughs> That's how it works. We're getting into like, uh, what was it? Super Mario Double Cart territory. The one on GameCube. Yeah. God damn. What was that game called? Double Dash? What was the name of that one? Double Dash, yeah. Is that it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, it's playing into the co-op element. Say what you will. <laughs> Tag team attacks sound <laughs> legit. I mean, there's probably a way to implement them that would be really satisfying. I don't know how you'd do it, but... Oh, yeah, you just jump on my greatsword and I swing it and catapult you to the monster. I mean, it's not that difficult, that's is the, it? That's the thing. I mean, we do kind of have, like, a combo. I mean, look at my... Uh, tic uh, what's it? Not TikTok clip. My Twitch clip I put up yesterday. Um, we had Thingy on the Thunder Charge Blade on Kirin. 
they launched so i did a tcs landed it the frame it the frame it landed they launched me up i went straight into an aerial podded into another tcs maximum deeps mate <laughs> maximum deeps all right there you go yeah there you go i had actually one clip with spec who's just in my in my chat hello spec hello spec um we did the free free kings quest i still have that clip actually and I was on Greatsword. I think he was on Greatsword too. We, we did Kieran. And Kieran was in a Clagger. Nobody took it, I think. Yeah. I was charging up my two charge slash. The tiny hit missed, but then I think Spec flinched it into me. And I hit the two charge slash on the head. It's like. That's awesome. Th th that was so. Uh, such a good tech team. I have been watching your shorts shout out for on, Spec? on your YouTube, by the way. I, uh, cause I was subscribed to you on my, uh, personal account, but I subscribed on the Twas by Design. So whenever yeah. I go on Twas to do me thing, do all like the, cause obviously Gaudi's been uploading. Absolute legend. Shouts to Gaudi. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've been, to I've, I've been doing God's work. Out I've here. been doing the old, uh, you know, tags and that. I did. Yeah. So someone asks, did I notice any, it was Snake asked, do, did I notice any changes on the YouTube shorts? I did turn it off, but I didn't actually check the views this morning. I did turn it off as well because I didn't know that. Neither did I, but I'm going to see I, how it I did. I turned it off as well, and I'm going to do it for the next couple of shorts that are coming out just to see. Oh, but but I, I actually watched oh. that, that video because uh, Four called, what was it called? Pirate Software? He's, the, he's the guy who's got the dad working at World of Warcraft, right? Or at Blizzard, or used uh, to work. He worked yeah. as well. At, oh, at he Blizzard. did as well? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he explained, so what he explained was that if the shorts get pushed to subscribers with the notification and none of your subscribers watch it, yes, the algorithm will think, oh, nobody's watching that. Why do I push it? Interesting. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Nobody's yeah. watching that. I'm not going to push it. But if you don't push it to subscribers, then only active users on the platform will get it recommended and it will be people that it recommends based on the hashtags and stuff that search for that kind of content anyway yeah, like i'm guessing active people yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. you might be like you're not that big i am not that big but if you look at channels that have like 100k 200k 500k subs most of the time the the sub count doesn't show in the views that's true that's true yeah, yeah yeah so not every subscriber is active and not every subscriber is uh still watching youtube actively no, so they're no, like no, no. dead accounts um and if your video gets pushed to dead accounts they obviously don't watch it and the algorithm thinks it's not interesting doesn't push it further yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That, that i mean that makes sense I, yeah that makes sense so so to answer the question about me clip it's it's done the same as the the <laughs> it, it's done the same, but let me just see. Let me just check likes and stuff compared to like the previous. Yeah. So yeah, it's actually gotten point. less likes and interaction, but it's got more views. There you go. But 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 is that because it's a better clip or a worse clip? I don't know. I honestly, I think it's a. I think it's probably a better clip, but that's subjective. You would have to probably do it for multiple shorts at this point. Yeah. The other the other thing is this as well. It's like it's it's um like plus or minus a hundred views. It's nothing. That's like yeah, yeah. Th that's negligible. Like in my in my yeah. view, again, the only real way you're going to be able to see is if you're getting plus or minus a couple thousand. It's mm, like it's mm, like on mm. TikTok. If I go through my TikTok, so I've got like. I have so uh, yesterday. One. Yesterday's clips, I got eighteen hundred clips total on yesterday's. The day before, yeah. I got six hundred, five hundred. So that's a okay. that's a that's a uh, it's a little bit of a difference. But then if yeah. I go back like a week, I got seventeen thousand on this one, four thousand on that one, five thousand on that one. Mm. So I can tell that that week clips were performing better than this week for whatever reason. I mm. I, I don't know why, but. I mean, also, like, you know, people move on. People go away from the world. That's true, yeah, the yeah, hype yeah. Is, The hype is dying down it slowly. Is. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've um, got... Um, Bunny. We got, we got quickly, Dragon's Dogma so, so, 2, though. Yeah. Sorry to ask, but quickly, uh, Bunny, if you have all the pieces, uh, we can move on. If you don't, Twice is going to post it again. Yeah, uh, we, I can post Frostfang as well if we need Frostfang. So if you're missing anything... Say it now so we can see uh, where we are at the progress bar. Oh, yeah, Gaudi, 100%. We're going to get there. 100%.
A hundred percent. Like, I mean, I ain't stopping making content. Like, yeah. You need another <laughs> gem. Okay, then twice you know what to do. Post oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, they need uh, Bracky? Bracky? Oh, yeah. Bracky, okay. Yeah, yeah, all right, here we go. And then other monster mantles. Yeah, yeah, you probably need Stitched Mantle as well. I, I would say if you, if you make sure you're registering your dailies, Bunny, um, so you can get the Celestial. Uh, there is a Celestial. Of, actually, no, it's tomorrow, isn't it? Celestial's available. But make sure you're getting those uh, Celestials because Shara Mantle is definitely worth melding. Let me tell you right now. My goodness. Um, Shara is Wilder, everyone's favorite. I actually have been enjoying the fight recently, but I, it's when you have to do it like 10 times and someone doesn't get a man on. It's like, oh my god. Then uh, uh, perhaps not so much. Yeah, we don't have. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> don't have it today. April says their hype's being checked by Stygians and Ogre. Oh god, wait, why are you fighting Stygian? Guys, you, oh, wait, are, you, more are you only no. assigned? Assigned Stygian? Yeah, should have done something like an event in game or something more interesting for the return to world. I don't think so. I think the return to world was good as it is. They should have done more for the 20th anniversary. I I do feel like just a cheeky little event quest would have gone a long way. I, that's the only thing I think they needed to do. Tiny little event quest. Just something. Even if it was Sunbreak, like it didn't have to be world. World would have made oh, yeah. sense with the return to world, but uh, I would have oh, I would have loved. I don't know what. Like again, I know I said AT Runa, but that's quite AT a bit of work. Safi. Yeah. Oh no! What the? No! What? Wait! Oh. What? Why? No! I, I will get it then. Oh, you got it. Uh, you got it. I'm gonna see. That send it now. It works. He runs far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. He's a big boy. You got a great sword in the chest already. Nice. That's I'll let one good. of you guys get. I think you can only do one knock. Bear that in mind. Oh yeah, you got it. Nice. Oh, I got it. Legend. Thank you. You're welcome. AT Rachel and Becky? No. Uh, AT Safi in my, ha in my mind makes the most sense when you look at the lore how ATs are created. It makes the most sense. Yeah, it would have been cool Safi, to have it as just an, uh, an event quest as well, not as a siege. That would have been fun. I mean... What did they? Okay, what did they do to to KT? Removed it so uh, first phase, right? They had a normal KT siege, and then they made AT KT out of it. The fight didn't change at all. Nothing changed. Oh, the only uh, thing that changed oh, was, oh, 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 no! It actually, oh. she actually did get uh, three new moves from uh, original to AT. She actually did get new moves. Yeah, she got a really good treatment for AT actually. Okay, well then, yeah. And uh, then I would say, okay, give Safi a few new moves. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, gameplay-wise, it was still a siege. It was still basically the same thing, except the new moves. But it made a huge impact to the game because Kiar weapons. Yes, that was awesome. Huge impact. And to Safi, Safi fights. I mean, how many times did Lolo do Safi? <laughs> it was lot. hundreds of hunters that Safi fights. And it's constantly exposed to bioenergy. So it should get the AT prefix. It yeah. should get it. And then also, like, for the Safi weapons, we don't have Alachon, we don't have Raging Gravity, we don't have Frost Fang, we don't have Fatalis as armor bonus because everything came after Safi. So might as well pick. I mean, maybe not Fatalos, that would be maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> AT Fatty. AT Fatty. No, the Fatalis set bonus on the on the Safi one. Oh, uh, oh, 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 I get Bunny, what you're saying. Bunny, yes. take the tail. Add it to the thing. Bunny, yeah, the yeah, tail. Yeah. yeah, that might be a little bit too much, but fucking hell, Alatrion, having Alatrion set bonus on a Safi weapon, I think that would make Safi. Uh, no, not Safi, Alatrion, so much better. Yes, yeah, it would. No, dude, I was actually thinking about that the other day because it would enable, um, you could get the, uh, Safi Alatrion, you could get the three-piece Alatrion, three-piece Safi combo. Dude, that would yeah. actually be good. That would actually be that good. Would, that would be insane. Yes. 
That would actually allow for uh, a different meta when it came to elemental weapons. It wouldn't. Yeah. It wouldn't just be old Fatalis one shoe fits all anymore. That's how good it and would be. And then you could also go uh, two critical element with two piece Alatrion. I mean, you, oh no, you, you know what you, you, you know what you, already. Look, dare I suggest it? But you could even make it so that the AT Safi weapons do what the the oh. Taroff weapons did. Give one level towards the Safi bonus. Actually, yeah. That would because again, you've got to think about it in terms of like. They've got to compete with the Fatalis weapons, right? If you're going to make them relevant. The Fatalis weapons are, like, ridiculously strong. Yeah. So you can kind of yeah, afford right. to give them a few good b bonuses to make them fill a niche. Um, yeah, you're right, you're right. Any tips on how to beat Safi with dual blades? No. I got through 12 twice, couldn't pass phase one. Uh, attack the hind leg. Hindlegs are the not the best hit zone, but the most consistent one. Because it, itself, it doesn't use the Hindlegs that much and fight it in a group. Like, solo, it's it's a completely different ball game if you try Safi solo. Uh, try to do it in a group, I think Lowell would be uh, would be down to helping. Because Lowell likes Safi so much. Lowell, Lowell loves Safi, yeah. And... Take elemental dual blades. Not raw. Raw dual blades are pretty much bad, except for Talus. So anything that's element, like Galavanus is a good uh, fire dual blades. Tobika, that's good for thunder. Stuff like that. Um, as armor, I would probably suggest Silver Raphalos, so true critical element if you're at that stage already. And then, yeah. Find a good group, maybe from people in, in Twice community or my community. And they're gonna explain it to you what to do. Hey doing Don, welcome back. Add every set bonus for the Safi rolls except for Fay. Yeah, that's 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 I think Viserys said the same thing as well, yeah. Yeah, so. because the, the it doesn't really change a lot because for example, if you wanna go four piece silver Raphalos, two piece Alatron, you can already do that. Mm. When you put Silver Raphalos on the weapon, we already have that. Oh my god. The goodness. only thing it really would change would be Safia Latrion. You know what I just realized? If you if you did do it as we suggested, right, and you give a Safi you put give a Safi piece, uh the Safi weapons have the Safi bonus on them inherently, right? And then you can roll every yeah. divinity, including Safi Divinity. Let's say you can do that too. Oh no! No, you could no, do no, 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 but if you have, let's say you have Safi set bonus on the weapon, you roll Safi. Yes. Well, may, so may, you need may, one more Safi piece to get Safi free. So you'd have to roll three Safi pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd have one Safi piece for Safi three. So 20% yeah, so affinity four piece with... Fatalis, and you have Safi three piece. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know if I'm going to agree with that one. Maybe 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 we don't, don't maybe we don't let you so so yeah it's Fatalis and Safi you can't get on the weapons then you can't get divinity rolls on Safi or Fatalis yeah. bonus yeah oh me you say I think guys right again okay Bunny didn't get the the reactor <laughs> but two normal bracket mantle so okay. we go again <laughs> we go again uh this is uh <laughs> this is a familiar um a familiar grind oh well, i mean i, I can't I, complain I, I, i'm getting my insect glaive hunts up guild cards gonna I look like good raging. after this one yeah he's a I fun fight like raging. he's a, you know what he was in he like voted he was really high up right on the popularity list i think uh i think so yeah let me see, what's my guild card saying? To be fair, it's one of the best fights in the game. The music is, is strong, the yep. fight is strong, how, how... And it doesn't feel like... I know he's HP locked, and I usually I'm, I'm completely against HP locks. 
but it doesn't feel as bad as like a Matsu. Um, yeah, it's because, uh, what's the best way of putting it? It's because he's got that natural progression through the map, whereas Amatsu's just in the same area. So, it feels more like a siege, like Kulv. Where you don't, like, again, Kulv's HP locked, but you don't really mind it because he yeah. just progresses when he hits those HP levels. So, it's not like you're yeah. going to be killing him when he's moving through the map anyway. Um, this will be your last hunt. You have to work soon. All right, then let's hope you get it now. I'm at 932 on Insect Glaive. So, we're Oof. getting there. We're getting there. You remember no, I when I helped know. you with the Raging Bracky stuff? It took a fair few hunts. It, it does. Yeah, it does. It does. Unless you get really bloody lucky. <laughs> Which it does happen yeah. every now and again. Yeah, every now it does happen that, that you get two reactors from one hunt. and Your first hunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's rare. It's rare. I'd say maybe one in 50 people that I help that will happen to. Yeah. Yeah, and Riddlecat, if you have... Uh, Pommes with Safi join the Discord server, and there are probably people that can, can make a group for you. If you communicate with them, you can probably make something happen. I'm gonna go for the arm. Nice, going ahead. Got it. Dude, I can't believe I've been doing this for eight years come this Friday, mate. I, I can't believe it either. It is, um... It's a very eight strange years. feeling. Like, uh, do, do you mind asking, like, how how did it start? You probably had a... So, it was... It's I, weird to say for me, but you probably had a normal, quote-unquote, normal job. Before. Yeah, I did. No, I worked in construction. Yeah. And, um... Nice. I was with I was with the lads after after work and we were at the pub mm -hmm. and we were talking about like you know streaming content creation and stuff and my friend was saying like oh man he's gonna buy a PC and do it and I was like I was like yeah. oh man you know what I already had a PC I was like I wonder what I'd need to buy to like do it like I said I reckon I could do that like you know I play video games anyway that's basically my hobby um, mm -hmm. I'm pretty good at video games I think and I. I'm not shy or anything like that. I'll, uh, I think I like something I could get good at, you know, I could like do. And he was yeah. like, yeah, mate, do it easy. He says you have like a million followers in like a couple of months. So I was like, I was like, you think he was like, yeah, <laughs> I was like, go on, then I'll give it a go. Anyway, eight years later, um, <laughs> eight years later not, was... not at a million, uh, but almost 10,000. We'll take it close, close enough. <laughs> he's, oh, he's getting handled today. Legos non-stop. Uh, eight years, that's such a long time. Dude, it, it's, uh, yeah, it's a while. There, there were times where I didn't think I would still be doing this. I'm not going to lie. Like, there were, there's, I mean, oh, yeah. you, you know, content creation, you have moments where you're just like, dude, what the f am I doing? <laughs> like, what so am I doing? <laughs> I also like I also was streaming before. Oh yes, you were. Of like, course, I remember you were telling me when we were uh, doing help for hunters like la late last year, early this year. I remember you were saying uh, how you're going to get back to it, and I was like, dude, you got you got to come back. Yeah, not only that, I was streaming before that even. I was even streaming, before that. Uh, yeah, when Bloodborne came out, I streamed from the PS4. Oh, but, oh, dude, yeah, that's a German, while ago. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was like, what, 12, 2012? Damn. Whenever Bloodborne came out. So. That was way I, before I, me. I was streaming there. But it wasn't like consistent at all. I just wanted to play the game. So I played the game. I was talking about it and that was pretty much it. Like I got, what, three people maybe? If even three people. Oh yeah, that was that was me when I was doing um, Hearthstone, man. I'd be lucky if I got three people. Yeah. But, yeah. That's how it is when you start, but though. I, yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, I got that. And then, you know, um, work picked up and everything like that. Real life. Yes. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I just stopped. And then I... Uh... So what was it before is we had a family PC. Yes, yeah, yeah. And I was recording videos on the family PC. 
with the TV in the background. Oh man, dude, I would, I would have loved to be able to do that on my family PC. My family PC wasn't good enough. <laughs> I had to save yeah, up I and get like a proper. Like... When I got me gaming rig, I was like, all oh, right, okay, maybe I can stream from this. Yeah. Because I built, I built no, it I, myself. I... I got it, got it all built myself, you know. Oh, we we had it from a from a friend of my mom back then. Oh, that, oh, dude, oh, that's how, that, that was how I got my first PC, friend of me mum. Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> that's how you get your PCs back then. Funnily enough, the same, it was me god mum, same person who bought me the 3090 all these years later. She's always wow. been looking out for me with the PC bits, man, I'm telling you. She got me my first ever computer. She got me my best ever upgrade on my current computer. Nice. OG. But yeah, that's how it that's how it worked back then. And then yeah, I, I basically told my 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 mom that I uh, want to record something. You know, can it be a little bit you know quiet? <laughs> <laughs> Is that possible? Mom, shut up! <laughs> shut up! No, mom. no, no, not like that. Not like that. <laughs> she know what I was doing, so she, yeah, she yeah, kept yeah. it a little bit quieter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I, I also did videos about <laughs> PUBG back then. Oh, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but that also kind of died because, yeah, it wasn't that popular anymore. I didn't have fun doing it. And then, yeah, Monster Hunter came around. And I was like, yeah, I might as well give it a shot. Streamed every now and then, not really. Uh... No, I wasn't good at it and I hadn't that, hadn't, uh, that much motivation to do it consistently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I joined TDS, and then all of that work on top of it, I just didn't do it anymore. Yes. Yeah, and now I, I, I was thinking, you know what? I was watching you. I mean, I watched you before I, I started streaming. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know what? It's actually a brilliant idea. I can do that as well. I have thousands upon thousands of hours in that game. Help people. Yeah. I. I I am in the position where yeah. I can say I have the knowledge and hopefully the skill to help people. But exactly, and the thing is, so might as well. It, there's very few people that actually do it the way we do it as well, in like a a, a way that genuinely some people don't get it. They don't understand it because they just want the carry, you know. And and that's fair enough. Yeah. And a lot of people do offer that on Twitch. They will literally just like go take you in, boom, kill it, done. But yeah. we. Do we you well you're the same as me, you get it. It's not yeah. just about the carry. Like, yes, it's gonna you no. might frustrate people sometimes, or you may say something that they don't like, like, oh, your build's not good enough, or whatever. But at the end of the day, they're gonna end up being a better hunter from now all the way forward. Like going into future games, everything. Yeah. Snake, thank you so much for the gift sub to Sissy, by the way. Much appreciated. Sissy, no more ads for you. Legend, dude. Thank you, thank you. And thank Bunny, you. yeah, have a have a good day at work. I know you're leaving. Oh, I'll take care, Bunny. We can uh, we, we, we can find you at a later day. Yeah, we, 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 you can come in. We, we'll get more opportunities to help. Don't worry. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, I do have some some redeems I have to do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. First yeah. of all, a mystery snack. So that is. <laughs> oh, here let's we see go. What we have. What's I hope, he got today? I hope we get something good. Uh, I don't have that much left. I think I, I feel like three thingies. I'm going to take this one. And we have uh, Kit Kat green tea, I think. Oh, a green tea. That sounds very uh, Japanese. Yeah, it's a, it's a Japanese snack box. Mm. So it's a green, it's green tea, I, that I assume. That explains it then. <laughs> uh, most of the things were actually pretty good. Some of them were a little bit weird. But I have the feeling that Japanese snacks have a lot of strawberry in it. Oh, really? Like in that mystery box, I had, I don't know, like five or six different things with strawberry. They like their strawberries out in uh, Japan then. Okay, it, it, it's green on top. <laughs> R2 says that he hopes that we continue streaming like this with Wilds because you've learned a lot here. Yeah, of course, mate. A hundred percent. I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change. Uh, okay, let's see how it, how it is. For me, a direct approach. I'm, I'm the same when it comes to learning. A direct approach for me is um, has always been best. So I take the direct approach, same. But I also don't want to be carried. I don't like having me hand held. Um, so I like I to think, learn, you know, thingy. How is it? I, I think um, actually it's 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 pretty pretty acceptable. It looks nice. It's not super. 
Like, you know, it, it doesn't, like, throw me out of the chair, but <laughs> it's acceptable. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, this is the best thing I've ever had. Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. This is it's how they bad. come up with anime! <laughs> Where? <laughs> no, if they, no, no, no. I think for anime, you need some, uh, some kind of white powder in there anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, dear. I, I think because we are playing this game so much, we already assume things that are like... Uh, at, uh, it sounds so bad. We do, we do, yeah. We, I know what you mean. Like, I know, you don't even have to say it, I know what you mean. Yeah, uh, yeah okay, you know what I mean. I know what you mean. The thing that, we, the direct we, approach. We, we, we will say stuff like it's just normal. Like anyone yeah. can do it. Because it's like, yeah. for us, it's just second nature. Like for me, it's iF yeah. iframes is something I always, I had to remind myself the other day, I'm like, I'm talking about iframes and then I've got people in chat asking what's an iframe. And it's like, oh yeah, shit, like, iframes are hard yeah. in this game it's not like dark souls we've got like bloody 30 of them it's like mate iframes aren't on tap i keep saying iframes on tap to my seven iframes yeah. <laughs> on a switch x sidestep it's like no 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 uh, yeah maybe maybe exaggeration iframes on tap yeah, if the tap is freaking turned all the way off and there's a little drip of water coming out of it yeah oh dear um and then on the on the direct approach um i, I think we are more direct and sometimes I can see people like getting a little bit frustrated. Oh like, yeah, for say, sure. Oh, this for sure. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's true. It's true. But we don't mean anything negative by it, yeah, guys. Yeah, we don't mean it. Yeah. Like, usually we know that you are new to the game. You don't understand the deep mechanics. Yes. Like yeah, we yeah. do while we're playing this game for six years. It, it, yeah, we we have that. But for, for us, it's, I don't want to sugarcoat it. No, it's a, it's a beeline. We can beat around the bush and be like, well, yeah, oh, but, it's good. but the, it's the, usable. the other thing is, the, the other thing is, you have to remember. I don't know necessarily about today because I don't know how many more people actually need help. But let's say when it's at its busiest, I might we might be helping you know 50, 30, 40 people. Viseri and I a day, different people. Yeah. If we took the time to be bloody hell, just you know. Uh, it's easy to just go, ah, shit, let's make it better. <laughs> let's let's fix it. It's it's yeah. so much quicker. And I know it can yeah. come across as harsh. It, 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 if the series right, it it's, can be. It's not. But we don't we, mean it. We don't it. think. We, yeah, we, we, don't, we don't mean it harsh. We're never going to be like, oh, it's bad. Get out. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to help no, you. No, no, like, no, no. We're going to be like, look, this is this is bad. Let's fix it. Let's, yeah. let's, let's do it. But again, it's not the person's fault either because the game... Monster Hunter is not the best at telling you what's actually good, and it, it, and again, it's 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 a, a lot of it's to do with balancing issues where there's like certain skills where they haven't really been balanced appropriate versus versus other skills. But yeah. and and there's so much to learn in this game that having someone that can just fast track you and be like, look, yes, there's a lot of skills that can, that are basically useless or don't really do anything or don't help you in this scenario. Focus on these skills. This yeah. is what's good for your weapon specifically because. There's a lot of skills. Some weapons, some skills are completely like, uh, artillery longsword, guys. Artillery longsword. Um, you don't yeah. want arti uh, you know. The, 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 yeah. Six six wex. Six wex. I think I saw yeah, six yesterday. Wex. I saw level ten thunder attack. Um, no, let's go. And we again, we helped. We helped. You know, like we we. And we... on that on that note, actually. Yes. Um, can you open up Hema's build? Hema's build. Uh, I'm sorry, he made that you are right now. You know, on the. On the, you know, you're getting pulled up basically. Okay. It's but lo it's looking... as a bow player, I already immediately see what is wrong with that. Oh, so no spread spread bonus. There's um, no, bow no charge stamina plus. surge. They've got bow charge plus right at the bottom. No. Yeah. Wait. It's right there. They got bow charge plus. Oh, he slotted it in. Okay, he slotted it in. All right. Because when I opened it up, it wasn't there. <laughs> No, it looks, uh, it's looking okay to me. Uh, um, there, the only thing I would change is I okay. would personally sacrifice a constitution for a stamina surge. At least one, just to give me a little bit more stamina recovery. Because um, constitution three and four, there's not the biggest difference between them if you're eating for black belt and taking a dash juice. Um, and... Uh, is there anything else I could... You would change... Oh, yeah, you'd need to upgrade the Frost Charm to gain a little bit more slot efficiency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, so that, just um, so that you can get spread shot in. But no, it's good. I think it's good. I think where they're at, that's a bloody good build, honestly. Yeah. 
Yeah. So what I can see is two points of corn comes from the legs and then a corn four deco. Um, I would actually suggest as a as a bow player who did play multiplayer quite often, flinch free. If you can, if you have oh, any flinch free God. constitution, but Viseri did get, get him that. flinch free in the Azure Dude. Age. Raffles was, combo is so hard. You, you don't understand. <laughs> it's so how awkward. How bad it is to get flinched with bow. I know. I it's know. It's one I... of the worst things that can happen. But he'd have to get rid of something like good to at this you stage. You would lose one con. One con. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe flinch free. If you free. have a con, uh, you can get uh, flinch, flinch free, free constitution. constitution. Yeah. 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 Flinch free constitution. If you can get that, that'd be good. That would highly benefit you. Other than that, yeah, the charm, of course, but you know that already. But that's it. The The build itself looks fine. You have Ice Attack 6, you have your crit, you have nearly 100%, um, 95, but that's good enough. It looks, yeah, it looks good how it is. The only thing, yeah, Flinch Free would be nice to have. Viserio, you want to bust out a bow with me and we'll do a little bit of Teostra. There's a Teo sure. posted. Sure. Um, Cardo and Sissy Fox, guys, thank you for the follow. And Waku, welcome in. Thank you, guys. Keep keep going and hitting the follow on Viserys' channel. Link is in my title today, guys. Uh, he's going for 1,500 also, followers. Also for Twas, get him to 10k before before Dragon's Dogma. To be fair, I feel like we've already done quite good before Dragon's Dogma. It would be great to get 10k, but I can't kid myself. Me too. Three Dude, days um, in 700. Oh, you guys are full. <laughs> I would need like a... Oh, wait. Uh, can someone give a spot for this? Oh, wait, oh yeah, oh, someone thank did. You, thank, thank you. Thank you, Eleanor. Legend. Thank you, thank you. Cheers, me dear. Um, I do have a Harry Potter build, Belly Jean. Belly Jean? One of the best changes in Rise yeah. is making Flinch free level one. Agreed. Yeah, it's a good, good change. Belly they need to keep that going forward. Okay. Before we go, I have a green one. A green one could be buggers, uh, grass, soap, or green apple. B buggers? <laughs> buggers, yes. You mean boogers? <laughs> boogers, buggers, same thing. You mean, bug you know the thing is you have in your nose. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mate, buggers ain't the same thing. This you is be the, quiet it's with the, your It's the anal's animals again. What is going on? You be quiet. <laughs> God damn it. You, you be quiet with your anals, come on. Mate, you don't want to be eating buggers. <laughs> buggers is bad enough. You don't, want to, you don't want any buggery in your mouth. God damn it. Oh, I dear. put it in my mouth already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> eating buggers. Oh, my God. No, don't do it, Viserys. Yeah, Careful. For an exploration, yes. Oh. Get your exploration kit, Lowell. Oh, my goodness. Put your spelunking hat on. <laughs> <laughs> oh god not damn not my fault the anus triggered me dude I'm gonna be uh, that's gonna be me <laughs> in Dragon's Dogma and be like let's explore the annals <laughs> every new dungeon you go into <laughs> dude cause it's, it's a channel meme already mate it only takes a, it only takes like a, a couple of weeks if it, if it persists it's a meme it's happened it's like rock friend dude, or I'm not gonna forget that Never. Oh, dude, too funny, mate. Too By the way, I think funny. I have boogers. Oh, yuck. Yeah. Why would they even it, it put that on a bloody sweet? Because it's the Harry Potter thingy. You I know, know when they're on the train? Like... Oh, small gold crown, by the way. This guy's tiny. And that's what she said. <laughs> He's so small. <smart. laughs> well, God damn it. Who's got, uh, <laughs> got rock steady? Will not, will not, cheeky will Ah, oh, carb is. I like this. I got the uh, impact mantle. I want to say one second more. Thanks for your help. Uh, you're welcome, Marco. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Also, Twas. Uh, if Twas is streaming every Monday to Friday, yes. Um, you can you can explore his anals with him. And no, <laughs> let's no. Don't encourage him, man. God damn it. <laughs> No, he's one of the best. He's probably better than me when it comes to explaining um, things. Oh, I wouldn't go that and far. And build making. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I am. I'm all right. I'm, I get by. I'll help you as best I can. If you can deal with sarcastic British humor and, uh, you know, 
Yeah, if you can deal with uh, British ingenuity and German efficiency, <laughs> then you're very well. Oh, you're, you're in, in the right streams. place right now, guys. You're in the right place. Dude, if you love a bit of what? British oh, no, ingenuity and German efficiency. Yeah. What about uh, there you Marmots? Go. Jazz? Look at you have to follow them. The, 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 the Twitch link is in the stream title of What about just so click on that and click on the big follow button. You, you can't miss it. I don't just understand. Oh, no! <laughs> what about wild arts, mate? Bit, I, um, I, think, I suppose you're, uh, you're you already going to play nice. wild arts anytime soon. No! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Talk, talk about making the most out of this uh, evasion, man. Oh, bloody hell. It's yeah, been, I got it like once. It's been non stop up for me. That's why I use the impact mantle first. Are we doing I... the same thing? Yes. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> I shouldn't have taken the spread shot there. <laughs> we were in sync. We were, we were, mate. We were. Until you pointed out, then <laughs> I messed up. Uh, until it. I pointed out, we are in sync. Because usually bow players, you know, what don't want to be in sync. Oh, I was hitting every shot there, though. Oh, well, good, you would. Yeah, I didn't. I would. Nothing was clipping into you. Which is what Good. you want. Same for me. I didn't he clip my really arrows into you. me at the moment. God damn. He's not presenting his head to me. <laughs> How dare why, you? Why are you laughing now? <laughs> Present your head to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have three bow spisters also on the bow. GG. Primo Thursa Cortex for the helmet, but solo it's hard for me. Um... Oh, we don't have a space in the lobby. I would have said come in here, but there's nothing free. They were sorry that that, that hunt. I couldn't hear what was happening, mate. I uh, I was. Oh my god, really? <gasps> oh, that, that looks so amazing. This is this is this is me like always uh, pushing because what I do is we have a thing. My chat knows if I come back from a quest and like there's AFKers, loads of them. I don't even I don't even say it anymore. I just kick people. I'm like okay, because there's so You're many the people that always want to come in. I know I probably annoy people doing that, but it's AFKers and uh, SOSs. I'm like, SOSs, you can yeah. do that in your own lobby. That's fine. And uh, AFKers, it's like, I've got to give the space, you know. I'll give and people also, like a little bit of time because they might have just been sitting there, you know, for a second. But if after like five minutes, they're still AFK, I'm like, okay, right, well, I've got to. Yeah. yeah, yeah, lobby enjoyers, exactly. Yeah, I, yeah. I, do the, I do the same. And also, if um, if they go on a quest and then fire SOS, and you look in the quest and they're like member of other online session, yeah. I'm also like, Neh. yeah, yeah. I, I, is that really necessary then? Yeah, because because well, that you come into the lobby, you post a quest and fire SOS anyway. As I explain it, like then we can't like if you're coming in for us to help, we can't then join you to yeah. help. If yeah, yeah. You're in the second lobby, Waku. Then yeah, uh, people in the second lobby. The Waku needs three more Teostra Cortex. If you can give him a hand, that would be nice. That's a good point, actually. Is there anyone in the second lobby that's like blue name going through the story or needs or, or wants help as well? Because I'm sure people won't mind switching out. Because um, at the moment, I mean... At, There's is, a Safi posted and they're looking for two more. Oh, is there? Twice, what do you say? I mean, if they want to... If, if we have a little switcheroo, we could do. If they want to come in... Um, Oh, also, Yuji's here. <gasps> Yuji, I haven't even gotten a hunt in with Yuji in ages. Oh, man, we should oh. do we should do a hunt with Yuji. All right. The question is, what do we do? I don't know. Good um, question. There is a... I don't know. AT Velk posted. Carbon pistol. Oh, okay. Oh, we could do an AT Velk. All right. Do you want me to host? I'll, I'll host. Uh, wait, or has it already started? Is it ongoing? Uh, I don't know. Oh no, I zero minutes. So. Mr. Okay, Mr. Sky, you need help with AT Velk? Right, I'm posting it. Uh, Mr. Sky, come join. UG, you coming? Oh, okay. Cheeky AT Velk? Oh, uh, wait. Mr. Sky? I call it Mursky. <laughs> you call it Mursky? <laughs> yeah, because there's a Y. I, I M Y R. I, oh, I thought it was Mr. Sky. I was always calling him Mr. Sky. <laughs> Maybe it is Mursky. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I was like, Mr. Sky? Is, is, it, is there someone else in the lobby? I don't know. Mursky. 
Yeah, I was like, to be fair, Norsky, I, I, yeah. I, I do get names wrong. I don't know what to play here. I mean, I really should play Insect Glaive because I am getting close to a thousand, and I do enjoy Insect Glaive on this hunt. Uh, I'm going to play Great Sword. Great, I'll get those claggers for you then. Yeah, I think yeah. Viserra, uh, what's it? Uh, UG's Longsword Master. So it's I, Mursky, but okay, Mr. Sky too. Okay, Mr. Sky is also okay. <laughs> Mursky. <laughs> I'll try and remember that Mursky. I always get it wrong. I swear, people always tell me like, "Oh, it's my name's actually this," and I'm like, "Oh yeah, all right, yeah." It's typical British fashion. Like we just we're like, oh yeah, I've I've absorbed that information and I'm gonna completely ignore it, but not on purpose because I just because I'm I, I will not remember. Yeah, because your brain can't filter. <laughs> I, yeah. I can't. I've already I've already established as Mr. Sky, but yeah, it's it's, it's mercy. already in the brain. Yeah, that's it. One more for ATV. Is it more efficient to farm? Oh, it's, yeah, Yuji. Where's Yuji? Yuji, come! I haven't had a quest with Yuji in ages. Where is he? Unless he's... Oh, there he's over here. Oh, maybe he's AFK. I guess Eleanor, if you want to join. I know you like AT Velk. Oh, wait, no. Eleanor doesn't like AT Velk. No, P Pistol comes in. Uh, Pistol, I hope you're ready for that. Oh, 2.30. Okay, yeah. Full yeah. Fatalis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, I was... He's ready. What happened to Yuji? Oh, wait. Yuji is ready. Sorry, Yuji was... Oh, Pistol, you don't mind giving a spot to Yuji. Yuji, come, mate. I haven't hunted with Yuji in God knows how long. I know every time he's here... He's usually hunting uh, with. No, uh, not oh no, Eleanor's <laughs> in a sock. So Eleanor. I was uh, the only reason why. Yeah, because normally Yuji's hunting with uh, Martin and um, uh, Risk and uh, uh, others. He's he, he's always helping, but I never actually get to hunt with him. I see. Very very rarely. Oh, well, we're going to change it now. All right, uh, Mursky, uh, I will. Uh, I'll get the claggers for you. So do not worry about the claggers, but. If there's no weak spot on the head, longsword, you're pretty quick at making weak spots. So feel free to uh, make a weak spot on a clagger if you need to. I will would do my be best nice to try and maintain if... them. Yeah, it would be nice if twice just the wall bang and Mursky, you can maybe take the cla uh, the, the tender eyes at oh. the other side of the head. You know what, Viseri? You get it just because we're in sync. And then uh, uh, Mursky, if you get the, the wings or Yuji get the wings for okay. me. Just because that way, if I do aerial attacks, is yeah. The, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to be. I don't want to do the wall bang. Is it more effective to farm tempered elders or astral melding tickets for decos? It depends on what decos you want and how good you are at tempered furious rajang. Honestly, like tempered furious rajang is great, and you will have a good chance of getting things like crit boost and weakness exploit from him fairly, fairly easily. But obviously, the hunt's a bit harder. He also gives good decorations in the quest as well. But the actual astral, you can't get attack, expert, handicraft, earplugs, or evade window plus four. So if you need those decorations, do not do uh, the Tempered Furious because you, you ain't Basically, you everything ain't that's rarity 12, you cannot get from the astral melding ticket. Yeah. Which uh, surprisingly includes windproof. Yes. Yeah, windproof plus four as well. I think Capcom over Which side are you on? These. I'm, I'm this side, mate. Side okay. on. I'll give you time, I give you time. Oh, okay, he's on the head. Never mind. He's uh okay. he's done. Okay, hey, you got it, you got Legend. It. Cheers me dear. Thank you. And off with with the flash. Uh Carrie Fuxi. Welcome. Okay, I'm buff. Is I didn't get a weak spot on the wings. I have to do that on the clagger. The buff. Isn't that what people say when they come out of the gym? Sorry, German humor. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to get better at it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> and I got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, god damn it, why? Oh, why did I do that? Oh. I can't uppercut you, I'm sorry. That's fine, I'm good. Just me with my bad positioning. Laughs in German. <laughs> yeah. Laughs in German. <laughs> Laughs in German? Wait, what? Yeah, because, you know, Germans don't usually laugh. And every time I laugh, I have to pay taxes for it. Dude, can I just say, this is the worst move RNG. <laughs> what is this cool? I mean, not cool, but in Velkana. <laughs> Wrong monster. Weird looking cool. Cool's been, uh, cool's been lost a bit of weight, apparently. 
We're gonna go grow oh, some oh, wings. Everyone is enjoying the stream. Yeah, we are, Juni. Thank you for hopping in. I don't know what's wrong with this one. Oh, this one is I'm, I'm getting no good move RNG, man. I'm telling you, this is... I mean, if it's bad for me, it's bad for Greatsword, too. Yeah, that one was. Okay, that's something, at least. I can work with that. How oh, fun. It's Silver. Thank you for the follow. We're coming. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> Okay, right. I'm oh, getting someone. this. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't yeah. Worry. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Why <laughs> oh, you're laughing now at me? Oh, that was the most and excited I've ever heard you for that. <laughs> <laughs> How to tell when Viseri gets a good TCS? <laughs> you, you can hear it. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I should have taken the dash juice. Hang on a minute. Like my stamina's not... Uh, drugs? Oh my goodness. Performance enhancing drugs for Seri. Mom's stamina condones them. It must be good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If Paul can take it, I can take it. When it's two just less shits, yeah, but we don't let me do the wake up. Hang on a second. We could go for a wound on here. Anyone, anyone able to get that? Uh, I could... Oh, no. See, yeah, see. I can make you pods. I can, I can, I can. I don't have a, I think I don't have a mantle, so. Thank you, dude. Legend. I got it. GG. Let me refresh the head here, because uh, I didn't get yeah. it on the last tagger. That'll make you some pods as well, some dragon pods. Okay. Not ideal, Kill. but. That's no, fine. Oh, wait, it didn't make pods? Wait, what? Cheated! Scam! Oh, yeah, I didn't make pots. Scam game gets scammed! Oh, there's crystal burst right here. That's okay. No, Yuji! And again? Uh, I do yeah. like this. I mean, this for me is a great opening. I know it's not great for everyone. Good if you've got airborne in your greatsword, though. Hit like a freaking 1300 on the uh, charged area. Yeah, yeah. Even without, I hit like 800. If I, if Five, I hit the head four, correctly. Three, two, one. Nice. Mon mm, crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> crunchy, a delicious chocolate bar. Cadbury's dairy milk filled with honeycomb center. <laughs> Why do you know that? Mate, I was adverts, man. Adverts in the 90s. They had an effect on us as kids. That's why they're, they're all banned nowadays, you know? <laughs> You're not allowed to do yeah, that shit anymore. Probably. <laughs> I saw one ad, um, wasn't a German one, but there was one ad about coffee where there was just a car driving in the, uh, in uh, like a field. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a normal, just a, a normal, normal street, but it was going through a field. And out of a sudden, there was a zombie jumping into the camera. Oh, I remember that. Scare. I remember yeah. that freaking on YouTube, and it was like really yeah. peaceful and tranquil and everything. Yes. And all of a sudden, you get the, the shock of your life, and then it's a coffee ad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I remember it. Sure. Martin, how you doing, Martin? Welcome back, lads. Hope you have yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. Hello, Martin. Martin! Yeah, I get out. Hey. And then there was also uh, an ad for, I don't know, if it was candy or some energy drink. Where some kids like drank that or whatever, and then they fused into an ugly monster. <laughs> Wait, what? That, 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 yeah, don't ask. Dude, oh no, did don't I ever ask. tell you about? I, I've told ch chat about this. Did I ever tell you about the old Snickers bars adverts we used to have here in the UK? Have you ever heard of a Snickers bar? You might have done. It's like a peanut yeah. covered chocolate bar, right? And yeah, yeah, uh, I know what a Snickers is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They used to have um, an advert where. The, there was a guy like he was playing football on the pitch, you know, uh -huh. bit 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 of football, and then a yeah. guy tackled him, and he'd get on the floor and he was rolling around holding his leg. He was crying. He was like, "Oh my leg, my leg!" You know, the ref comes over. He's like, 
It's like, what have you done? You fouled this man. And then and then a giant tank like busts into the football stadium. Piloted okay. by Mr. T. Mr. T jumps out the top of the freaking tank and lobs yeah. a snicker bars at, at, at the at the guy who's crying's head. Like, yeah, and he goes, okay. get some nuts! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I listening yeah, to? Yeah, dude, 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 dude. It sounds like a fever dream. Eat Snickers, get nuts! That's what, dude, that's, that was the advert. It was, it, it was amazing. It was like, oh no! I'm sorry. That's no, okay. My the two shots, uh, The TCS is probably anyway. better. Well, it would have been if it had landed. A T with Arcana, you know. I don't get the wake up, I don't get the two dot slashes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Dude, what the hell? I just realized an aerial like combo on that does like a thousand damage if you hit it with the just the regular old aerial. There not we even go. the DT. Nice. You remember that advert? It was so good. Dude, it yeah. was a it was a mad advert. Speaking of Mr. T, the uh, uh, World of Warcraft ads and stuff. Yes, he was in those as well. Yeah. I think uh, he just went... In... What was he playing? A dark elf? A black yes. elf? I don't remember. Something like that, yeah. Oh my god, dude, I forgot about those adverts. Yeah. My night Mr. blood T elf World of Warcraft. <laughs> Something like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. My night elf mohawk. That was it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Mr. T and this is my Night Elf Mohawk! <laughs> it was so good. Dude, Mr. T, we need more Mr. T. That's what went wrong with the world. We, Mr. T's just not as abundant as he was back then. It was Mr. T and Chuck Norris, I'm telling you, they were everywhere. And that, there was that, that, just that period of time. Oh, Hashtag brilliant. return to Mr. T. <laughs> return to T. <laughs> return to T. <laughs> Mate, double entendre. I mean, I'm always down for a cup of tea. Oh my goodness. Speaking of which, it's tea break time. It's tea break time, all right. Go get your tea. I go grab get your cams, get your tea. Grab yourself a cheeky cuppa. You remember Mr. T in a Simpsons episode? Dude, everyone was in a Simpsons episode. I'll never everyone. forget the Stephen Hawking one, where his chair turned into a bloody helicopter and he flew off. <laughs> it's just like, wait, what? That was pretty good. Good memories, we are so old now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Getting there, getting there. Getting there. With age comes wisdom, Viserio, though. There's a little bit of wisdom. I, I think with age comes a try. Uh, what was it called? A try this? A, a what? A try this? Uh, yeah, like the. You know when your when your joints stop working. Oh, arthritis. Yeah, there you <laughs> yeah. go. Same thing. There we go, arthritis. Yeah, there you go. Oh no, I haven't got to that stage yet. We're good. We're good. I'm all right. But I cycle every day, so I'm trying to stave it off. Oh, yeah, good, 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 good. The little bit of exercise. Right. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Let me finish the old uh, TikTok yeah, stream up and then I'll yeah, quickly yeah. go get a cup of tea. Um, anyone here who needs help? Oh, did they have Rock Shark as a, as a quest? Rock friend. Rock friend. They want to do Fatalis. Oh, they have Rune. Sure, we can quickly up into that while Twist getting his tea. Yeah, why not? I'll be back in a minute. I'm just, uh. Yeah. Take I'm your just time. Popping me old, uh, what's it called? Steamworks on, because I need those Steam tickets. I keep forgetting to get them. And, uh, war. Yeah, and my chat is also me. telling me I should do Steamworks in the breaks. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need to. I'm, I'm putting it on now. <laughs> Right, I will be right back, guys. I'll be right back. All right. Hey, guys. Everyone in Twas chat, if you didn't follow yet, follow him. Right now. Oh right, right, right now is the time. Give him a wall of followers right now. When he Shit. comes back, he's going to fall off his Got chair him. again and spill Ooh. his tea. That's the plan. Do it now. All right. Prep. It's going to be it's going to be amazing, I'm telling you. Going to be one of the best things you've ever be seen on the internet. Here, I think. Nice, got it. Chain's going. I'm following and playing with you both. Nice, Mers Mersky. Nice. Dual jobless. You guys don't you don't have a, a Fatalis anymore? Oof. Because you always went out of Gomir, but just, yeah, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> nice. 50 Good likes damage. and Twerso shave his mustache on cam. I, I don't think so. 
prepping sleep. I don't think so. Maybe he will comb it for you on cam. He's not gonna shave it. I, I don't think what that's if... that's a possibility. Oh, no, I think that that that, that oh, took years to grow. Oh my! So. Whoa! What the? I don't think that's that's an option. Daddy! <laughs> what? I don't... Yeah, let's get this loaded. All right, game. <laughs> How, how, how is stuff looking in the second session? You guys getting help? You guys getting all your stuff? That was good. Good timing. Okay, let's do this. Oh, he didn't see it. Theo, come here. Nice. Good opening. Go, Leona, go. There we Send go. <laughs> oh, yes. I already aggroed. Rolling in. <laughs> That's so good. Let's go. Every time, I love it. Oh, okay, all right. Is there a second session? Uh, Actually, in, do, uh, on on my stream, we do have a second session. Because there were so many people was before I joined so... twice that we had to make a second one. Yeah, it's, it's going a lot over here. Nice. I did some guiding lands yeah. and some other stuff. Nice. <laughs> and again. Uh, did you help so uh, Waka? Oh, Wako? With his oh, teal, shite. that would be nice. Ah! Uh, there's no point flashing it there. Yep, we did it too. Nice. Thank you, Valky. Oh goodness. oh, goodness. Oh, unless it's going to come down. Thank you, guys. What? The, what? Yeah, we, we, need, we do need bigger lobbies, <laughs> no! like, in wilds. It went there's the no map. way around it. No! <laughs> Long live the We game. need those bigger lobbies. What did you do? <laughs> Rem. But it's also going to be more chaotic. I hope you're having yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. Oh, my oh, goodness. My Didn't goodness. hit anything. Wait, what? Here we go. What? Wow, I'm at this okay, awful place where I'm that. missing the best echoes and needing to do guiding lands for charms. Uh, Can you really do any normal quest? Yeah. yeah. Eventually, you get there theory. where you have to do a lot of... A lot of um, guiding lands just to get the charms upgraded, but we all had to go through that process. And I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people in Twas chat or on mine who do enjoy doing guiding lands. So if you join Discord, my Discord and Twas Discord, you probably find people to play with, people that know what to do, how to do it, and can help you with all that good stuff. I need one, two more. Alright, Balky, you, you heard the guy. <laughs> if he needs one more, yeah, free. Nice, <laughs> GG. Is there a monster to increase the lobby size? No, no. There is not. I, I wish there were. Like I, I, I'm pretty sure if there was a mod for that, everyone would use it. I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but yeah, as of right now, because it has to do with net code as well, right? You, you, you can't just have more people in the lobby <laughs> you also need to you know sync them to everyone else you have to make the quest board work for everyone else i'm sorry i, I think it's not resist. that easy I to just resist. put more oh, people in dear. the lobby <laughs> but i i'm pretty sure capcom has the technology to do that in wilds in addition to capcom hashtag increase lobby size uh we Wow. We have that, right? Alex, hashtag bigger lobbies? That, or hashtag big lobbies? I have to ask twice. That's but there is already a hashtag. It's there as a, you know, if someone joins... Oh, he's limping. Oh, is that a kale? Yeah, it's a kale. Oh my god, my voice crack. <coughs> Excuse me. <There> go. <laughs> I'm helping! Could be dying. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Out it's weird, 2024, of course they can make bigger lobbies. I mean, yeah. Look at the Battle Royale people, like they have 200 people lobbies. So I'm pretty sure hey, that Capcom yeah. can make 32. Greedy, yeah. but never punished. Hey, Otwas, welcome back. We just oh. finished with the teal. I'm, uh, I'm tease on the brew. He's, nice. he's brewing, mate. What's the hashtag for bigger lobbies? Big lobbies or bigger lobbies? No, it's hashtag big lobbies. That's what I asked the... Hashtag big lobbies. Yeah, I've been doing that for years, mate. I did it before Rise came out as well, because uh, when we did before we knew anything about Rises, I was like, "Hash." The, the, I was 
I was so upset when they were like, it's only four player again. Because I'd been doing uh. hashtag big lobbies. I was like, I wanted them to go to 32 player. I was thinking, yes, they're going to go bigger. Hashtag big lobbies. I just don't want the same thing to happen with Wilds. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't. Like, I'm going to do hashtag big lobbies again, but. Like. What did. Oh. Listen, okay. It just hit me like the, the, the apple that Einstein's had. Yeah. What if it's a softcore MMO? But this is this is kind of where Weld was heading, so I would assume they would go further in that direction, right? More MMO. Yeah. Think of no lobbies. <laughs> Alex, Alex says four player lobbies. It's going to happen. So, so you're no, saying you'll like quiet. you'll be quiet. Alex. You're, <laughs> you'll be quiet. You're, you're saying it blends in, uh, like just you know the number of players and that it, it, everyone just sort of filters in and out of the world, if you will, the wilds. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it could work. So it could work. What yeah. If there's like a radius that you have. Yeah. And in that radius, you have like people that come into your radius and then appear in real time in your world. Okay. And they're gonna, you know, can hunt with you I, if they are yeah. in that range. I mean, it could it could work. Oh, dude! And if if you can make it private. And then have it so that it draws from people who have the same friend code as, or like, I guess, think of it this way. So you know how we got IDs? Maybe every yeah. player has their own unique ID in the game, so you can give that out to your, your community, and then you're. Jokes on you! We oh. already have that. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. The Capcom ID. Oh my God! They could do it through we the Capcom have ID. That. But then, but then I need to add everyone on the Capcom thing. That's the only thing. That takes yes, a while. But, but I we mean, already it, have individual yeah, player IDs. We could do Yeah, they'd do it through that, wouldn't they? Dude, I, I think they will. I mean, you had to use the Capcom ID for the poll, right? Yes. Already. They, 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 so, they made the Capcom ID specifically for crossplay. That's what. Yeah. That's my understanding. Like they, because without it, like they don't have a way of doing the crossplay. So yeah, um, we already have that. That. ID system. Yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. I, I, I'd i say yes. Uh, for me, my vote's yes. I'm all in. I mean, t to be honest... Yes, I don't I don't see how you could, like... Sure, that there's probably a big hub in the middle or somewhere in the, in the, in the wide world. Yes. But I don't see that outside of this, this hub area, the city, castle, whatever it will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you have like little, out you might have little outposts every now and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe but a little I, stop I, I off point. I can't see where there is like another big city where people can meet and do quests. And I, I don't see it. So, did you did you play the new Street Fighter game? I didn't play it, but I watched no. gameplay no. for it. And essentially, how it works is like you have. <laughs> Think of it as it has like the city, which is like a mm -hmm. hub kind of like the gathering hall in this but on a uh -huh. much larger scale and you can join people that you just see in combat like you can fight them from people that you visualize but you can also join and fight people that aren't in that thing again like the monster hunter gathering hall but what i'm thinking is th the thing is if street fighter dude street fighter this is a game yeah. that like renders crazy detailed character models it's all about the characters and everything if they can mm. do it with 100 players, Monster Hunter, the next Monster Hunter's got to be it. Like, Monster Hunter, the thing is, with, with Street Fighter, it's just 1v1. Monster Hunter, it's always, well, not always, but a lot of the time, you want to connect to three other people. So it makes even more sense to have a bigger lobby in a game like yeah. Monster Hunter. So, oh, dude, I hope so. Dude, I hope so, man. Hashtag big lobbies. Hashtag. Like, <laughs> what I'm thinking right now, let's say you have no quest, go out in the world. Yes. And then you see people fighting something. Oh, I get you. So dynamically join the work? hunt. I get you. I get yes. you. Yes. Like I, I think... Uh, I guess it depends how big that? the world is, right? If it is going, like you say, in an MMO-like direction, where yeah. it is a massive span of open world. We're talking like bigger than Rise's map standard, all interconnected. If they do do that then I think a system like that could definitely work because there's less chance of two hunting parties necessarily uh, interrupting one another. 
But do, could you imagine that like you're on one side of the map and you're hunting and mm. you know that it's interconnected and there's another group of hunters on the other side of the map hunting a different monster. But that's dynamically happening yeah. at the same time. I mean, that... For me, I know a lot of people are going to be like, I, and again, just based on some of the replies I got from Twitter yesterday about people talking about Wilds or, or, or in some mm -hmm. other discussions, I know a lot of people really don't want that. But for me, there, there's so many possibilities. So long as you, if yeah. you're going to do that, make it like the expeditionary system from this game, and you mm -hmm. can still have your standard isolated stuff for, you know, speed running, practicing solo if you want to do that. But I do feel like if you implemented a system like that, it could be interesting. You don't want that no, because a cheater could just run around. Yeah, but uh, I, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheaters. Yeah, uh, so yeah. What I would suggest is, yeah, the cheater thing that will always that, be that, that, that The only way problem, to yeah. prevent it is to just completely lock down online. Yeah, for you... people who have any kind of third party program on. And that requires the the arm. Yeah, you you or you allow for community lobbies like we like we do. Yeah. So you you make it yeah. so that you can yeah you can have a hundred people, but they they've got to be a part of your community. So at least then but you're the kind of side. curating the experience. On the flip side, let's say you go out on expedition. Yes. And there are three people fighting a monster, and you can dynamically join fighting that monster. Yes. And then you automatically accept the quest. I think. Other games did it as well. I don't remember like what games did that. I think uh, Final Fantasy did that. Oh yeah, well, F where you can 14, just dynamically. Yes. Oh, yeah, there was. I there. can think of another game that did it. It was um, oh, it's it's not anymore. But it was a free to play MMO on Steam, and you used to have this. Era? I can't remember what it was called, but it was uh, sort of semi futuristic, and you're it was like a space RPG, and you could set down these little Thanks. mining nodes that would come out of the out of space. And uh, then when when it would it, they, called, they were called the thumpers, right? I know original, uh -huh. right? But uh, it would attract like hordes of enemies depending on the area you're in and the level and stuff. And you like you could just go in and like dynamically join these uh, encounters whilst people were mining for resources to upgrade their gear and whatnot. No. Yeah. One sec, dude. I'm just gonna grab me tea. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay. See, so, yeah, I, I just finish. Want to finish my point real quick? So what I was thinking is, if you go out and you see three people, you can dynamically join the hunt. But if there are four people and the, the, the hunt party is quote-unquote full, this, those four people will go in a, in a different instance. You know, so they are not displayed as hunting that monster anymore because they are full. But you, you, I think that it could, there could be a way where you can probably set it up in the expedition that you want to see other players or you want to play solo. I'm really sure that technology exists, like offline or, or online, right? You want to go online, you see other players being uh, in the open world hunting stuff. And if you go offline, you're completely alone. I'm really sure that that's an option. Yeah, I'm getting spammed. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, right, yes. Right, right. I will what, what am I joining? What am I what are we on? I'm I'm getting spammed. We have Um uh, a Fatalis or a Day of Ruin again. Alan. Oh wait, wait, Viserra, I can't Alan is full. I can't yeah, I can't, sorry, that was me. I joined that one. We can't both join. I mean join if somebody that. wants to hop out okay. Um Uh what about Oh, MC and Miu are doing a fatty. There's two spots in that. We could join that. Yeah. Go on, uh, By the way, we have two free places in the lobby if anyone wants to join. Oh, wow. You left? WTF? Yeah, yeah, no. Viserya and I are going to do the uh, fatty because there's two spots in there. Cheeky, cheeky yeah. fatty. If you're going to do co-stream, you also want to do co-hunt. Exactly. Yeah, because Viserya, what, what, what time you normally go? Like 11 o'clock, right? So an hour and a half left. Uh, yeah, yeah. We shall make the a most of bit, it. A little bit, a little bit more, maybe. Every now and then, I do a little bit more. One hundred percent. Yeah, usually, usually eleven for me. All right, do you want me to do? Oh, I could bring. Oh, it's in half an hour for me. Holy shit! I'm Time I bring... flies. Should I bring hunting horn or? Oh no, MC's bringing switch axe. I could do double switch axe. What's me? You bring? Uh, I'm at land. I'm on land. Okay, okay. Me oh, on wait, 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 wait! Before you go, before you go, who's doing artillery? 
Uh, this is what I'm saying, because I could go get a, I could get a hunting horn if you want. And do, uh... What's it called? Yeah, 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 I'll bring hunting horn, because I can bring... I'll, I'll bring my sure. dudes, because I don't normally play hunting horn that often. I've been playing You're it again. Uh, yeah, 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 dude, don't know. Okay. 100%, yeah, because I don't really lose as much, um... And also, uh, one more thing I have to ask your chat. Eleanor, can you uh, quickly equip your Safi charge blade build? Because I want to try a, uh, the charge blade on Safi, but I have no idea what build you use. And every time you are in Safi, you deal so much damage. Eleanor's on that charge blade deeps whenever we do uh, Safi, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know what. I, I see element. But it's no Safi set bonus, because I don't see that one. So it must be like Fatalis set bonus with ice, ice charge bait. Savage yeah, Axe. and you play Savage Axe, yeah, because Safi's uh, element hit zones are pretty damn good on his legs. You have it on now. Okay, let me let me yeah. quickly take a look so I can make a screenshot. Ah, okay. Let me quickly screenshot that. That was it, okay, Insomniac. It. That was it. Firefall. That was the one. Yeah, I used to play that. I played it for like mm, only a few weeks because it got really boring. The, the gameplay loop was like basically the same thing. And it mm -hmm. was, I think it was had like pay to win elements. So I was just like, dude, this sucks. Like, the, like it was one of those games where the game suffered because they wanted you to buy boosters and all this, that and the other to make the game good. And I was just like, ah, was just just make me buy it. Thank I'll, you, Eleanor. Just buy it, make a good game, sell the game, I'll buy the game. <laughs> Yeah, I made the I made the screenshots. Thank you, Eleanor. Legend. I can make a Safi charge blade build because uh, playing bow all the time is fun and stuff. But every now and then, you know, might change my weapon. Um, might want to try something else. Before you go in, let me play the first set of notes. I'll get the second set of notes as you're flying okay. in because it will hit you. I see. Love testing back in the day. This the the set that solo Safi with. Ah, I see. Yeah, Eleanor again. Thank you very much for showing. Yeah, I remember. I remember when, uh, not necessarily when Eleanor was doing it, but um, who was it? I had another charge blade main before Eleanor, Eleanor was here again, like four years ago, and they we we came to the conclusion the same thing. Like uh, the element builds, like combo builds, were fantastic for that fight. Ah, Safi's just a weird one. His hit zones are odd. Like they, uh, yeah, yeah. But element is genuinely it's good on him. Yeah, I, I would take Dragon. Like I would take the the Electron weapon if it wasn't for the for the Elder Seal. There you go. You can go. Like mate. the Elder Seal is just such a big thing in Area Three. So yeah, and it's weird. Like for something like Charge Blade, I would have thought you actually go raw Savage X. But then I saw Eleanor play, and I was like, huh, Element. I mean, but it, no SAD. Raw Savage Axe is okay on the fight. It's still solid, but it suffers from the same thing that all raw weapons suffered from on that fight. Just like that, oh, really. Jesus <laughs> I don't know what happened. Clutch on the head. We all clutch on the head. Oh, God damn it. Then me, you, and I clutch on the chest. I get thrown off. Has he, um, has he been smoke uh, cancelled yet? Oh, God. Yes. Oh, okay. I already nice. got it. I did a wall bang up with counter clutch. Nice. Never mind. I'll do it now. Grabbing me, I'm gonna do another pots. one. Yeah. There we go. This smoke work? No. Nope. Okay. No, sorry. I should have put one down at the thingy. My bad. Maybe. Oh, we oh, oh, we got him. Nice. It's good for switch axe. Didn't play lands on, on Freddy for so long. Lance uh, solo is was the hardest matchup for me, you know, on this guy. Oddly enough. It's, it, it is hard, yeah. But it was, it's also like, all oh, no. these set is fine. Uh, what do we do? You want to reset or? Yeah, no, 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 no. Keep going, keep going. All right, okay. They just lost their attack up large. They're DPS. The deeps. Okay, we have me. I have lands. I have the deeps. I wish. I have to replay I wish all I had the buffs. The DPS. 
I hate it when someone dies because for me it's a bloody nightmare getting everything back up again. Yeah. Oh, oh there I, you go. Yeah, I've also got to extend. Hang on a minute. Uh, I just can't be late to that ballista, obviously. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get attack up XL back up. Lens on fatal pain. No, lens is good on on fatals if you know what to do. It just takes a lot of practice. Yeah, it does. It's just it's just knowing your guards. You do not want to yeah. mess up your guards. The, like using the wrong guard at the wrong minute could uh, spell doom. Yeah. All right, refresh them spots. Oh god. No, oh, he's gonna scream. I don't. I don't know. He's what been doing that so actually. often recently, and I don't know why. Yeah. We did one today, and he also did that. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait, I'm wait, sorry wait. if I run someone over. One second. Taking. Uh... Wait! Oh no! I put the wrong load out. Oh, I didn't yeah, bring my okay. might pills. No! Damn it! The whole point of this build is uh, for the might pill. That sucks. Because I got okay, wide, I got right. wide range three on it. I yeah, sacrificed I saw it the other day. Yeah. No! Oh no! We all... bad <laughs> <laughs> I almost died there. Good. No, no, I'm not going to do it there again. Oh god! Wait, it knocked both of us off. What? Yeah, it can happen. I, I don't know. I don't know why. Okay, can I fade a cone? Maybe. No, not anymore. Okay. Very nice. Ben, good night. Thank you for joining in. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh man, yeah, I noticed oh, that the... damage difference from not having the might pills. I should. I, that's such an idiotic thing by me. I can't believe I, I forgot them. Nah, don't worry about it. I thought I. Care. I thought I bought the loadout as well. That's the weird thing. Lower got another Akosha. Put it on the pile. Number fifty-eight. Oh, you're catching up know. with me. I think I've got like 90. Do you know how many I have? How many? Four. <laughs> That's all you need, though. That's all I need. Yeah, as soon as he touches the ground, you want to clutch claw onto him. And then he's being dumb. Yeah, look. Oh, he's actually behaving this time. Nice. Yeah. That's good. You guys can get some free damage in. Oh man, I'm missing those my pills. If we do another one, I'll remember to bring them. Sure. I missed. Dude, I missed. Uh, oh, his head's broken. I'm fine. Five, four. You gonna three, stay? Two, one. Yeah, I'll nice. set up my spokes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I usually don't risk it. Nah, I just but count. I guess if we have if, you... if we have good players in here. Oh, dude, count five seconds. It's uh, job done. That's it. No, no, yeah, but you know when we are when we helping people. Oh, wanna, hell, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It. No, no, no. I don't, I don't only risk it if I'm helping either. Hundred percent. I didn't have a mantle on either, so there's literally like no reason for me not to. No, you shouldn't actually, because it drains all your mantle. Yeah, that's why I always run out if I got mantle. Yeah, I'm nice gonna stay with you then. Yep. I do have a mantle ready to go. Five, four, I do super three, dumps. two, one. Nah, I just chug. <laughs> nah, I do superman. I do superman jumps. Chug, chug, chug. Job done. Oh, the only thing is, I should really be going out to get the uh, extender up. Ah, oh, no offense, God. Oops. Oh, hello, cheeky. Oh, that's good for me. I'm just oh, that's bad. Chest right there. Oh, that's bad for oh, me. Oh, I got the iframe. Nice. We're good. Yeah. Metal DFX extension. Okay. I'm, I'm okay.
That's the bad thing about Lancer multiplayer. People trigger my counter. Oh god, yeah. I know. Oh, hello. Alright, fair enough. Okay. Do you have the second binder? Uh, I haven't got it. I haven't got it yet. I can go get it. Oh, no! Oh, what have I done? I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Okay, I'm dragon potted. Sorry, guys. I got I got pinned. That's on me. I'm, I'm, I got it. I'm running. Nice. I'm on my way. He's, uh, I'm going to do it after he's done looking. There it yeah, is. I'm going to do it now. Excellent. On the head. Oh, I say I'm on the head, and then, like... He does the little wiggle, and I'm have no longer anyone on the head. Did Monster Hunter? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah, uh, I saw my fair share of, of people who... It's pretty who egregious, and... man. So, so there's been scandals and everything recently with cheating and all sorts. I not only that... Oh, oh, I've also, seen it. You, you, have, you have evidence in the game right now. Oh, yeah. If you want to yeah. go to the challenges, in the arena challenges, and you click on yeah. the world record. The one second. It, 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 yeah, <laughs> it's even less. It's, in, it's now in milliseconds. <laughs> the cheaters are competing. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Next, Next level. Yeah, you, you see people that have times in the milliseconds that are normally never achievable. So, if for every single quest, the first 10 Eight. pages. And, yeah, there you know. Oh, man, if I bought the mic build, that would have been so quick. Depends what modding you do. Hey, doing so fifth. Welcome back. Hope you're having yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. Uh, sinful. If you talk about like visual stuff, no, not really. That's not cheating. Or if no, you talk no, no, no. about stuff that you know, you off Martin helps you see things better. Like there is a mod that that makes the uh, the shiny drops for monsters more visible. There is a mod that makes the gathering spots in the guiding lands visible on the mini map. Stuff like that. I wouldn't consider it cheating. But if you play uh, like damage modifications or anything like that, that gives you an unfair advantage, that's that's cheating. And not worse. What what do you think about it? Um. So for me, cheating in this game. Okay, anything that alters your set to give you more than what the set would normally give you. Giving yourself items and armor before you would naturally be able to attain them in the game. Uh, giving yourself... Uh, unless you're doing, like, speed runs and you're exclusively, like... You need certain items, like, a, a, I don't know. Things that are just really hard to farm for to make, but you want to spam out, like, a thousand speed runs to get a world record. I can kind of understand adding certain things to the shop. I would say don't do it. Like, it's... You know, if you're playing, like, in this lobby, for example... I'd be like, you know, try not to do it because that's all part of the fun is farming up and that. But if you're doing like runs in isolation, I think that's fine. Um, I think custom quests are okay, you know, like challenging quests. Someone the other day got like a really easy quest that gives like 10 super rare decorations and they were asking me, is that fine? I was like, nah, that's cheating. I think if you're doing like arch tempered quests and that gives you, you know, the Teostra loot pool from the arena, I think... That's fine, because those quests are harder than Teostra, for example. So it's not like you're making it easier for yourself to get them. Uh, anything else? Yeah, just stat modifiers. Um, I think yeah. Capcom didn't do a save editor. I do feel like if you're really honest about it and you, you played on PS4 and you copy your character exactly like verbatim or less than what you had on the PlayStation, I think that's fine. I think that's acceptable. Um... Just, you know, make sure you let people know so that they don't go, oh, wait, what's this? If they see something weird on your guild card or whatever. Because um, I don't think you can edit guild cards, can you? If you can, I don't know how you to. Can. You oh, can. You, oh, you can? Oh, well, there you go. Fair enough. You can, you can edit you. But yeah, if you're going to do that, I think that's fine. I think that's... Because again, I do think Monster Hunter having a save transfer system would have been nice. I think Capcom yeah. themselves would have implemented it. So if you're going to emulate that by editing your save on this game, I think that's I think that's acceptable. Obviously, uh, movement, buffs, stuff like that. You know, anything, again, that changes the way you behave. I think it's yeah. fine. Again, if you're doing it in isolation or if all of your friends that you're playing with have all agreed and they're all doing it, like moveset buffs, I think that's fine. But I think if you're going to, obviously, if you're going to play 
let's say with us and we're trying to, I don't know, do like a, a run or help someone, it might be a little bit cheeky because a lot of those things aren't necessarily balanced accordingly. Um, yeah. Anything else? Uh, by the way, can you quickly look at my my screen and see that wonderful end screen? <laughs> oh, look, mate, he's got a, he's got a zero five four on his uh, right molar. I think uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to remove that one. Sorry, Fanny. Uh, his tongue is a little <laughs> bit choppy, right? Like, yeah, dude, mate, I think you really need to brush that tongue a bit clearly. better. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna help reduce the bacteria. You know, it's gonna yeah. be the, the, you know clearly the flame's not doing everything that it should be. Um, yeah, it's not cleansing enough. What if somebody was to has already done all the grinding once and uses mods to get the gear on a second character? Uh, what, to, like, replicate the same character again? I mean, I guess that's fine. Yeah. I mean, I, why would you need to, though? consumer builds or showing monster health? That's... That's... You, uh, uh, that's cheating. That's cheating, like, yeah. So, unlimited consumer builds, 100%. Because that's not the, the essence of the game. Like, like a, if you give yourself like unlimited I, might seeds or something. So, so this is what I said earlier. If you're doing that in isolation to test things, is fine. But if you're just keeping it on, um, especially like guys, they're, they're, like this is in speedruns. If you're like looking at thresholds, health and stuff like that in an actual run, that's cheating, guys. Like you're not meant to be able to know that. Yeah. Now, while you're practicing, you can have it to give you an idea like, yeah. absolutely. But once you're actually submitting runs and you're doing it, you cannot use those, those tools because that gives you a huge advantage. Um, yeah, because you, you always have to see if you look at the threshold, you will play differently oh, than if you don't know the threshold. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you will 100% play differently. You, you're going to stop attacking if you see oh, you're very close to that specific threshold. For testing stuff, yeah, wh whatever. Or... Well, you know, if you play solo, you're not doing speed runs, you're not doing anything. You can do basically whatever you want. But yeah, as soon yeah, yeah. as you go online and you have these things enabled, there will be a problem. Mm. So Ash Buy says I use a mod to give myself better decoration drop rates because I don't have the time to grind them. But you don't consider it cheating. Unfortunately, that that is that is cheating. <laughs> I hate to break it to you because it's not it's not as the devs intended it to be for the drop rate. Now here's the thing. Yeah. You can do, if you want to do, like, challenging quests that give uh, good decorations, like, not, like, guaranteed, but, like, you know, have good drop rates on things, I think that's okay because you're you're doing something that's harder than was in the base game. So, naturally, if the devs had implemented that, they would have implemented better rewards. I mean, look at Tempered Furious Rajang as an example, right? If they made yeah. an Arch Tempered Furious Rajang, stands to reason he would have better rewards that's kind of like that that makes sense but if you are literally just improving your base drop rates uh again monster hunter is a game that's meant to be something that you put a lot of time into it is grindy yeah it is like it monster is. hunter is supposed to be grindy but that's there are the game's essence there are people with four thousand plus hours in the game without decorations that like, that's that's i've never met anyone with four thousand plus hours that doesn't yeah, have what no. they want I'd, uh, you, you'd be unlucky if you hit a thousand hours and you didn't get what you needed, I think. Uh, I, I've never met anyone with 4K. And I've got, I've got 6,000 hours in this game. Um, it'd be very unlikely. The subreddit is, Reddit is full of posts that, like that. Let's just take mm. the, the Reddit users at face value that they've actually got 4,000 bloody hours in the game. Um. <laughs> I just wanted to explain the selfish threat and the guy who needs the explanation, they already left. Oh, damn. Uh, Lol, I, I will do it later. Oh, I'll point him to the uh, to the Safi threat in the in the server. I don't think there's any way if you're farming, let's say Teostra, Furious Rajang, Lunastra, Kushala, the good decoration quests in this game, or even just doing uh, farewell to Zenoga. Not to mention, you can make a lot of the rare decorations now at the Melda. There is no way it's going to take you four thousand hours to no. get all the. It's, it's just it's not going to happen. Like you would you would have to be exceptionally unlucky. The the rarest drops in this game now are, are an under a one in five hundred drop rate. So they improved it a lot, right? As as time went on. So we already had you you can you can get. So, you. I was going to say you can get up to eight to ten average decorations on those arena quests. So. Yeah. You know, that's 50 times you're going to hit that one in 500. Uh, some of those decorations, yeah, you might want three of them. But the there's, they have a lot of variations of that same decoration. So, again, you're going to hit that multiple times anyway. Um, yeah. We actually have one example. Um, Akari in my, in my chat. 
Yes. Is over 300 Tyrosaurus for one attack four. Okay. Uh, even 300 Tyrosaurus doesn't take you a thousand hours. Not even close. No, but, and, and the other thing I'd like to point out is you only ever need two of those decos. So if we extrapolate yep. that, and attack four is the rarest decoration in the game, that's 600 hours. And again, I'd say if you got one after 300 hours of Telstra, assuming you're doing them in three to five minutes, that's Ooh. like, that's not that, that's not that long, really. Like, it's not going to take you that long. There's a cheating community for Monster Hunter. No, there's a modding community. I mean, there's probably people who cheat, yeah. Oh, 100%, but yeah. If there is a community about it, I don't think so. Oh, we've got uh, across the lost path. Uh, this yeah, area. it's only thirteen. It's fourteen minutes in already. I was just uh, trying to ask you, but I saw the time. Yeah, let's let's just go. Let's hop in. Okay. Give him a hand. I know April was struggling with this. Yeah. Let's give him some help. Yeah, the, the, I wouldn't say necessarily a cheating community, more like modding community. And usually, the modding community is consists of pretty friendly people. Who are trying to make the game a better place. Mm. And they also understand, you know, the struggle of, of cheating. So I wouldn't say it's necessarily that every modder is also a cheater. It's more like you have some people that use the mods in an unintended way. It's it's kind of like the best way to apply it to Monster Hunter is would you do it in an MMO RPG if you found an exploit, a glitch, or a cheat in an MMO RPG? Would it be cheating in an MMO? If the answer's yes, then it's a it's a cheat here as well. Um, pr pretty much, you know. It's oh wait, why the hell am I going this way? Oops. Um, uh, I don't know if I agree with you on that. Oh, okay. So no, because an exploit. Okay, okay. Is something I, I, that I, is in the game. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. An exploit, is something that's in the game. I, sh I I miss I misphrased that. What I what I should have said was like. What's the best way? So, do you remember in Grand Theft? Did you ever play GTA Five? Did you ever get yeah. around to playing that one? Do you remember there was yeah. a there was a there was a glitch in the game where you could keep infinitely resell the most expensive car in the game? So you could save up enough money and resell the most expensive car over and over and over again to the garage and just build up yeah. tons and tons and tons of cash, right? Infinite wealth. Yeah, yeah. That's a cheat, right? Yes, it's an exploit, but it's not intended. Like that's obviously exploiting something that. The devs didn't intend, so it's cheating because obviously you know they want you to earn money, not in that way. So yeah. it, now, now we don't we don't have anything like that in Monster Hunter to really compare it to. But like, if you could get a mod that allows you to do that to get like infinite cash, okay, that's a cheat, right? <laughs> like, oh, so if it's a mod, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's, that's that's what I mean. That's that's what I meant. I should have clarified. But if it's in game, like let's say the gun lens glitch. Oh I, yeah. I do consider. I don't consider it cheating. I do consider it like pretty bad for the game, and I'm, I'm sad that they didn't patch that or now the the palico thingy. But because for, it takes yeah. away gameplay, so, it takes away the fun. So for me, I wouldn't use that because I'd consider it yeah, a bit, a bit cheaty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not using it, but also I don't call people cheaters who do use it. Because it's no, in the game, I wouldn't, they I, found that exploit. No, I wouldn't call him a cheater, but I wouldn't want him doing it on my runs either. Because <laughs> I'd be like... Yeah, it's che yeah like yeah, Sinful yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Redemption said, it's cheesing, not cheating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's an exploit, um, it's in the game. Cheesing, I'd be like ledge hopping, I'd say. Or, or like uh, zero-sum discharge spam with the, the rock steady. I'd call that a bit cheesy, but I don't know. The, the gun lance thing? I don't know, man. Yeah. That's that's like it's it's on the borderline. That's a very interesting uh, point. It's one of those things where, yeah, it's it's hard to like like I said again. I wouldn't call it cheating. I would call it like yeah, you use an exploit in the game, but the difference is you don't use any third party thing to achieve. No, 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 no. You no. can do it on every console, on every platform on every machine. But do we think the devs would update it to remove that exploit from the game? In my opinion, 100%. So, yes. Absolutely. They would not, I that is not so. intentional. So, again, I, that's why I don't, that's why I don't use it. But I guess that comes down to personal, that's a personal preference thing. Yes. Because like you say, thing. It's, it's in the game. So, fair enough. Yeah. Um. But, but they say, I mean, it's absurd to expect someone who's on a full-time work student, parent, or juggling several things IRL to be able to even consider speed running. It's not speed running. No. K maybe, kill, yeah. Killing Teostra in three or five minutes is not speed running. That's just, no, you've got no. a decent build. Uh, you can, you're good at the game. 
Like, you're not... That's yeah. not a speed run. Speed run to Elstra is, like, sub two minutes. You know, like a minute and a half. Yes. You know, <laughs> like, that's speed running. You know, everyone get the heavy bow guns out. Pop, proc the heroics. Dead in, like, yeah. literally thingy. No, no, no. This is this is just casual play. You can kill Teostra in three, five, six minutes. They're even KT, like, we have friends casually helping people that they are, like, five minutes long. It's a barrier to entry. It's not harming the experience for others in the game or increasing damage through some way. It isn't already built into the game. You don't consider it cheating. But modifying a drop rate value to get yourself an item that is supposed to be rare within the design of the game. Like, these are the things that are meant to be like, yeah, you're meant to put 100, 200 hours in to, to try and get these items. I get that's not ideal if you're busy, you're a student, you're a parent, you're a full-time worker, but that's the whole thing that gives Monster Hunter its longevity. It's one of the things that like keeps people coming back because they're like, oh man, I didn't get that attack decoration yet. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to try for it, you know? Um, it's the same with any, a lot of RPGs, good RPGs, in my opinion, they'll have like those rare sought after items. Um, they, 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 a lot of them do it, you know, even Dark Souls, it's got that, what's it like the one in 500 ghost blade in Anor Londo and yeah. stuff like that. You know, yeah. they, they, there's these items that just, they have a little bit of, uh, prestige in the community. You know, if you get it, you got, you, you got some good, a little bit of good luck, but they're not like impossible to attain either. Like, again, you can kill 500 ghosts in Anor Londo. You can kill 300 Teostra to max out your decoration collection. It's not it's not something that's unattainable. Will it take you, like, a good couple of weeks? Or if you're playing for a couple of hours, maybe at the end of the day, of a, a day of work, it might take you a couple of months. But, again, Monster Hunter is the game that you can play over a couple of months and enjoy that grind and, and that farm. Um, multiple MMOs leave a bug where you can use or sell items to pay more. Yeah, I know. That was a big issue in Fable. I remember in Fable, you could buy items at one trader, literally walk up the road, sell them for <laughs> like double the price at another trader. And it was like, dude, what the hell? I can get infinite money. Uh, <laughs> it's just you, you had that in, in the Witcher. That yeah, one of it was. It was in, with the cows. It was, yeah. But they, they yeah. put a thing in the game. They put a yeah, giant it it stupid boss in the game that it would come and kill you. And then they did. No, do you remember they put the tax man in the game? He'd be like, you have unregistered earnings. And he would come and he would take your money from you. He would After take that. Yeah, 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 yeah. They put it in. But the, the first time they put the, that cow boss in there, people were like, oh, okay, cool. I just kill the cow. So the boss <laughs> spawn and kill the boss because he <laughs> yeah. will infinitely respawn and then sell his shit yeah, for yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. I remember. I remember that. But this is like... This is an exploit, and you as a player are free to 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 say I'm not gonna do that, like the Gunlands glitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the thing with the decorations as entry as the barrier of entry is yes and no. If you want to compete on a on a competitive level, yes. If you want to do speed running, like let's see how fast I can kill this thing, then no. Because you set your own barriers you can say okay yeah it's gonna differ from, it's gonna like use, the yeah it's gonna differ from community to community right yeah i'm gonna do it uh, armor less i'm gonna do it with a high rank set i'm gonna do it without decorations there are so many things you can set yourself up to but if you want to do it on a competitive level well yeah you have to grind but yes. that's the essence of monster Hunter. so if you take the grind away what is left so 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 from my perspective, it's going to be different for community to, to community as well. In my community, yeah. we really value and celebrate the time and effort the players put into the game. Um, so, obviously, people farming, when they get that good decoration, we get some hype, you know? It's like, oh my god, they actually got it, you know? If if they were just, if they did the swarm rate modifier, and it's like, oh, well, okay, it's ten times more likely to pop up. They get an attack decorations every quest. It's nothing to celebrate anymore. If they, you know, if you get an XP booster to get your MR up faster, to access quests faster, well, now I'm not celebrating you getting MR or HR 999, because I don't care, because you didn't do it, legit. Um, it's all these kind of things where it's like, in, in this community, in TBD community, they mean something to us. And again, we're, we're diehard Monster Hunter players, you know, like trying to convince us that some kind of booster or thing that changes the rate in the game is a, in a way that the devs didn't intend. It's a hard sell for us. I mean, you could say, oh, mate, I work 20 hours every single day and I only get to sleep for four hours and then I play it in my dreams. I would still be like, yeah, but why are you cheating? <laughs> I would still, I'd still, that's just, that's just me, you know, like, 
Um, some some communities are going to be like, yeah, 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 mate, spawn yourself in every bit of armor and every weapon. It's fine. Don't even don't even worry. But that's not this community. Um, no, but for someone who wants to speed run, the RNG on decorations is so low that the grind is buried. Oh yeah, Viserio already answered that. No, 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 it's not. It's it's really not. If you're speed running the game, you're already putting in thousands of hours because you might spend a thousand hours just practicing one monster. Like that's how good you have to yeah, be to do speed running the in this barrier game. barrier of entry is not decorations. The barrier of entry is learning skill? the monster, learning the weapon. It's literally your learning, skill. <laughs> yeah, it's your skill as a player. Mm. And if you say, or let, yeah, let's say you are you're going full work, right? You probably don't have the time. And if you do, then mad respect to you. Absolutely, yeah, 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 hundred percent. It's just it, it it's a different grind. Like speed running itself is is different. Mm. My first speed run on on Nergi was one minute something it was slow because i didn't know mm. what the hell i'm doing but you know the more you do it the better you get and then at some point you will get the decorations naturally because and, you and you'll get quests. and you'll get them quicker because you've gotten better yeah. at the game as well that's the other thing yeah and it, and not even not even just speed running it's just like yeah um the game has a lot of content but you don't feel like the rng should be the largest reason for people to play well it's not I've got ever, dude. I've had everything I've needed in this game for the past five and a half thousand hours, and I'm still playing. I I, I completed everything. Yeah. So yeah. and I'm still going. So it's it's really not yeah. the main reason to play the game. The, the the reason is to you know hang out with your friends, enjoy the hunts, help other people. In my case, get the RNG because it doesn't it doesn't. I don't know where this myths come from where it takes four thousand hours. I mean, yeah, maybe if you're taking 40 minutes a hunt, 50 minutes a hunt. But at that point, I'd be more like, okay, uh, let me help you. Let me teach you. You know, let me show you how to make a better build. Um, you know, get rid of this, get rid of that, you know, improve your thing. Um, it's the one thing you make an attack plus four at 50% drop rate. But even doubling that rate is insanely low. Well, dude, it's, it's, not, it's not at a 50%. It's... Dude, 50% is is like nothing. Dude, you have you have basic materials in this game that like a scale isn't a 50% drop rate from a monster, let alone the rarest decoration in the game. Um Have friends recommend the mod to buy items. You always reject them since you'll end up getting bought. Exactly. What's the like if you didn't earn it, like then what's the reason to stay around? It just kind of makes everything superficial. Uh yeah, um, no, quickly. Uh, Aprio yes. or the other dude? Yeah, what do um, they need? What do they need help with, guys? Oh, We're sorry. waiting. Even he may, guys. What do, what do you need? What do, what do you guys need? Aprio, maybe you want to do the, the Recon? Or anything? But yeah, I, I think, honestly speaking, the decoration oh, nice farm in world is so much better than the egregious RNG in, in, in Rice. And this is the biggest entry of speedrunning. No matter how good you are at the game, you cannot compete with a cheated augment in Rise. You can't. No, you're not allowed to. But you can compete in World even though you don't have Attack 7. Because it's, it's a smaller difference and there are people who are so good at the game that oh, having dude. Attack 7 100%. or not doesn't make a difference to them. Yeah, because it's 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 way more skill based in world than in Rise where skills are pretty much hey, everything. Dude, Daddy, welcome back, mate. I think Apio posted the Oh nice RP weekend. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Um but like what did he say? He feels like is is that what you're responding to? You feel like yep. one decoration could be the Yeah, I mean it's uh it's it's not really... yeah, like yeah, it makes it it is a difference. It is gonna, Maybe it is it's gonna make one a difference, more attack like, or not. For attacks, like a bad example, it is like the rarest decoration, but it's not. It's not the be all crit and end all. There's much is... more common decorations that make a huge difference. Um, yeah, like crit boost. Yeah, crit but boost. But actually easy to get. I'd be very surprised if you did ten, maybe twenty Telstras and didn't get your Wex crit boost collection. Um, yeah. It would. It would be you know. Not to mention you've got the farewell to Zenoga with the fuel. Oh, it's the Safi Recon. What am I doing? I'm on the wrong bloody thing. Yeah, the, the Recon. <laughs> One second. I mean, honest, like, truthfully speaking, if you increase your drop rate and you just tell nobody, nobody can 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 prove it anyway. No, 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 no. Nobody no. can prove anything. You, but in, in my head, especially when Wilds comes out, I will not do anything. 
I will play the no, game and dude, yeah. grind the game. I mean, if some of the drop rates are like they were with Rise with the RNG system, I'll try and petition for them to like. Yeah, ev try even and then, I voice will to get probably a for the first thousand hours. Do oh it yeah, dude, a hundred percent. So. I'll, I'll go for it myself, and hopefully Capcom will rebalance it like they did with the decorations in this game. Um, oh, even the charms and rice. The, the less upgrade for the charms, even though it's still a little bit weird that there is no uh, Frostcraft that you can choose, or, or like Berserk you can choose. But you can choose skills now, like let's say Guard, and yes. you're guaranteed to get Guard 3 to 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you cannot get Guard 2. Like three, uh, two or lower. It's impossible for that setting. So they improved it, and I, I really think that's a step in the right direction. So, so they say no, no. What they were saying was fifty percent drop rates would be cheating for something that rare. But doubling the drop rates doesn't make them that much more common than uh, those drop rates. No, I, I, I think that's a fair assessment. But uh, yeah, again, uh, that's true. Yeah. But, but like, it doesn't matter if it's one percent or two percent; it's not that big of a but deal. But you just yeah. have to. The, 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 my point that I'm saying is, is that we enjoy playing the game legit. Like we enjoy yes. playing it as it was intended by the devs. Um, because you also have to see that. Yeah. If it's a good game, you like playing it. Yeah, that's true. You, 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 you. I, I don't the hours like in. cheating in a game that I like because it takes away the value from the game. Me, I just don't like cheating in games in general. But <laughs> don't, even mean, if, if it is one that I don't like, I ain't gonna cheat. I'm just not gonna play, not gonna play it to be honest. Speaking <laughs> like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're playing strictly single player, you don't have internet whatsoever. Who cares what you do? You bought the game. You own the game. Yes. Do whatever you like. Yeah, you're not. Into, you're not like changing other players' experiences based yes. on you know like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, 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 you know, maybe belittling the grind that they're partaking in by yeah. sort of skipping it. But if you go online, that that will be a little bit different because then people are probably pointing it out to you and asking you. And then, yeah, it's, it's going to be going to be a different thing. And right. Angel Storm, thank you for the follow. Guys, get on get on our side and attack the uh, the rear leg. We'll do a little bit of practice. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, one second. I've got it. Ready, Viserri? Yeah, no, no, take, take your time. Take your time. Send it. Yep. Wait, did I bring... The, I thought I bought the right loadout. What the hell? No, I don't have to write item loadout. <laughs> Dude, I just looked I and I was like... Build, I but... thought I put bought the Safi thingy. That's so weird. Left back leg? Yes. Left back leg. From the left side, by the way. Don't stand below him and attack the leg, because then he will probably turn. You want to stay on the left side and attack the, attack the leg. That's it. All on where EU is, uh, EU Alex is attacking. That's where you want to be, guys. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks for the help on the wings. I don't have, yeah, I have the same build you have, but I don't have blast coatings because I'm a, I'm a dumbass. Oh, no, communication. Oh, it's a Tuesday. Oh, yeah. I got kicked as well. Wait, that was early, though. Wait, no, it's not. It's way too early for the service to go down. Yeah, no, it's way too early. It's like an hour early. Everyone got... Oh, did it, wait. We, did they actually go down? We all DC'd. Something with... We all DC'd. Okay, so is the service going down then? It's not Wednesday, it's Tuesday. Yeah, MC got DC'd. Uh, Laurel, Valky. Yeah, I got DC'd. He may... Everyone. Let me see if I can make a lobby again. If not, then we know it's the servers. Unless Oof. it was us, maybe something weird with joining the Safi Recon. No, I can't. No, 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 it's Steam. Today. It's Steam. Steam's down, guys. Steam is down? Oh, wow. It is, in fact, 6 a.m. on a Wednesday. Yep, for you, but we're in Europe. <laughs> you have to play Monster Hunter World now, Sinful? Yeah, get, get the grind in. Dude, you why? know, our perspective now grind. <laughs> why are they doing it an hour early? The Steam servers in Europe. It's yeah. normally 11 p.m. They always do 11 p.m. Why are they doing 10 p.m.? Well, hey, dude, did you for me, back? it is 11. Yeah, oh, that's true for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, it is 11. Yeah, but it's normally normally 12 for you and 11 for me. It would be the servers going down. It's weird. Daylight savings? It we're not weird. we're not on daylight savings yet. No, not yet. No. Europe's, we're not here, so it doesn't, that wouldn't make sense. They don't, they normally don't start doing that until the daylight saving times come into effect to keep it at 11 yeah. p.m. Yeah. I Weird. think they switch time in US, maybe. Oh, yeah, but the US is... I know, but we're not in the US. <laughs> the servers are all separate, guys. They do them... No, maybe that affects it. 
Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe they, maybe. they, yeah. That's weird. In Spain, it's 11 too. Yeah, uh, I mean, we all have the same friends, Italy, Germany, Spain, Portugal, we all have the same, but twice it's a little bit different. He is, he's on that island. Yeah, we get the GMT, mate. Greenwich Mean Time. Yeah, he's, he's on that island and they, they, they do things differently. They have those <laughs> weird, like... Drink, drink cups measurements of tea and... as well. They do yeah. tea all the time. They have they have Use mustaches. Me <laughs> they comb for like twenty four hours a day. Like they're a little bit different over there. How does this event even work? Do you just play and get tickets? Yes. Yeah, so you'll get tickets from uh, playing just generally. They'll they'll pop up when you do event quests. You also can guarantee tickets by doing this. Your bounties, your daily bounties. Well worth doing your daily bounties, by the in. way, guys. Yeah, you get login bonuses. You'll get tickets yep. from that. Yep. So if you have a little uh, screen on the right side, bottom right of your screen that says like login bonus, you just click the button it says, and then you get like the tickets. And then, yeah, complete quests. You, you get tickets every now and then. I believe you can guarantee yourself tickets by helping lower rank players as well. I'm pretty sure you, be. you can. Um, Could be. Well, it's not guaranteed, but you have a higher chance. But it's got to be events. If you do events, any event quest can give you tickets as a bonus reward. Um, but yes. Why, so you're jealous of the stash? I mean, yeah, I can I can grow a beard like that. Oh, you can't, can't, you can't get beards? No. A lot of people no. can't get beards, to be fair. No. The no. majority of people these days can't for some reason. I don't know why. It's just... Oh, my yeah. hands are just beeping. Give me one second. I can hear you right now. But yeah, I, I can't go beards like that. That's your Steam's uh, back up in the US. Anyway, to, to just to answer I your question, try, Ash, if you're if you're using a a modifier for like drop rates, I wouldn't feel but bad about it. Is... But um, um, I can hear you again. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was just I was just saying to Ash, like I wouldn't feel bad about yep. using the mod the modified drop rate thing. But what I would say is, if you are playing with other people and they don't know that you're using it, consider turning it off. Because yeah. you don't know, um, you know, if, if they're going for a grind and they're playing legit, they might not necessarily want to play with someone else who's skipping the grind. And I know, yeah, sure, you that. might be d doubling the drop rate, but it, do it, it does also, make a difference. If you, have, if you have mods like that, it can also affect other people and you might think, get disconnected. I don't think that one does, but it, it, some of them do, yes. Some of some them do. Some of them do. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Avoid Balladio, thank you for the follow. What's the best way to get crit boost? Gauri did send you the thingy. Um, normal crit boost, because there is an event going on right now. Farewell to Zinoga. Get the silver medallion tickets. <laughs> trade it into the elder melder, get your normal crit boost. And if you want level 4 crit boost, you have two options. Uh, War Thunder Descent, event quest, Temple Zinoga in the forest. Or if you're messing 100, one of the three tempered elderlings. I'm German and my bread is always growing too fast. <laughs> bread. <laughs> Beard. I'm German as well and my brother is a baker. Uh, what's your game key link was? <laughs> my game key link? How do you mean, uh, Vizility? Do you mean my Nexus? My cheeky Nexus? The store? <laughs> How you doing, Connor? Welcome back. How you doing, Bo Reed as well? Welcome back. I hope you guys have yourselves a lovely time. I want to enjoy the hunt. Well, whilst the lobby's down, I might as well take this opportunity to say, guys, take this oh, minute, head on over to Viserys channel. Link's in the title <laughs> today. He's going for 1,500 followers. Wait, what are we at? What's the uh, number update, Viserys? We are Viserys? at 1,377. Dude, guys, 23 more to 1,400. There has got to be 23 of you in this chat right now. They haven't edited on over and given him a cheeky follow. If there isn't, then oh, well, no. well done, Thank guys. You. Well done. Um, but every follow counts. Going for fifteen hundred. Oh. Miguel says Jesus he's Christ. Miguel says he's saving his for the fifteen hundredth. But yeah, the links in the, the links in the title, guys. Whilst the whilst the lobby's down, it's the perfect opportunity to head on over, give a cheeky follow. Hundred percent. Thank you very much. Thank guys. you guys. Well uh, done. Well done. This playlist is not on YouTube. It's only on Spotify. But I will. I will probably. Uh, Make one in the future. <laughs> you know what to do, boys and girls. Exactly, mate. Exactly. I do now. Speaking of that, Connor, Daddy Knight, uh, Fire Tickle, Nick Station, uh, Bo, Bo Reed, and Offline Gamer. Thank you guys for the follow. Top lads and lads. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. Right, anyone want a fact we're whilst we're sitting here? Anyone anyone want to redeem a fact or something? Because like, I just tried making a lobby. The EU servers are still down. Uh, I can I can try one. What are we saying, chat? Ah, give, 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 give me a fact. Oh, facts have been redeemed. Here we go. Oh, fact, riddle, and quest. Oh, here we go. Oh, the big trio. Here we go. Okay. Um. Oh, I can make one. I made one. Jola Bokenflod. Jola Bokenflod is Iceland's official book buying season, which runs through September to December. There you go. Uh, Jola Bokenflod. Nice. <laughs> can uh, I buy your Valky, books? I'm gonna send it to you so you can make the command. Riddle. But this is the ID. Are you ready for a and riddle? Also for twist. Yeah, for twist chat. If there is a mod war, maybe. Um, this is the session ID now. Oh, you make new session? You got it up? Yeah, I made one. Nice. Made I'm coming. One. I'm coming. I'm on my way. Someone get that copy pasted. Let me see if I can join. Yeah, there you go. Us Brits might be a little bit behind, you know. We're not quite as fast as the Germans, so. Yeah, you're one hour behind us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Search fire session. Yeah, ID. people are coming in. Nice. One second, let me copy pasta. Wait for me! Let me in! <laughs> let me in. Let me in. God damn it, I'm trying to copy and paste it, but every time I try, the chat goes up. There we go. All right. One question, the spread deck works for the spread shot from the bow? Yes. No, yes, I, I can't, for dude. spread ammo and spread shot. My servers are you still can? down. No, I can't get in, lad. Oh, wow. I'll put my command on ID. Just save save us a spot. Yeah, we have people here. Casual Mr. B came in. Lowell came in. Oh. Eleanor. MZ. I guess UK Alex came in. UK servers just aren't back yet, I guess. Mixer, thank you for the follow. Welcome. You underestimate my power. <laughs> Can you say Alex the peg leg? Alex the peg leg? Alex, Alex, Gin Alex it was actually Alex leg. Gingerfinger, I believe it was. Alex Gingerfinger? What the hell? Yeah, 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 that was the OG, the OG uh, Twitch name. Okay, let, let, let me do it in a good voice. <clears throat> Alex the peg leg. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I choked, choked on my tea a bit there, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, here we go. Guys, Riddle. Just please no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get, get your The facts were said. The fact, the fact was said, yes. Here's the riddle. Round like a dishpan, smaller than a bath. Oh, no, we've had this one. Okay, next one, next one. Uh, a mile from end to end, yet as close to as a friend. A precious commodity freely given, seen on the dead and on all the living. Found on the rich, poor, short and tall, but shared amongst children most of all. What am I? Bloody oh, yeah, that's a good one. What was the first one? A mile? A mile from end to end. A mile? Yeah, a mile from end to end, yet as close to as a friend. A precious commodity, a precious commodity freely given... Seen on the dead and also on the living. Found on the rich, poor, short and tall. But shared amongst children most of all. What am I? A mile from end to end. Oh. Close as a friend. Precious commodity freely given. People in your church say a smile. A smile. Seen on the dead and on the living. I guess they do make uh, corpses smile, don't they? Yeah. That's a good guess. Found on the rich, poor, short and tall. Yeah, they all have smiles. And children yeah. children are always smiling. Yeah, That's, smile. Yeah. I, I guess a, a mile from end to end, a smile. Yeah, you could, you, could, you could describe a smile as being... Yeah, wearing a mile. As close mm. to as close to as a friend. That's a, that's the thing that's throwing me off a bit, but maybe that's the... I'll, I'll, I'll check. I've, I've actually now. got an idea of myself. I won't spoil it just in case I'm right, but... It is a smile. Yeah, you guys were right. Oh, wow. Well played. That's I actually didn't think it was because the close to as a friend. I guess friends share yeah. smiles, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Nice. Well done, chat. Good stuff. Oh, guys. Guys, we have to leave one one space for twice. Yeah, old Tors it's boy. It's not in the lobby. I'm not, I can't get in yet, guys. My servers aren't back up. Not yet, anyway. Oof. 
I'm going to, uh, what was it, joke and quiz. I, I might as well do the joke and the quiz and then I'll try Yeah, yeah go, 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 go ahead, go ahead. All right, here we go, joke. The, the, dude, the jokes have been really freaking dark recently in this joke book. I thought it was just a bloody bit of a, you know, light dad jokes, but some of them have been horrendous. Okay. Um, our, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Our best friend Mike tragically drowned last week. At the funeral, we got him a reef in the shape of a life belt. Well, it's what he would have wanted. <laughs> what? All right. What? Oh, dude, this book, man. I don't know what to make of this book anymore. God damn. All right. <laughs> Jokes. Oh. Jesus. Jokes. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, Mikhail, if you're in the chat, one tiny thing. Um, I would like you to change is instead of fire resistance, take something with with health boost. Get the level three health boost, and you don't need free element. And finally, if Viserys, need... a quiz. Yeah. Are you Quickly, ready? If you need health boost, go to the Elder Mela and meld it. The one, level one deco. Yeah, go ahead now. Okay, here we go. So, which entire island? Oh no, no, we've had that one. Uh, what? Oh, here we go. What is the name of the United States five cent coin? Oh, that's going to be easy. That's too easy. Of uh, the what? The the United States five cent coin. Yeah, the... No, it's not a penny, right? No, they've already, chat's already got it. It's a nickel. A quarter. You got a dime, 25. dime, a nickel. A... Yeah, a quarter. Oh, a nickel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, guys. I'll give you another one because that one's really easy. Which okay. Welsh comedian used to wear a Peith, oh, I know this one. A Peith helmet in his early career, but later oh, became I... more synonymous with a Fez. You guys should know this one. Yeah, it's Alex the Pecklick. Alex knows. Alex, you, sh you I know this one. Alex, you should know this one, 100%. Very famous, <laughs> like, uh, comedian. And he's actually, he's I actually know really funny, too. Well, um, Welsh comedian, which is the, the guy with the one kilogram of steel and one kilogram of feathers. That... I only know that one. You knew Miguel would say it. I know it. Go on, then. Give us the answer, Alex. You know who it is. I know who it is. I have no idea. If you're Brit if you're British or Scottish or Welsh or Irish, you should probably know this guy. Like he's very famous here, or at least he was during like the seventies, eighties, and, and whatnot. Oh, I'm coming. I wasn't it's, born. it's let me in. Ah, oh, let's go. Do we actually have a space? There must be, because it, it says it's... We don't. Oh, no, crap. Failed to join because the session okay. is full. So, yeah, if someone can hop out... Let Casual um, let casual Mr. B stay, because he's blue. we got to help him. Got to give him a hand. Yeah, Mr. Casual, you stay. But if someone else can hop out, that would be nice. One spot for old Twas boy, guys. Oh, you send? Thank you very much. Oh, no, it still says it's full. Anyway. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you as soon as I see the message <laughs> popping up. No, okay, now. Now, now, now. Now, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I'm coming. Oh, God, you left as well. Thank you. Billy Connolly? No, Billy Connolly never wore a fez, guys. Billy Connolly did wear good glasses, though. He had, like, glasses was his uh, kind of stage thing. And, guys, again, we have a second lobby open for helpers. Oh, Lulu. You might not be here long, but you've updated the Discord with some new photos of your house trip. How you doing, Lulu? I hope you have yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. I'm glad it's going well. I'm in, I'm in. Right. Nice. Should we help casual Mr. B then? Let's have a look. How's your build um, come along, Mr. B? Sure. Imagine if it disconnects oh. us again at 11 o'clock. Oh, oh actually, that, if... his build's coming along nicely. It's looking good. Yeah, the only thing that is a little bit, you know, out of place would be Hornetal Mail. The, everything else looks fine. Dude, Hornetal Mail is good, though. Uh, well, I guess we could get Odegaard. Oh, the slots, yeah. Yeah, but... the slots are good. I don't know. It's working for him. He's got decent decorations. So, I mean, I don't know. He's got a health boost. I mean, yeah. yeah. I, I don't even know if I'd bother changing that. Basically, because the thing is, what you're going to get, Ebony Odo, yeah. well, then you are you get less yeah, slot Ebony. efficiently and all you're, all you're doing is the crit eye anyway. So, okay, I think it's that, fine. Then, yeah, that, then let's keep it. Yeah, cool. I think it's good. Right. Then it's um, for him. Mason 20 is Black Bell. Yes. It would be Black Bale. Oh, I might play a little bit, little bit of gun launch, little bit of gun launch, mate. A little bit of gun launch. Yeah, yeah Mr. Casual B, if you want to do uh, some uh, some Black Bale, your urgent quest, probably. Post it up and we can help you. 
I should have an anti-Val Hazak build, build here somewhere. The anti-Val Hazak build is the damage, right? <laughs> nah, just a, just a slightly modified build to get that effluvial in so I don't have to stop attacking to... Um, yeah, I should do that as well. Get completely drained. Wait, his hit zones are good with fire, right? Who is Tommy Cooper? You guys don't know who Tommy Cooper is? Dude, no. he was like the he was like the most famous comedian uh during like the 70s, 80s, even the 90s. Really? Yeah, like well, his stuff was everywhere on British television. Like it was just it, all the time. He was he was funny as well. Oh, it's Nami. Oh wait, we're it's on Nami? Veil. I thought it was Black Veil. Yeah. Oh crap, I've just eaten for bloody Black Veil. God damn it. <laughs> Okay. Well, you eat Bombardier, right? Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I can just bring Gunlance anyway. I'll just bring a different build. It's fine. Yeah, I eat Bombardier. Uh, what do I bring? I'm go I, I didn't play Instaglift. Viserio, this changes nothing. <laughs> I know, I know. IG's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like IG on this fight. I would honestly join you as well with Casual Mr. B, but I didn't eat for uh, some Something happened to me. Because oh, yeah, what happened? When we did the, the the highest damage number for every weapon on my channel, IG was one of the weapons I hated the most, and now I actually play it frequently. I don't know Bro, what I happened. Oh, dude, me. it was the same. I didn't like I didn't like IG coming out for you at all. Bright shade. Is there any room in the lobby for Kate and you? There probably will be in a bit because the sessions are moving around a lot. But at the moment, it was it, it filled up. I even I couldn't get in. So uh, honest, it's gonna be my last quest. Oh, this is this is it. Time okay, is ticking. that's true. It is coming up on like time is ticking. half ten. Yeah, there'll be a there you go. There'll yeah. be a spot in a second then. Yeah, there will be a spot after the Namiel. A little bit afterwards because I will do my my little outro ritual. But that will be soon. Uh, everyone down, guys. Don't go up. Down, not up, because he well he she comes down. It. <laughs> No, it's not an it. It is it. It's probably also hiding in gutters. It's the beautiful, majestic Namian. I'll have you know. We're referring it looks to cool, it as an but it. the hitboxes are still. <laughs> the, the hitboxes are, uh, yeah, Oof. like the, the 30, 40. Yeah, over here, casual Mr. B land. Over yeah, here with the, us. The water stuff is just. God damn, it's brutal. Yeah, it's. Like, I, I was doing an Amiel, like, last week. And I was playing charge blade. I wanted to guard point the water. Yes. And guess what happened? Yeah, get knocked back. Ka -chung, ka -chung, no, ka I got nothing. Nothing? What? Nothing. I was standing in the water and it didn't knock me back at all. Meanwhile, I transformed because I wanted to guard point. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is happening sometimes. I can't believe you, Viseri, so many people don't know about this mechanic with the pods where you can lure monsters. It's one of the best in the world. To be I honest. know, dude. I was talking about it on Twitter uh, yesterday, and so many people were like, just saying, "Oh no, I don't really have any, like pods, you know, no functionality, uh, whatever, whatever." I'm like thinking, oh, guys, the best. dude, they're so good. <laughs> they do so much. I think lots of people just don't realize how good they are because they just don't interact with these mechanics. Yeah, and also some weapons need pods. Like, best oh, example yeah, is right yeah. now. Yeah, gun you need pods. Oh god. I need pots. Actually, I should make pots. Oh, we, I should actually get a weak spot on the arm. Oh, wait, why are we not doing a second one? I got Hang it. On a minute. I got the, I got the arms. But the IG and Gunlands oh, are no. probably uh, the weapons that need a lot of pots. Oh, Doom we'll knock it. We'll knock yeah, it. Go, 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 go. Well. Oh, That's not... it. Oh, wait, I think I can get this. You think? Got it. Yes. Nice. I ran out of stamina. Gotta be careful. Hang on a minute. Great sword, slinger burst, yeah, great sword as well. There are so many weapons that can use it. I I even found out that long sword has a slinger burst. Yeah, dude, <laughs> in between the I didn't combos. Even know. It's so good for delaying things, like to time things better. It's amazing. And or not even to mention, you get... if you have fawn pots. Yeah, you get KO. Exactly. Yeah. Dude, every weapon has like the only ones that don't really are light bowgun, heavy bowgun. That's yeah. about it. Everything else. I mean, bow as well. Bow is like a, a, an attack itself. But as many, the, the thousand rings. many bow gunners don't realize though, you can still use the pods when your weapon's out. You just, you know, you can yeah. activate lock on mode separately, get a second uh, thingy up. 
Also, Switch has Slinger Burst, which I didn't know. Yep. Uh, Charge Blade has Slinger yes. Burst, which I saw from you. Oh, was that the first time you saw? Dude, it's so good on yeah. Charge Blade. I saw it uh, when you did it in the, you know, in the Savage X combo, and I was like, huh? Yeah. That's the a thing? It's so good for multi because you don't have to worry about launching people. It's higher DPS too. I think one, I think Hunting One has it as well. Pretty sure. Uh, yeah, uh, let me think. What does Hunting One have? Oh, it has something. Oh no, because it's no, because L1 does the spin to win. So it's a little bit different for Hunting Horn. I don't think it has like a pod combo specifically. Oh, dude, I'm getting hit by everything. And maybe a pod reset. But I, I didn't look into it, but yeah. Hammer doesn't have... Hammer does yeah, have Hammer, Hammer, Hammer does, yeah. It has a Slinger Burst into a char max charge attack. Or, or level 2 charge attack, even. Yeah. Hammer does have Slinger yeah. Burst. It's, yeah, got, it's, got, it's got Slinger attack, yeah. <laughs> there are so many different things I didn't even consider because, well, I don't play the, those weapons. Nah, no, see, it's the job of old Twas Boy to know these things. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a simple-minded bow main. I'm a simple-minded yes main. What's a yes main? Exactly. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, did that. Oh, Nami, why you gotta be this way? Yeah, Nami is being a little bit weird. Oh, I wanted to finish her off, but she's bloody not making it easy for me. Uh, see if you can get a Woolnock, guys. I think it's non enraged. Oh, no, that works oh, too. Power. GG. There we played. go. Nicely done. Technically, first things is both Slinger Burst. Yeah, but you can do no, Slinger Burst only one part with bow. Poor Nami, I'll get no long sword. I know. Tors, do I have any tips for fighting Seeding Basil Goose? You've just defeated AT Volcana. Best thing to do is patience. Don't overcommit to your attack because he'll blow you up. Um. The tail's a really good hit zone on Basil. If you can hit the tail, like anything, it's it's good. Obviously, his head's fine, but like the head's a little bit more dangerous. The tail, his attacks mm -hmm. aren't too dodgy. So if you can position there and get it. Other than that, he's weak to ice. If you're going to go element builds, yeah. uh, obviously raw does great on him because he's got good raw hit zones too. Maintain weak spot on head and tail if possible. Go for wall knocks whenever you get the opportunity. Getting him down, you can exploit it for a lot of damage. Uh, you can flash him out the sky when he's doing dive bombs, so save your flashes for that. Don't, like, spam flashes when he's on the ground, basically. Anything else? Mm, yeah, try and focus uh, certain areas, because you get an explosion knockdown when he's enraged and charged. So you can blow up his tail and his head, you get a free knockdown that way. Yeah. Be cautiously aggressive. So, you know, jab away at him, but don't overcommit. Otherwise, you, you get yourself killed. That was for you, uh, Bukion, yeah. Hopefully that helps. And also, if Seething Basil has his purple stuff, his purple bombs, and you hit this spot more frequently, he, um, he can get a topple. That's what I was he saying, yeah. Topple. That's what I mean yeah. with the explosive. Oh, you said like, yeah, 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 yeah. You can knock him down. Charge Blade's got more than one. You can do it on the guard point. Yes. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it on the guard point. You can do it after upswings, downswings as well, um, if you want to, for whatever reason. Um, yeah. All right, yeah. You heading well, off down? I do have to. Uh, I do have to take my leave. I oh, do have mate. work tomorrow again. It's been. It's been pleasure. Time, re time really flies, dude. It went so quick. It went so yeah. quick again. It was good fun though. We got. We got. We got oh, some help yeah. done. It's a shame the server went down. Right. Normally it goes down after we finish, but. Yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to have. You know, I wanted to have at least one more quest in there. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So yeah, let me quickly do this. There you go. Where's so me, you can where's get your, me your pose? There we go. Yeah, if you can stand here for, for a couple minutes so I can do my outro and everyone who wants to be in the screenshot, you know, come in here. Oh. Uh. Alright, Twas, I will say to you, thank you again for, for joining and for inviting me in this. Dude, thank you, mate. Pleasure. Good fun. Everyone. Who is in Twice Shut or Online and you didn't leave a follow yet to this magnificent moustache wearing dude? Give him a follow. <laughs> 10k till Friday is possible. If every one of us and you also tell your grandmother 
hit the follow button. I think we got like two, three follows today. Yeah. Yeah, hit, hit that follow button, guys. Another Big. 900? <laughs> Yeah, hit it 900 times, but none, don't hit it 900 times. Tell 900 of your friends. Yes. Yeah, yeah you've all got 900 friends, I'm sure. I've seen your Facebooks. You... <laughs> yeah, you, you make a Facebook post. Tell all of your friends. Hit that follow button. Tell your brother, your sister, and your mama too. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, just and remember yeah, guys, that. So, thank you all for coming in. I will do my quick intro quickly on, on my channel. Twice again. Thank you very much My for pleasure, mate. Me. I'll let you do your outro, mate. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you. Take care, Viserys. And Viserie. we will see each other later on. Yeah, dude, let me let me know because we need to... Well, I mean, Dragon's Dogma. I don't know what's going to be happening with that. But after Dragon's Dogma, we got to come back and do some more of this, 100%. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see how Dragon's Dogma goes and then we can make something. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see, see, play it by ear. Much love, man. Guys, take care yeah, as well. Love. Viserys, chat. Have yourselves a lovely, jubbly one, guys. Thank you. There we go. Right. All right, well, guys, there we go. Well, there's going to be some spaces opening up in the lobby then for anyone who uh, who does want to uh, come chill. Um, yeah, uh, chat, oh, I should have said, shouldn't I? Thank you for sending your well wishes. Again, just before Viserys does finish, now's your chance to quickly head over and give him a cheeky follow. Guys, he's going for 1,500 before Dragon's Dogma 2. He's almost there. He only needs, like, 100 more. So, uh, well, to get to 1,400, he only needs, like, probably 10, 15 more, guys. So the link is in my title for today. Head on over. Give him a cheeky follow. For those of you who have already given a follow, thank you. You were joined, but you're too tired. You wanted to earlier, but yeah, it's been very busy today. How you doing, Wiz White? Welcome back. Hope you're having yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. You're going to tell your nan to follow? Mate, I love nans. I don't have me nan anymore, so I have to have surrogate nans. I appreciate every nan that follows the channel. Yeah, there he goes, doing his, doing his little outro. That nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just imagining Sajman. Nan! 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 Gran's down there. What is it? What's going on? Nan! Nan! Have you, Nan, have you, have you given Twas a follow yet, Nan? Nan! Have you, have you followed Twas? What was that? What was that? Have I, have I eaten my sausage and mash? No, Nan, Nan, have you given Twas a follow, Nan? Nan! Have you given him a follow? Ah! Am I watching EastEnders? No, I haven't watched it yet! Nan! Give Twas a follow. He's going for 10,000. All right. I'll tell your granddad that you're going to go and sort out the roof. <laughs> Guys, thank you for the follow. Sorry, I was on one a bit there. Uh, <laughs> I'm gone for one second. And you go mental. Well, I was telling people's nans to, to follow. You know, get your nans. Get your, get your mums. So I was just reenacting. Rax, dude, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Thank you for the raid, guys. Viserys, Stanley, Rare, Valkyria, uh, Gaudi, uh, Stanley. Welcome in, guys. Thank you for the raid. Laurel, welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Guys, again, Viserys. You can click his name in the chat. You can click his name on the channel title for today. Go give him a follow. You were so confused. Yeah, it probably would have helped a bit of context to coming in on that one. <laughs> Thank you for all the support from your... No, thank you for the support from your community. I appreciate it, guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. 1,500 for Viserys. Still got tomorrow, Thursday, Friday. And then Friday, I reckon 1,500. And then 10,000 for me. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We're getting there. Meech, thank you for the follow. Welcome. It's good to have you with us. We are getting there. We're getting there. Slow and steady wins the race, mate. Slow and steady. Hey, doing unities. Welcome back. You and Gaudi had so much fun today. I'm glad you're having fun. Yeah, it was good. It's been a good stream, isn't it? It was good fun. Always a pleasure, mate. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, dude, 100%. Like, I, I, I know. I don't even I hope. I know you're going to get your goal. 100%. I'll be, I'll be sending people your way. 
It's I'll be sending people your way for the remainder of the stream. Um, and I'll get get people to like catch up on the VOD and that and, and, and all this, that and the other. They found a new challenge. Wait, what have you guys been up to? Unities and uh, and Gaudi. Nah, dude, mate. Thank you. Thank you, dude. Don't know. He's standard, mate. It's good fun. Thank you for coming and helping. Like, again, we, um, we didn't fail a single quest today. Not one. Smooth sailing. Everyone loves. Who's the guy? Um, right. Bill? No. Who was what are we it? doing? Everyone Sajman's loves. nan needs to follow Twas. Uh, <laughs> hey, Twas, how are you today? I'm doing good, Coy. How are you doing? I hope you're having yourself a lovely, jumpy day today. Thank you for doing shout outs to Viseri, guys. Cheers, me dears. Oh, Shout out to Viseri, like indeed. Everyone loves um, something. Let's have a look. Who we got? Casual. Oh, casual Mr. B's on a quest. Hang on a minute. All right, you're going to have to take your leave. Your bladder's exploding and you need to do get some sleep. Get some rest. Oh. Oh. Right. Get your part breaker builds. Where's me, uh, Eleanor part breaker? Laurel? Wait, Laurel, before you go. Before you go. Do you want to help very quickly with a Sharish Valda? Very quick. It's not going to take us long. Before you do, uh, I don't know what it is that you're going to do. But I know you know the setup. I know Eleanor knows the setup. Just to get in the head break and that. Let's give him a hand. Legend. Cheers. Cheers, Laurel. Cheers, me, dear. If you need a part breaker, you can help. It, yeah, I mean, whoever's, whoever's available. Whoever's available to join. Oh, wait, what the hell? Mass DC? No! Not again. This happened last week after they reset the servers on the Tuesday. Do you remember? That was a mass DC again. Oh, it might just be because um, a changing of the host. Because Viseri was the host of the session. That might be why. <laughs> Nan! <laughs> Nan! Did, did you, are you... Are you touching the Ethernet again? I'm not touching myself! <laughs> Nan! Not the Ethernet, Nan! It's funny seeing your name DCing whilst you're still playing. It's like, the game's lying. I'm still there. <laughs> More entertaining than the cutscene. <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. I got to do something to pass the time whilst the cutscenes go on. There's a, What's the voice that um, everyone loves? There's a voice that I do. You got back in? Nice. Legend. You got DC during Fatalis. Oh, I hate it. I, it's, this is this is what it was like last week when the servers reset as well. Apparently, your Safi recon causes DCs. It 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 is probably it might be that. I don't think it is. I think it was a server reset. Unless we all get kicked again in twenty odd minutes, in which case it could be that. Maybe we uh, maybe try doing the Safi recon solo. It's not hard. You only have to do like a little bit of damage to him and then he leaves. It's not the full fight or anything like that. Um, but just in case it is that, uh, maybe maybe give it a go. See what happens. I'm good, Jean. How are you doing? Hope you're having yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. Jean Twitching. Mon ami. Mon frère. Zut alors. Qu'est-ce que tu avais fait, Jean Twitching? Ça va bien? Oui? Oh no. J'adore Jean. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. You're probably not even. I don't know why I do that. I see Jean and I'm like, oh, French. Legend. Do a bit of French. No, probably not even French. Doesn't understand what I'm saying. Doesn't have a clue. You did that yesterday. Had you rolling even then? What the, the Jean twitching? I know. Did I just. I don't know. En français, s'il vous plaît. No, no, no! Oh, I got it. Hey, we good. No clue. You're not French, but you get that a lot. Jean. Jean.
Oh, hello. Nice. <laughs> you misread the name. You thought it was Jean Twerking. Oh, Jean Twerking. <laughs> Saucy. No, definitely not. Definitely not Jean Twerking. Zutalo. All right. Phase one. It's another rock friend rename. How you doing, by the way? El, El Jata. Welcome back. Hope you're having yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. Lurking Uncle Vela. Dude, shouts to you, mate. How you doing, Uncle Vela? What are you cooking? What are you cooking up? Dude, I did a stir fry yesterday. And I did a... I did a pork and red wine reduction tortellini today. And it was... Magnifique. Do some fried rice. Oh, mate, dude, Vela. I need to get you... You need to send me your fried rice recipe so I can give it a go. I bet you you make a bloody killer fried rice. I can send you, I'll send you my pork and red wine reduction ragu recipe. And you send me your, uh, your egg, your, I, I'm assuming, what, what type of fried rice? What you be doing? Shashwe? Or chicken? Or a little bit, a uh, little bit of egg, egg fried rice? I love, dude, fried rice is like my jam, man. I had some at the weekend, I had egg fried rice. I'm not the best at making it. That's hence why I need a bit of help learning some, some better recipes. Twas, do you think maybe tomorrow you'd mind sending me the session ID so you can join a bit earlier? It takes you forever to input it in the Steam Deck. It was like 15 seconds too late. Uh, mate. I always post the session ID on my Discord before I start. And I post it on average half an hour before I start the stream. There you go. It's always up there. And I've been doing that every single day for the past God knows how many years. Ask the Discord users. That's how they always get in before I start. You'll look for that, mate, yeah. It's under lobby ID on the Discord. Tors, you heard that Key's Cooking YouTube channel has a pretty good English-styled fried rice video. I don't want an English-styled fried rice, though. I want an Uncle Vela fried rice. Zishuan fried rice, mate, dude. Uncle Vela, I want it, mate. I want it. I want the recipe. You know me, I love cooking. I'd love to try making your dish. Unless it's like a family recipe and you're not allowed to give it to me. I know, I know that. We, we, got, we got recipes like that in the fam. I'm not allowed to share them. At least not Jamie Oliver fried rice. Mate, bugger that. Bugger that. I, I, I used to go over my mate's house and he'd pull out the Jamie Oliver cookbook. And I'd go, what is that? <laughs> I put that on the side. I'm taking over. <laughs> <laughs> Bugger that, mate. Dude. You know what you need? The Gordon Ramsay's cookbooks. That's what you need. Or the Michelin star chef's cookbooks. Those are usually the good ones. Most of them are just endorsed. I don't know if it's genuinely their recipes, but uh, they give you some good techniques, some good uh, practices to, to kind of look into and do. I got, I got a bunch of Gordon Ramsay's cookbooks. Yeah. Got a big one. I think it's over there on my shelf, actually. I haven't read it in a while, but I used to read it all the time back when I was, like, learning stuff. From Bush, you would eat Jamie Oliver fried rice over Key's cooking. Who's Key? I don't even know who this is. <laughs> Jamie Oliver. Mate, I'll never... So, for those of you who aren't from the UK, you won't understand the horrors that Jamie Oliver inflicted on us and our school dinners. So one day, it was it was overnight. It was overnight. I'd go into school. I'd have my school lunch. It was, guys, it was wonderful. You could get like a pasta, a giant pasta bake with like mozzarella cheese. 
delicious, like a ragu. You could get a curry, like a wonderful, they'd make wonderful curries, Rogan Josh, all this, that, and the other, like beautiful food that was cooked. And then like that, the next day we came in, plastic, plastic salads in boxes, apples for snacks, um, no fizzy drinks, the slushy machine was gone, like all gone, all scrapped because of Jamie Oliver. That bastard ruined my cuisine experience for the entirety of my school life. This happened when I was like 13, 14. Honest to God, no, no other person had as much of a negative impact on my school experience than Jamie Oliver. What year was this? Oh, mate, it was, uh, we're talking, this would have been 16 years ago. 16, 17 years ago. Yeah, it was terrible. It was like, it was like, there, there were some foods, yeah, I understood. He was like anti-chicken nuggets, anti-turkey Twizzlers. But the problem was our entire school redid its cuisine. Like, to the point of madness. In my opinion, nothing beats cooking with Jack. Garbage stew in being disgusting. Wait, Nani. Uh, someone get the second Warnock for me because I don't have the bloody uh, pods. Get ready for it. Second Warnock, someone. Thank you, Laurel. Oh, no. Oh, no, I was way too late. No, no, you gotta be, you got to be on it, guys. you got to be on it. Yeah, he's enraged now. All right, well, keep attacking. We buggered that up. second pod so I could do it but I thought uh I thought someone else would get that three two one I mean we've got heavy bow gun so hopefully if Laurel's doing a good amount of damage this shouldn't take too long to uh to get him out anyway okay he's not done yet though oh he actually got me I I thought I was good there oh it was oh it's because he wasn't going for me he was tracking somebody else uh Kaz yo thank you for the sub no more ads for you. Cheers, me dear. I really hope I don't. The problem with standing a long time in this area, we do not want him to get the paralysis here with the insect glaive. That would be pretty bad. Is he breaking out? He's breaking out. There we go. Hold fire! Hold fire! Hold fire! Go change. Switch out, Laurel. I don't have a thorn pod either. That's okay. Laurel's going to get the KOs. We don't have to worry about that. All right. Get those weak spots on. Head and arms, guys. Go, 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 go. Get it. That's it. Go again, Mr. B. Get it, lad. And again. Get that weak spot up. I'll get it. Let's get on Eleanor's arm, guys. I'm not charged either. Mr. B, we need you to stack on us, mate. Oh, I'm still not charged. Ah, this is not going well. Bit of an uncoordinated mess here. Mr. B, not on the arms, mate. That's it, on the head. There we go. Well played. Hopefully Laurel gets a KO here. Nice, they do. That's it. Don't, don't, don't hit the arms. Don't hit the arms. We go for the arm after this. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right, on the arm, on the arm, on the arm. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, no not on the arms. Whoa, 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 nice. That paralysis allowed Laurel to get the next thing. Good hit. There you go, head broken. Now on the arms, now on the arms. Go, 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 go. Oh, God. Back on the head. 
Should be dead here. GG. There we go. Well played. Here, come carve this, Mr. B. Over here, lad. We broke the head off for you. Come carve this. On me, Mr. B. On me. That's it, on me. Well done, well played. And then you can carve this. GG, guys. GG. Laurel's doing pierce. There's a chance you don't get the head. No, no, no. Laurel always switches. They use a, a far caster. You wish this fight would be something more than CC to death. Uh, well, it's not if you're not running like max builds with um, a CC player or if you don't bring thorn pods or know what you're doing. Like if you play this hunt, hunt casually, it's there's a lot that goes on. But if you've got it coordinated, yeah, goes very smoothly because he's he's got so he's got a fairly predictable behaviour. Shara deserves to be a hard fight. I agree. They should have added Arch-Tempered Shara 100%. Yeah. But GG, grants on getting to the end of uh, the base, Iceborne. There you go, Mr. B. You didn't go for that second weak spot because you thought it would uh, die. You're bad. Nah, it's fine. We normally go for the... Um... So how it, how it normally works is you go like... Well, the paralysis there actually extended our CC, which was nice. But normally how you do it... Let's say you don't have paralysis, you don't have KO... You go arm, knock down, you pick up thorn pods in area one. At least two players, ideally three. Then just before he gets up, you all fire the thorn pods. You get KO in second phase. Then you um, attack the head again. And then he gets up again. And then you go for the other arm. You break it. You get knocked down. You go back to the head again and he, and he dies. That's usually how it goes. You can do that with any any weapons, basically. The only weapons that are probably going to struggle to do that may be Lance, just because it's not the best DPS. It doesn't gain anything too much from stacking or anything like that. There's no way to boost it. But other than that, most other weapons should be able to get that done. Time to vibe in Rise whilst lurking. A little bit, little bit of Rise vibe. I wish Rise had bigger lobbies. It's my Honestly, I, I can forgive everything that Rise did. If it had had 16 to 32 player lobbies, I would have loved it. You messed up the wall bang. You weren't sure if uh, Eleanor was going to go for it or not. Ah, just, honestly, you just jump on. Just jump on. It, worst case scenario, one of you gets knocked off. Because you don't want to do damage to it when it gets up then anyway. Because it will instant enrage. So it doesn't matter if you stop attacking. It's fine. Why do we like bigger lobbies? Quests are only four people. Because you can hang out. You can play with your community. You can... Uh, you can make sure that you get, like, the people that are in your lobby all help each other. So you stop getting, like, randomers in who uh, could potentially, like, you know, they're, they're, they're not going to necessarily know how to do a quest or perhaps they don't want help or they might have, you know, you don't know what they're going to be doing. They might be sitting in a quest just mining things, not actually fighting the monster. Basically, it helps stop that kind of stuff happening. You're allowed, you know, you can have community lobbies. And Monster Hunter has always been about community. So for those of us that have been playing, you know, since the first games, we're able to have specifically a lobby about people that are just, you know, rule like-minded hunters. Also helps mitigate cheaters, hackers, um, people just spamming heavy bow gun builds for the sake of spamming it. Um, people that are joining for help, not to help. There's a lot of reasons. There's a lot of reasons. Yeah. Is Fatalis easier duo or four members? Depends how good you are as a duo. Can be easier solo duo or four players. It just depends on your team. You're going to head off to bed? Yo, take care, Danny. Have yourself a lovely jubbly one, mate. I will do. Take care, dude. Thank you, thank you. Depends on the duo. Yeah, it depends. Depends. Honestly, you wouldn't mind playing with other people in Rise outside of having the experience of fighting the monster for the first time. Yes, yeah, standard. Same with World, isn't it? You like to fight it solo first and then, yeah. You did a Tempered Rajing the other day in 3 minutes and 30, 11 seconds with some amazing players. And a cheater today almost ruined your best time bringing in a heavy bow gun with Hanks. You never want that to happen again. It's a risk that you take, unfortunately. What's a good Alatrion build? A, lo a good Longsword Alatrion build? Uh, which one do you want to fight? Is it fighting if you're assigned quest, uh, Alex? 
You're learning the boss, to be honest. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. If you're still learning it, then having three other players would help you a lot. Because you can kind of watch what they're doing. They can back you up with uh, Dusts of Life. Assuming the other three players are good, you probably want to be in a team of four players. What charge blade for pre Alice? Safi, mate. Safi, Safi, uh, Kyar. Those are the best ones to go for. Or Safi for Raw for Savage Axe. Or Light Break. Yeah, Light Break too. That's good. Light Break, Safi, Safi for Raw and Kyar for Element. Or you've got, if you don't have access to Kyar, you have the Bear Totus for Element. You've got the Frostfang Barrier for the Raw Ice Element combo. You've got Rajang for Thunder and... Um, Latrion for Dragon. Latrion's always for Dragon anyway. Raging Bracky? Yeah, it's solid. Raging Bracky's good. If you want to do Raw Savage Axe. Raging Bracky versus Latrion? Uh, Raging Bracky. Because uh, Raging Bracky has the impact file and you can get on the Raging Bracky Alpha Waste and Gauntlets you can get uh, Artillery Secret as well, which is kind of nice. It's a little bit harder to get. I mean, Latrion, you can get the element boost for it. It is very good, but... Uh... There's just not that many things that have great dragon hit zones for it. Uh, but it's still good for Savage Axe. It does have the sharpness comfortability. Depends. It depends. It depends on what decorations you get access to as well. If you have some kind of... If you do end up getting like protective polish, Raging Bracky ends up being really good. But it's still great at white sharpness anyway. The large Elder Dragon Gem is hard to get. Mm. They're both okay. They're both okay. If you're if you're wondering about like something specifically this week to dragon, you can go for either or. Like four hours zero drop till my investigation. Mm. Yeah, that's a bit rough. What's a good Alatron build? This is for your first time. Your first time doing Alum. So you're doing the fire one. I think I've got one actually. Let me see. First time Alatron build. Got first time fatty. Oh, it might it might be on the Discord. I did make one. Yeah, it's on the Discord. I'm on the longsword section. I don't have it saved anymore. But uh I did have one. It's it's basically I'll I'll show you. I'll just kind of give you a rough idea. It'll only take me a second. I've got to go make tea anyway, so I might as well do this uh whilst I get tea. Um, where is it? Yeah, no, not that one. No, not that one. This one. Aldalaria's Edge. First time Alatrion. We go... Uh, let me think. <sighs> it depends. Do you have access to Corvin Safi Jeeva? If you don't have Corvin Safi Jeeva... So there is no Corv at the moment, but do you have the Corv Alpha Legs? This is a question for um, uh, Alex. No. Okay. In that case... You're gonna you might have to do some deco farm. But I'm gonna make this like as comfy as possible, basically. As uh, like not too hard to get. I'm gonna use common decos and high rank stuff. Um I'm gonna chuck in a couple of things that like if you've got them, use them, but if you don't have it, don't worry, it's not essential. 
You sh you will have one of these, which is good. Um, I don't need that. If you have a crit boost combo, are you planning on doing it multiplayer or solo as well? That's also going to dictate what I do with the build. Multiplayer or solo, what are you thinking? Are you trying to solo it, yeah? If you're trying to solo, it's going to change what I put in. Element charm? Yeah, because he wants to get... If you're doing it, it's going to help you get the knockdown. You want to do it solo? Okay, nice. That actually makes it a little bit um, easier. If you have... Crit boost combo decos. So, crit protection. Crit vitality. Crit evasion. Crit medicine. If you have any of those, or crit maintenance, you're going to use those, right? If not, just use these ones. If you do not have these, you need to farm for these first. Because it's a 15% damage increase with level 3 of them, right? So, um, I'm going to put in those because they're common. You can get them. You do the event quest Farewell to Zenoga and just go spend the fuel at the uh, Steamworks. Whilst this event's on, like the current event, like the little Valentine's event... You get silver and steel melding tickets fairly commonly. Trade them in at the melder and you'll get you'll get crit boosts. And among other decorations as well. Uh, and then in these slots, anything that has a vitality combo. Whatever you want. So I'm just going to chuck in... Like again, if you've got crit boost vitality... Uh, challenger Vitality, that works. Like, I, I've used the Challenger here. But you can go Challenger Vitality, that's fine. Um, pre peak Performance Vitality. Like, any damage skill that comes with Vitality is decent. Um, so I'm just going to use Peak Performance Vitality. Again, if you've got Crit Boost Vitality. So you could go, like, one Flawless Vitality. You could do one... I'm just going to give you an example. Like, it really doesn't matter what pairs with it. Just so long as you get so... You could do one Crit Boost Vitality. And you could do an Agitator Vitality, yeah? Like, all of these skills come with Vitality. You could do a Part Break Vitality. Just, you know, whatever you can get, use it. Um, but don't stress out about it too much. It's not like the be-all and end-all. But uh, Peak Performance 3 is nice here. I'm just going to put these in. Again, it doesn't... like This is just to give you an idea. But something like this for the first time doing thingy would be good. Obviously, Temporal, Rock, Steady Man, all are good on, on this quest. Um, yeah. You can also do Evade Window. Evade Window is great here. Gives you more iframes. How are you doing, Kinslayer? Welcome back. Hope you had yourself a lovely job today. today. Hopefully, that helps a bit. Again, these are the kind of decorations... The flawless isn't essential. Like, you just want something with vitality. Like, something that pairs. So, what you can do, dude, you can go in and you search for skills. Search for health boost. And it will show you all the skills that you've got that pair with health boost, right? So, crit vitality is good. Uh, handicraft vitality is okay. Um... Challenger Vitality, I guess Throttle if you've got it, Destroyer's alright, Phoenix, you're not going to use here because I put Blight Resist on. Blight Resist will stop you from getting Dragon Blighted, which will mean you'll always be able to get the knockdowns on him to survive, okay? Mighty Vitality's okay, it's not bad, I mean it's not the best. Fura, I guess if you've got no other option you can do that. Again, just, just something, yeah? Just something. Um... Again, hopefully that helps. I'm just giving you an example. This is what I would go in based on what you have access to, but you don't have to do it this way. Um, yeah. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that helps. Again, you, you don't even have to do this. You can do... If you've got an Agitator plus four, that's a great decoration. You can use that. And then you could do like Flawless Vitality just to show you... Like, past the core skills, it doesn't matter too much what you uh, what you use. Um, and again, you can get high rank versions of all of these decorations that don't come paired. They're still good. 
Um, you can totally use them if you want to use them. But in terms of uh, decorations, your defensive skill, Blight Resist, that's probably the most useful one for new people playing Alatrion. That's going to stop you from getting blighted. Health boost uh, is going to give you a lot of health to survive. Make sure you upgrade your armor, yeah? So when you get the Brachydios armor, upgrade it, yeah? Upgrade it. Level it up as much. If you can augment it, augment it. Same with the Frostfang Gauntlets. Um, and... Uh, yeah, that'll give you a lot more survivability. What longsword is this? The Aldalaria's Edge It is the Frostfang Baryoth longsword. So when you're farming the Frostfang event quest to get the gauntlets, you need two tickets to make his longsword. Very, very good. So I'll show you the stats. Uh, there's the stats. 924 raw. Goes up to purple sharpness. And obviously handicraft. If you're going to get handicraft, let's say you don't have flawless. That's fine, mate. Just put handicraft in, yeah? Handicraft's also good. It's going to mean you don't have to sharpen as much. Uh, where is it? Where's Handy? There we go. Handicraft. You can do this. Handicraft, Vitality. Hand there you go. Just as another example. Again, you don't have to have peak performance at all. You don't need to use that. You can totally use this. It's just... Yeah. You've even got Resistor Handicraft. So you know how I put Blight Resist down here? Yeah? Well, if you've got Resistor Handicraft, you take that out. Bob's your uncle, you just put put Resistor Handicraft in. And then I can put in here instead, I can put um, just mix and match, you know? You should have the jigsaw. You just gotta the, think of it as like a jigsaw piece that fits in a lot of slots. You just gotta work it around until you get the things that are necessary. But there's a lot of options for you. But Blight Resist 3 is gonna help you uh, a lot. Definitely. And then in, instead I can put uh, in here, you can go protection instead yeah amazing longsword against the latrion yeah no longsword's good aldalaria's edge is fantastic again stats are good it has positive affinity on it as well 10 percent. so when agitator procs on this build you're going to go up to 60 percent plus the wex is 110 percent. so actually on this build i could i don't even need that i can get rid of that because i've got more than enough affinity um so it gives you a lot of uh, a lot of leeway there you go mate but good luck Best of luck. Farm. Farm first. Patience. Alatron's a hard fight. So if you make a good build, it's going to help you a lot. Um, but get a screenshot of that. Get a screenshot of that to give you an idea. Something to head towards. Let me know when you got the screenshot. I need to go make myself a cup of tea. Oh, I'm thirsty. You're going to head off? Yo, take care, White Walker. Have yourself a lovely jubby one, mate. Thank you for chilling with us. Hi, Twaz. You haven't been here in a while. How you doing, Rick? You wanted to say hi before you go to sleep? You'll drop in tomorrow. Yes, I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Take care. You say you haven't been here in a while. You were here yesterday, weren't you? Or the day before. Screenshots on the Discord. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Digi. Appreciate it. There you go. Right. I'll be right back, guys. I need to all. Oh, let me put my Steamworks on. One second. You done with a screenshot? Thank you, dude. Thank you. Let me put my uh, thingy on. Ah, those Raging Bracky armor. Yes. Raging Bracky is great for Longsword. You can do uh, Safi as well, but he doesn't. He hasn't done Safi or Kulv. So normally what you do is you do uh, Safi, Safi combo, or you do Kulv Frostfang. Or you could do Alatrion pieces. If you take a Palico in with a um, Plunder Blade, you can get the Palico pieces before you even beat. So you could do Alatrion uh, Kulv. Cool legs, an Atrion waist and armor. Upgrading armor is expensive. It's easy to make money. Chat will tell you how to make money, guys. I've already, uh, I showed it just last week. So whoever was here when I did the money-making methods, you can make it from the Steamworks as well. Just do the Steamworks. It's a great way of making money. You'll make a ton. Like, watch how much money I make from this whilst I go to the loo and make a brew. So when I come back, actually, do you want me to leave this up or do you want me to put clips on, guys? Steamworks or clips? What would you prefer? What do you want to watch? Should I put clips on? I know most of you prefer clips, right? You want clips? All right, clips, clips, clips. I'll put the clips on. Let me just balance this on here first. All right, clips incoming. I'll be right back. Rampage slot switcher. And that's true, you do get switcher. Oh, yeah, he's got something for me. Here we go. 
We were closer than I thought. 100%. We did it. <laughs> All you scrub nubs that are here. That is it. 100%. Nice. Oh, we don't have aura here to do the damage as well. Bugger. Krov, start doing circle, circle combos, my friend. Get that, get that knockout. That's it. You've got it, Krov. Oh, there's a knockout. Oh, Krov, you're legend. But no aura. Come on, aura, quick. Oh. Ban them for life. Hit them with the twas ban. Hit them with the twas ban. Ban them for life. Don't got no time for trouble and strife. Hit them with the twas ban and ban them for life. Don't let them back into the discord, I said. Keep on banning them until they are dead. Twas ban, twas ban. Get out of the Discord, my man. And if you come back, I'm gonna give you a smack with my twas band hammer. Yeah! There you go. <laughs> 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 oh. That's funny. Oh, just going down and having a nosh. <laughs> right in the middle of the, right in the middle of the guild hall. Oh, there's rules against that. Oh dear. Oh, that's funny. Skip. Chris did second DM you. Second? Oh, I don't know. I haven't looked at any of my messages today, dude. I literally got on the computer. Um, after I'd eaten, I uh, had a phone call. I was watching Vela, and then I started stream. Oh, you Skip! Why? I loved you, Skip. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? The betrayal. <laughs> 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 oh, bloody Okie dokie. Oh, hello. Cheeky. Nice head break. Oh, it's a good job you both missed there. <laughs> the triple helm breaker, baby. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That was so good. Block. No, I didn't get the block. Oh, I'm dead. Wow, that sucked. I somehow didn't get the block. Wait, I'm alive? Wait, how am I alive? What? What happened? Uh, oh, what is that noise? Is that what you do every time I go away? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> sorry you had to listen to that. <laughs> we need one more. One more to help with uh, Barry off. Bring an MR7 build. MR67. You know, Viper Toby, Palace Guard stuff, you know. Your hand's not fast enough to do those combos. What, for the heavy bow gun? All right. T's on the brute. Maybe. T is see. on the brew. Oh. Your trading items give you three million. There you go. Trade them in. So watch how many trading items we get from this when we're done. Just from doing one... Well, this will be two rounds of Steamworks, I'm, I'm guessing. You were collecting them, but effort. Who cares about you? You collect it once you get maximum cash. 
That's what you want to do. Otherwise, sell them. Because uh, if, if you run low on, on money, you should use them. Um, 100%. What's the Twas Band audio song command? I haven't added it yet, Snake. I've, I've got it. I've got it. I just haven't added it. I was really busy yesterday doing uh, uh, TikToks, YouTube. I did some edits myself as well. I've got... Obviously, Gowdy's helping me do edits, and I'm doing edits. So it's like, you know, we're putting out more, better quality content for you guys. Wait, how comes you get 10 each time? I put it on 10 times output, guys. There's a setting. You if right. before you start the Steamworks, like, under the thing, it will say output, week. and you put it on 10 times output. It costs 10 times as much, but you get 10 times every item back, including, like, the rarest items and the best stuff, too. The clip came up as well. Wait, which one's this one? Back at Monster Hunter World or still on Monster Hunter World? Grimsh, mate. Still. Still. Dragon's Dogma at the end of the week, though. And my eight-year channel anniversary, Grimsh. Yeah. Eight-year anniversary, guys. This Thursday, Friday. I'm doing a 24-hour stream. 24-hour, guys. So don't miss Thursday, Friday. I'm going to need all the support I can get. Well, obviously, we're going to go for our 10,000 followers. We're going to go for 650 subscribers. That's the goal, guys, on Thursday, Friday. 650 subscribers, we get a new emote. So that'll be nice. And then, obviously, 10,000 followers. It's a bit of a push, but we're doing a 24-hour on Dragon's Dogma launch. I don't see any reason why we couldn't do 10K on that day. Um... But yeah, come come join us. You would join, but you're working on Saturday. That's all right. It's on Thursday, Friday, mate. Thursday and Friday. So just come whenever you can. Again, I'll be going for 24 hours. So pop by. Pop your head in. Say a cheeky hello. You, obviously, it's all going to be uploaded, the VOD. So it'd be nice to have as many TBD family members featured in the stream as possible. You know, old and new. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, guys. But it's going to be a good one. I've, I've put a post on the Twitter, so consider retweeting it. Uh, you know, a, a poster and that. I made a little poster for the eight-year channel anniversary. And there is an event posted on the Discord as well, guys. Um, so you can join that too. That way I get an idea of how many people are coming. At the moment, it's like 30-odd people. My bad, you understood Friday, Saturday. No, 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 no. Thursday into Friday. There will be no usual Friday stream. So I'm starting at 7 p.m. on the Thursday and finishing at 7 p.m. on the Friday. I usually go over to 7 p.m. on the Friday and do like a little bit extra, but it depends on how tired we are and yeah, see how see how the stream's doing. Hopefully it does really well. Like I said again, new game, Dragon's Dogma 2. We're going to be doing giveaways as well. So if you're, you know, on the fence about buying it, if you are going to buy it, you'll be able to buy it. You can buy it right now on my store, exclamation mark Nexus. You can help support the, chan ch uh, the channel. I also donate a portion of every purchase to charity as well. So from the profit that I make, I give it. I give some on your behalf to charity. So yeah, you can do that. If you're going to buy it anyway, consider buying it on my store. You don't have to, but again, it doesn't cost more than it does on Steam. And it does help support the content that I make here on TBD because yeah. Sleep stream? No. No, no, I'll be awake the whole 24 hours gaming. When I do 24 hour, it's 24 hours of gaming. I'll do, I'll stop to eat and I'll stop to like, you know, but I'll eat on stream and I'll, uh, uh, you know, get my tea and everything. All right, ready. Let's see how much did I actually make from that. Let's have a look. Are you ready? So we got... 30 golden eggs. Those are worth 20,000 each. The golden eggs. So that is 600,000 zenny from two goes on the Steamworks. And that's, I think 30 is low. We also got 80 Steam tickets. That's what I want. 40 silver melding and 120 steel melding. Right, you see those silver meldings, right? We did two goes. We got 40. That's quite low to get 40 on two goes. But again... For those of you that are new, let me show you what those give. Because you're probably... You can only get these when there's an event on. Like there is now. So, the spring event. You come over here, guys. Over here. Um, meld decoration. No, no, not meld. Sorry. Uh, Guild alchemy. 
Here's the silver. We got 40 of them, right? 40. Check this. So for those of you that say you don't have your decorations, this is what you should be doing. Boom. 40 decorations, just like that. Fura. Heat guard. Attack. Magazine. Oh, so many, so many gun lance and charge blade players recently that don't have this. There you go. Pierce for your heavy bow guns. Peak performance. Iron wall guard for lance, charge blade, gun lance, etc. Constitution for bow. Focus for greatsword. Charge blade and I guess even switch axe in some cases. Another heat guard. Release for your heavy bow guns, light bow guns, and releasing element. Handicraft. Sharpness. Evade window. Peak performance. Pierce. Heavy bow gun, light bow gun. Magazine. Gun lance. Charge blade again. Release again. Spread for your bows. 10% spread damage increase. Power prolonger, switch axe, insect glaive. Brace, stop you from getting stunned. More peak performance, more evasion, okay? Can you show the, the awakening alchemy? Awakening is for Call to off. So when you're doing Master Rank, Call or Safi, you do this. See, I got quite a lot of Call materials. Let's just trade in one of them. You get three Kyar, random Kyar Taroth weapons. I don't think I've got space to keep these, though. That's the only problem. Kyar Strong Arm Decay. Kyar Pipe Crusher. Taroff Axe Paralysis. Put it in the pile. Sell the others. There you go. And then you've got the Safi one. Same thing. Trade in uh, some Safi components. That's expensive. Bloody hell. 60 of those. God damn. What's she Are they only worth five, though? 30 of these. How many Zionium crystals? Oh, just one? One Zionium's enough? Oh, okay, nice. There you go. Safi's Bind Axe. Safi's Drac Blade. Safi's Bind the Buster. Don't want any of them. I don't have space. <laughs> I don't have space. You've definitely got to do that now. Your builds would hit a lot harder with some better decos. Yeah, guys, it's easy. It's so easy to get fuel. You either do runs in the Guiding Lands, mining. That's the easiest way, not the fastest. The best way to do it is the event quest, Farewell to Zenoga. Very, very quick. He probably doesn't want to interrupt this so he can uh, clip and use it in the future. What was that? Twas by design, there's a white name. Oh, there is. Oh, yeah. We can go help him. <gasps> Defender. We got, we, we got to help him. Get some better gear. Defender. They've gone through the whole game. Well, let's give them a hand. What are they doing? Doing their assigned Teostra? All right, we'll go join. Let's help them farm some gear so they can uh, enjoy the get. Oh, get your camps. Get your camps, guys. Camps. Got to get your camps, everyone. Get get your camps. I, the, 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 the catchphrase so loud, it um, resonated into a mug. Merch down below. Get your camps. Uh, Monster Hunter is not the game that you kind of just blitz through and ignore everything. Otherwise, you end up having to backtrack a lot. Because you're just going to end up completely stuck. I'm just going to go get my tea quickly. I'll be back in a second.
Okay. We have tea. We're ready. We need to fund Twas a new chair. The poor thing's knackered. Dude, you're going to upset people in this channel if you say that. Many people have a, a special connection with this chair to the point that it's an emote. I didn't people people wanted that emo over like many other things that we that were, were available. Twas chair, mate. Oh god, I gotta run all the way over there. It'll be dead by the time I bloody get there. Yes, I bought a high rank build, guys. Simping for hanger. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. It's good to have you with us. Who is hanger? Like a an aircraft hanger? A coat hanger? Why, though? Good lord. People like it. People like the Twas chair. Admittedly, uh, honestly, I'd like to have it refurbished, but when I tried getting someone, like an upholstery place to do it, they refused. They said, no, sir. Tis not worth it. Buy a new chair. I was like, yeah, but I'm offering you business. Custom. No, this is not something we would be interested in, sir. One cannot simply re-upholster such a rotten, filthy, cheap chair. Tis beneath us as master artisans. We cannot do this for you, sir. Your chair is dead. It would be belittle us to even entertain the notion of fixing the chair for you. How dare you, sir. You think us... You think us lesser individuals that would do such a thing? <laughs> that was the vibe I got. Weak spot! GG. Alright, alright, alright. Wait a minute. What was Jolene running? Who is Jolene? Mate, Jolene. Jolene broke protocol chat. They broke protocol. They bought a max bloody end game build. Don't do that, guys. We don't do that. Bad. Naughty. It's their first. There is their assigned Teostra. Artillery 5 on Ice Charge Blade. Let's help Kuno get a build. Let's help him get something together. They're on hammer. Maybe we could do Teostra. Get them. We can farm Teostra for a bit. Was it not allowed? Uh, so if we're helping people, the, the rule that we have... Well, it's not really a rule, but it's like... We tend to here on the channel... No, it's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I know you're new. So what we tend to do is... If we're helping like someone with an assigned quest... We bring gear that's appropriate to the level... So like obviously, once you hit end game, you can run end game gear, of course, a hundred percent. But let's say like you're doing high rank, we bring a high rank build, and if we're doing like early master rank, we'll bring an early master rank, mid master rank, a mid, and obviously end. Then we then we bring end game builds. That's fine. Um, how goes the hunt? Yeah, going good. K thanks. How you doing? Hope you having yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. <laughs> Burn them at the stake. No, no, no. no. I don't know. Yeah, I, I try to bring rank appropriate. Yes. Yeah. Like, for high rank stuff, it's fine. Just bring high rank armor. It's, it's w Whatever, you know? It doesn't have to be the exact level that they're at for high rank. That's... We don't go that far. But, like, if, you, you know, if they're doing, like, high rank... If they're doing low rank, bring a low rank set. High rank, bring a high rank set. That's fine. That's all I ask. Um, just because... You're gonna, we're gonna kill it fast with a high rank set anyway. It's just, I, you know, you don't want to kill it in like two, three bloody hits, um, which you can do. Dude's already posted it. Whoa, 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 wait. Who, who is this player? Who's, who is this? Who's Kuno? Kuno, wait. Kuno, wait. Chill, chill, chill. Let's get you some, some gear. Let's upgrade your armor a little bit before we, before we continue. Let's get you some. 
some damage. Because at the moment, the only really thing that's benefiting you that much is probably health boost. He cancelled? Okay, legend. Uh, let's do... Kushino, it's you. Uh, let's do... Oh, what do you want, Digicane? Exclamation mark, what? What? It's you on a different save. Oh. So, what? wait, what's your plan? Yeah, because you already know how to play. What are you looking for? Are you just looking to get to Master Rank quickly? Can you make any armor? Any good armor pieces? Or are you just going to go into the Horn of Torkulu stuff when you hit Master Rank? Is that your plan? Okay, yeah, we can do that. We can do that if you want. Skip the, the high rank stuff. I mean, you know what you're doing anyway, so that's fine. Um... What was it? Exclamation mark, what? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know. I, I saw it. I saw it. Is that the one that you want? Exclamation mark, what? That might already be un unlocked, though. Is it? Is it unlocked? Oh, no, it isn't. There you go. Exclamation mark, what? Uh, try it. Should be good. Unlocked. What? I don't know what this is. What? All oh, right. <laughs> wow, what the fuck? <laughs> What? I had no idea what that audio command was. The hellish fiend. Oh, let's just let's just do it, guys. Freaking send it. Good luck. John Tron. I remember John Tron very vaguely. Didn't he used to do game grumps with Aaron? I I remember. Years ago, like ten years ago. I don't know what happened to him. But that's where I remember him from. Because I, lo I love Aaron, man. Dude, Ego Raptor was fantastic. His his stuff, uh, was it Metal Gear Awesome? Brilliant. Genius. The fact that that guy never went into, like, the animation industry is a, is a crime. That guy could have written an, an entire show. Uh, and, and it would have been brilliant. You know who I love that's actually gotten into, like, the industry proper now is Oni. And, um... Uh, Psychic Pebbles. Like, Psychic Pebbles. Have you guys seen Smiling Friends? It is incredible, guys. It's so good to see that they're, like, they're making it. And Oni does the soundtrack for it. He does the, the music. Because, oh, dude, Oni's scores are incredible. If you ever saw Hellbenders, uh, and the soundtrack for Hellbenders, it's, like, so good. But he's basically kind of done Hellbenders with Smiling Friends, in a way. They've kind of done that. Because that was Zack and uh, that was Zach and Oni that did that. And they even got like James Rolfe and other like internet celebrities in on Smiling Friends. Highly recommend watching Smiling Friends if you haven't seen it, guys. Highly, highly recommend. It's very funny. Um, yeah, I enjoy it a lot. Great. It's, re it's really well done. Really well put together. One of the few comedy shows I feel like that's actually pretty funny. Like genuinely, you know, got a laugh out of me. It's not for everyone. It's very it's it's very weird humor. But uh <laughs> it's dark humor as well. But it's good. It is good. I liked it. Oh, here he comes. Uh pull him to the teeth, guys. Pull him to the teeth. To the teeth, to the teeth. Wait. Oh, it's just Kuno and I. Okay. No one else coming. No one else got high rank builds? Here on me, Kuno. Over here. On me, on me. We pull, we pull. Kuno, over here. Kuno, on me. That's it, you got it. No, oh, he got me. Okay. There we go. Weak spots on, Kuno. Weak spots on. Good stuff. Alright, pull him to the next one. To the next one. Over here, Kuno. Under the next one. Over here, over here. Get another knockdown. Ah, never mind. Gonna be a dick. Alright, try pulling again. 
probably best to not spam making a weak spot on the head when he's already got a weak spot on the head. You don't need to do that. There we go. Nice. Excellent. That's it. Do your big bang attack. Whenever a monster goes down, what you want to try and do is big bang it. That's your best uh, DPS on the downs. Oh, my rocks that he ran out. Whoops. Nice, well played. Good stuff. Oh, whoops. Don't be afraid to utilize that big bang. That's your circle button press. You want to do it like basically the second he goes down. Um. Turn around, please. Oh, shouts! Oh! Who's that? Oh my god, yes! Banshee, oh, I do Banshee. Welcome Alice? back. Hope you're having yourself a lovely, Fuck jubbly day you. today. Oh my god. How's oh things? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I did it, 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 I did it. How are the hunts? Yeah, good. We're just uh, teaching oh, Kuro Hammer, doing a Yo. bit of high rank. Fuck. And uh, helping him out with a Valhaz Got busting out the high rank builds. Getting some last minute help for hunters in, you know, before Dragon Pogma. Maximum Pog. Oh, yeah, we made our characters for Dragon Pogma, too. Thank you for doing shout out. Yeah, thank you, War. Thank you. Shout outs to Banshee, guys. Fellow Mon Hunter. Wait. You're, play you're playing Pogma, right? I know some people aren't playing it, which is fair enough. Um, duh. <laughs> we shall now refer to it as Pogma. Yeah, I got, I got to check it out. I, I, I love the first game. I just... Uh, it's just, the, the only thing... Like, the only negative for me is I can't play with community. So we're just going to see... You know, play it for a little bit. Just have a... Gives me like a small break from Monster Hunter as well. There's plenty. There are some other good co-op games that are coming out this year. And I'm even considering maybe we do like a Twas stream on Helldivers. Because I know a lot of you guys have Helldivers. There you go. Well done, Kuno. GG. Gregory's your favorite video game dragon. Yeah, because he's actually like an intelligent being. Who's more intelligent and more powerful than a human. And he's he's got that villainous streak in him. It's brilliant. I wonder what he's going to be called this time around, though. Yeah, he is. He's literally... He's, he's obviously based on Smaug, right? He, I mean, he has to be. Twas, you're starting as an archer, pawn as a warrior. Nice. I'm saying I'm archer, pawn uh, thingy. Helldivers is sick. I love Helldivers. I'm level 25. I got the mechs unlocked. I've been playing it off stream. Got Helldiver difficulty. I'm bloody good at that game. Turns out I'm not bad. I did it. I've been doing some solo Helldiver difficulty. Yeah. I've gotten good. I've gotten good, chat. Would you expect anything less for me? Hardest difficulty on my own. <laughs> I haven't... Whenever I come on, there's no one else ever on to play it. On the weekends, I'm on, like, middle of the night, like, 6 a.m., middle of the morning. It's so good, though. It is so good. I wouldn't mind streaming it. Helldiver solo is possible? Yeah, of course. You just got to be good enough, mate. Get good. You're ahead of me. You're at level 13 now. You started uh, at challenging for some reason. Yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. The higher level you get, the more XP you get. And uh, you get a lot of XP. You get a lot. It's like a 300% multiplier. Wait, is it 250 or 300? It's a lot. <laughs> it's a big multiplier. So if you're actually like doing the missions, just use stealth. Guys, use stealth. If you're doing solo, you can like you don't have to engage everything. Just sneak around. You know you know the whole game, if you look at it, it's based on Metal Gear Solid 5. The, the whole system has been put in Metal Gear Solid 5. If you... Someone did a side-by-side -side comparison for the animations and mechanics of Metal Gear and Helldivers. Dude, it's identical. <laughs> it's identical. If you played Metal Gear Solid 5 and you play it like that when you're playing solo, you'll do solo. 
It's a little bit harder against the bugs for like the hiding part. The mechs you can do proper stealthy. Tactical espionage, mate. You can you can play it full stealth if you want. You've never played Metal Gear Solid, any of them? If you played Helldivers, you it's basically the same. Even the controls are similar. You're hella clumsy, but I'm not uh, grenading yourself mid jump pack. You're effective. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> try, try, try not to blow yourself up mid thingy. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, but no, no, I, I am enjoying it a lot. Yeah, I am enjoying it a lot. It's good fun. I played a lot of Impossible Difficulty before I got Hell Dive, though. Because people die so much. You know at the end of the quest, who has the least deaths? Old Twas Boy. I like, if I have one death or two deaths, that's, that's a lot for me. I can go the whole thing without dying. I, I do use the shield, though. Oh, you got the impact grenades? I use the... The impact grenades are good. I actually use the bigger ones. You know, the, the large ones with the long timer. Just because they're a little bit better at dealing with AoE. And they can... Uh, if you chuck four of them on a charger, you can actually kill a charger with them if they blow up at the right place. Well, providing you've, like, done a bit of damage to them. Now you want to watch you play so you can get good, Maybe. I might, I might do it. The new stun is really good. I haven't tried any of the new stuff. So I was using weapons. I tried out the new flamethrower. Pretty good. I've been, dude, I've been using the arc thrower, man. The arc thrower is amazing. Like really, really good. Um, what else is good? So my, my general setup at the moment, not for everything. If I'm on bugs, it's 500 kilogram bomb, orbital strike or carpet bomb. Depending on what kind of what, what's what other people are bringing, or I bring the airstrike. I like the air standard airstrike, carpet bomb, orbital uh, beam, rail cannon, and uh, what's the other good one? There's another one. Oh, 500 kilogram. Yeah, I like all of those. Uh, I've got. I've been upgrading. I've focused all my upgrades on the airstrike thing to make them come back faster because airstrikes are really good. Unless you're fighting the automatons and they're breaking because they can do that thing where they stop you from being able to get airstrikes you've got to break the blocking towers that's annoying then i then i bring the orbitals instead just go like rail cannon and orbital beam other than that uh shield shield is so good at higher difficulties like highly 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 recommend the shield um they nerfed the crap out of it but it's still good like it's still solid just get hit less play a little bit more careful because it doesn't recharge quickly it takes like 10 seconds to go back up again and then for weapons, anything. I like the auto cannon. Uh, if I'm not running shield, auto cannon on the robots is good. I like the uh, rail gun still. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but I didn't really like it even when it was OP. It just wasn't wasn't the one for me. Arc thrower, flamethrower, and uh, there's some new stuff as well. I quite like the uh, the recoilless launcher, but I don't loot, use it as much anymore because to make the most out of it, you need someone else to sacrifice a backpack, which isn't ideal at higher difficulties yeah right what are we doing what are we helping with it's good fun it's very good fun the mech as well the mech i haven't used the mech much but okay we're helping let's help kuno with their uh um thingy kuno makes reminds me of is it kuno and the two strings was that the film i love that film you've got the sickle the redeemer the grenade launcher the rover Two randoms, depending on the mission. Wait, did they unlock the rover now? Oh, oh, you mean the little backpack thing? Yes, I know what you're talking about. It's too stressful for me to play solo, but with friends, you're rediscovering muscles from laughing. It, yeah, oh, dude, it's so funny to watch. It is really funny to watch. And yeah, just to, you know, play with friends. What's your ship name? The mother, the mother of the people is my ship's name. <laughs> my ship is the mother of the people. Yours is fucking edgy. What you got? What's your name? The Leviathan of War. See, mine's a softer name. <laughs> the, the father of freedom. The mother of the people. The father of freedom. The Leviathan of War. The Stallion of Family Values. It's Bojack Horseman. <laughs> Bojack. You prefer bugs over machines, even if charges are horrid. 
Bugs over the machines. Bugs are typically easier to solo. The machines can be a nightmare to solo. But you have to stealth if you're doing machines. Which can get kind of boring. Yeah. Bugs over the robots for sure. I, I enjoy fighting the robots with like a in team though. I love it. It's great fun if you're coordinated. So we did one of those. Do you remember before they patched it? They had those missions where you had to save like 50 people. And they had to get them all like running into the uh, into the bunker and escort them safely. I did one of those on like impossible difficulty. Um, and we were so coordinated. We had we all had mortars, and we would all save our beams and airstrikes like whenever the big things would come in, and we just like coordinate. We got it done. We got it done. It was possible. We just had to coordinate a lot. It was great. It was great. Great stuff. I love the high level of difficulty in that game. I like games that give me a challenge. Because that's why I like things like, you know, Elden Ring, Monster Hunter. Hopefully Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's Dogma 1 was brutal, so I'm hoping number 2 is. But someone said to me in Very Dave's stream yesterday that they're not having difficulty in Dragon's Dogma anymore. Which is like, okay, well I hope the whatever they've got is difficult. I don't want it to be easy. Because uh, I get bored. I get bored if I have to switch my brain. I'm one of the, i I got to be able to like... Focus in on things a bit. For the bugs, you take the rail strike. You eat uh, the eat 17 rover dog and uh, the airstrike. Guys, I'm telling you, man. Shield. Shield, shield, shield. Run the shield. It is better than the rover. Oh, my God. Especially on the higher difficulties. It is like a million times better than the rover. Rover's probably better on the automatons. Just because the shield goes down so fast with the automatons and it actually catches more bullets than you'd get hit by otherwise. But the shield is like... Damn. Rover's, Rover's good, don't get me wrong, but when you're on hell dive, Shield, man. Which sounds weird for me. Twas recommending a defensive icon over DPS. Yeah, but like... This is one of those times. I see the people that bring the rovers. They just they die like so much more often. And they're not even half the time. They don't even have the rover because they're dying and dropping it. So it doesn't really matter. Anyone else want to join us? Nice, the is coming. Oh, guys, if you watched the latest episode of uh, Shogun, holy moly, guys, so good, dude! Best show on at the moment. Best show on at the moment, Shogun. How do you get the Rocksteady Mantle? You don't have it. Uh, HR 69. And you need to have fought three Tempered Elders to unlock the HR 69 quest. And then you have to defeat a Valhazak and Tempered Odegaran in the Rotting Vale simultaneously. And you'll unlock it. And then you get the upgrade for it. Uh, uh, like MR 8. You have to do a... Tempered Blank Diablos might be a little bit later than MRA. It's not very long though. You don't have to wait too long. thing about the Safi fight is just when he keeps backing up. It's not even the fight. The fight itself is uh, a joke, but... Constant moving. Cheeky bugger.
I'm focusing so intently on this fight, oh, I'm getting flinched. <laughs> For bots, you take the shields. The shields are worse on the bots. They're actually worse on the bots. Do you know why? Because the shield's quite big. So you'll get hit by rounds that would otherwise just miss you. And it will just take your shield out. It's still fine on the bots. I think if you're taking a ton of fire, then yeah. But like, if you're just doing a general mission and not one of the um, like survival missions, it's actually it's actually going to make it worse for you. You're more likely to get hit. It will catch rockets that would otherwise completely miss you. Nice one, Blade. Look at all those pods. I know. This is what I was saying the other day to... Uh, no, I was saying earlier today to Viserys. Was um, if they... Let's say... Because obviously you, you can make pods by making weak spots. But if they bought the Slinger pod back... Just make it so that monsters drop more pods. Maybe when you break parts and stuff on them, they drop pods instead. Could do that. If you're going to bring back the Slinger pod... Linking back into yesterday's Q QOTD. I don't know what I'm going to ask for today's question of the day, guys. Yesterday's one I'd already thought of, but I'm not sure about today's one. You're in, Scuba Steve. Nice. Yeah, I don't know what to ask. I'm not sure. I've asked so many questions of the day. It's funny because I'm seeing other accounts asking the same questions of the day. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, yeah, I already asked that one. It's like, yeah, yeah, done that one, done that one. I've been doing it, I've been doing it for quite a long time now. I can't remember when I started. Started like last year, probably, after Baldur's Gate. No, I think I started before that. Which mechanic would you know? Done it. Done. Already done it. It's hard to keep track of all the ones that I've actually asked. <sighs> hmm. I've asked all the obvi obvious ones as well. Okay. Right, well, they're at Master Rank now. What's next? Any blue names in the lobby? No, dude, there's so many spots. Guys, there's four spaces. Everyone earlier was like fighting to get in. Couldn't get a space. And now there's four spots and no one wants in. This is always the way that it is. People only want in when there's no spaces for them to get in. And the second there's like a ton of space, they don't want in anymore. So when augmenting slots on weapons, are they always the same? No. Depends on the weapon. Oh, wait. You mean the actual... No, it's dependent... The pieces that you need are dependent on the rarity of the weapon. But if you're making the same augments on the same rarity of weapon, then yes, they should be the same. Yo, take take care, Mursky. Have yourself a lovely jubbly one. What's Alex doing? Is he getting ready for... Isn't Alex getting ready for... Latrion. I think he was, right? Uh, Kuno's got quite a long cutscene. We've got Carly. Casual Mr. B's apparently on a quest. Let's see what he's doing. Trap the Thunderjaw. Okay. Could help with that. Fade to black. Wait, oh, they're helping someone on thingy. Oh, crap. I should probably join that. Yeah, I'll give you guys a hand. You can carry me through Raging Branky later if you like. You've got a short commute home though. Uh, yeah, dude, if I'm if I'm still on, we can do some more raging. Uh, I'll bring Hunting Horn. I've been enjoying Hunting Horn on this fight recently. Should be good fun. Means I can uh, 
Wait, where is it? I should have... That's hammer. There it is. Mike pill hunting horn. Let me make sure I bring the right loadout this time. Might pill fatty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Help me get the head break, guys, as well. I'll do the artillery because I'm on hunting horn. Can you show me how to fight Diablos Tempered? Uh, yeah. Sure. I can come help you if you want. What are you doing? Black Diablos? Black Diablos Tempered or regular Diablos Tempered? Can you show me how to beat Tempered Diablos with a longsword? You can't counter his burrow move. You've died three times just to that. You just got to time it right. Dude, dude, just bring... Um, dude, don't even worry about countering it. Just bring... Uh, what are they called? Sonic bombs. Put the sonic bombs in your pod. You press R1. You do a swing. And you press L L2 and you'll fire the sonic pod. And then you can continue your combo from there. Do a helm breaker, whatever. Not everyone enjoys things that might be a spoiler. Yeah, guys, mark your things as spoiler if you're spoiling things on Discords, guys. Uh, mods delete it if it's not got uh, if it's not got the spoiler tag on it then delete it. All right, let me buff you guys first before we go in. Just regular, you want to do the challenger charm. Oh, you're talking about in the guiding lands. That's uh, that's Black Diablos for the challenger charm, dude. You got to do guiding lands tempered. Yeah, you have to level up the uh, the wild spire region to five or six. Um, that's not, yeah, you gotta do, you gotta do the thingy one. There we go. Do, 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 do. Let's go. Up. Let's go. Uh, guys, can someone get the head for me? Because I'm uh, I'm kind of slow. <laughs> you know how it be, hunting horn life. Guys, no weak spot on the head. No one's head hunting. Go for the wall off. And I'm gonna pull you in rage. Can someone please put weak spot on head? Somebody, please. Well, I'm assuming the person we're helping needs a head. If he does a charge attack on me and I die, then. Kind of. I'm trying to go for the head here. So far back, you went across the whole map there. Damn. I thought the wall would like catch him, but it didn't. All right. I'll do the uh, artillery. Let me extend here. I'll get the knockdown. Just get ready. I'll do the old uh, might pills as well. Oh god. Oh no, he's blocking. He's blocking. I can't get the shots up on the chest. That's bad. Well, 
It's dead. I can't. I can't get the knockdown. I can't hit him enough. Yeah, reset. Nah, reset. Cause I don't. I don't have time to rebuff. Rebuff and um, I didn't get the knockdown on the ballista because of the way he moved. Uh, how you doing, Rentius? Welcome back. Hope you having yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. Welcome back. Guys, try to stick in the smoke just to not, um, just while I go for the knockdown. Because otherwise, uh, I can't, um, well, if you guys die, I mean, that could have been me that died as well. Because the, um, the ballista and that, he, if he'd done the spread flame on me. Make sure you got dragon pods just to cancel it in case. That way that won't happen. Went to your province for a week, so you, uh... Have been inactive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have a nice time? I hope so. It's great. You've been spoiled for the title expansion. Dude, I, I don't think that's real, mate. I don't think that's real. I, I think ignore it. I've already seen it. It's, it's, it's well edited, but it's not real. All right, let's go again. Nice rest from gaming too. Yeah, I bet, dude. I bet. I want to go back down to the south coast of England at some point. Get some rest. Some point. Where are the other two? Are they coming? Thirteen more ranks to MR nine nine nine, dude. Nice. Good stuff. Oh, you'll get there. You'll get there for sure. Duo? Yeah, but I'm on hunting horn. I want I want to do quad. Rentius, you fancy a fatty? The others aren't coming back. Zerk, you want to do a fatty? Yeah, that was the worst time for you to die. <laughs> Literally. Because I, I can't... Uh, just before I do the might pills as well on the knockdown. Zerk, you coming? There's sp if anyone else wants in chat, there's spaces in the lobby. Still got three spaces. If you want to come join. No one's joining this fatty. Anyone want fatty guys in chat? Doesn't the might pill remove seed? No, it, it might pill goes over everything. It's like an extra boost. But might seed lasts three minutes. Might pill lasts twenty seconds. So you you just put it up when you when you get the knockdowns. You don't want to join Zerk for Fatalis? I'm going to kick you from the lobby then, lad, because you're not joining any quests. Uh, not that not that we need the spaces at the moment, but Carly's also AFK. Lots of people not doing anything. Are you guys not joining? You don't want to join? No? You're going to join soon? Righty, I respect. Yeah, yeah, dude, come. No response. Okay. All right. Wait. Oh, I'm not in charge of the session. I can't kick him. It's not my session. I don't know whose session it is. I can't remove AFKers. I might have to make a new lobby. Let me transfer. Oh, is it your lobby? Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. I'm going to remove the inactives just because no response. How do you how do you transfer to me? I've never done this before. Oh, it's because we DC'd earlier, right? Long credits. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it is. There's a lot a lot of cutscenes. Same with Iceborne. It's even longer. Mm. 
Okay. It would have been faster for me to just make a new session at this point. <laughs> Much faster. Or, you know, you could just kick them yourself. <laughs> you can't transfer. Okay. Just, uh, just kick them. Kick the inactives, make some space. Because they're not joining quests and they're not responding to me. And they're not... Yeah, so just get rid of them. It's fine. Unskippable cutscenes because the 90s again. Capcom do like their unskippable cutscenes. Yeah, they do like them. Alright, we're good to go. How you doing, Ubi? Welcome. Hope you're having yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. Oh, do people play World or Rise more? Giselle. Uh, World. World's got a much higher player count. Yeah. You're not confident that you're going to get a head break. You got me. I'm going to be taking mic pills and going for the head. Just don't forget your smoke bombs and stuff. Stick in your smokes for a bit as well, just so that he doesn't do that little aggro thing. We go for the head, mate. I'll, um, I'll be head hunting, yes. I don't have part breaker, though. So I'm going to be... Hopefully you've got part breaker. I will be mic seeding whenever he goes down. That's right. Kate will shoot the head a little bit when he goes down, if, we're, if we don't get it right. On the final thing. Just so that when he's blue flame at phase three... We'll, uh, we'll we'll get the head guaranteed then. How you doing, Andrew? Welcome back. Dude, your name's changed colour. You're grey now. How's things? Hope you're having yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. I mean, you're white in chat there and you're grey on the thing. You've always been white. No, on my, on my OBS, you've changed colour. You're grey. That's, uh, that's so weird. Uh, Ubi, yo, thank you for the follow. Welcome. It's good to have you with us. Dude, shout outs to you, Andrew. I hope you're doing well. Go, 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 go. You good? Buffing. Full buff. Alright, good luck. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, it's grey for me. It's grey on the Twitch chat and it's grey on the OBS for some weird reason. How are the hunts? Any legendary blue names? No white name. Helping a white name, mate. We did some Xeno Jeeva and uh, some Teostra and some Valazak. Oh, God. This is not where I want to position. No, I'm dead. Oh my god. Let me close. Oh no. Dude, where are the flinches coming from, man? So much flinch. Okay, I frame that just about. Again? Wait, who's he talking? Oh, Rinius. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's three. Guys, check positioning. Check positioning. Get, like, decent range in front of the head so he doesn't... There we go. That's better. That's what we're looking for. Nice 
for blade. Don't forget to smoke. Hold, hold in that smoke. Hold in that smoke because he's been... Yeah, nice. Well played. Refresh, refresh. Oh god, not again. Why again? Saved your lives. You're welcome. Might pull going up. On head, on head, on head. Poor Rentius, he's missing everything. Because of these flinches. So much flinch. What the hell? Weak spot on head, guys. Weak spot on head, someone. That's not good. Alright, well, it's fine. I'll uh, get the buff. Please, someone refresh weak spot on head. On the uh, next phase. That's a head break? Oh no. I can't do anything here. I can't even extend buffs. Weak spot on head, guys. Again, no weak spot. I have to refresh uh, ex extend melodies. Otherwise, you're, everyone's going to run out. Refreshing. What? Why? He targeted Longsword there. Okay, I'll go get the binder. Oh, I can't get the... Oh, I have to wait. For some reason, he... I don't, I don't get it, man. He's been doing that a lot recently. I can't stay in the flames. I gotta do this. Grabbing binder. Get him, get him, get him. There you go. Go, 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 go. Taking my pill. What the hell? Come on. Stop. Work. There we go. Got it. Taking Mike Pill. Nice. Perfect. Well played. Mike Pill up again. GG. Nicely done. Well played. Oh. 
Oh. Might pill just about, I think. How much do you hit with the might pill boosted TCS? <laughs> what is it? Is it worth it? I, I feel like it's worth it. GG, guys. I was literally on full control there. It was going so fast. I was literally spamming smokes to get everyone in a smoke to hold him before he flew away. 2,800 without a mantle. That's pretty good. 2,600 plus. Nice. Okay, so it is worth it then. Is Mike Pill a party buff? No. It's because I'm running wide range 3. I sacrificed part breaker for wide range 3. Because if I'm boosting their damage that much, I, I don't need the part breaker anymore. And that was 7 minutes and Rentius had a bad area 1. He missed all of his TCS's area 1. So like... Imagine how quick that's going to be if you hit all the TCS's area one. You don't know what wide range does. Applies the effects of consumable items to your entire team. So I sacrifice my DPS for a couple of seconds whilst I eat a might pill. But it boosts everyone else's substantially for 20 seconds. So the idea is I, I'm on hunting horn anyway. I'm, I'm there to buff and do damage. So it gives a massive damage boost. And considering we've got Heavy Bowgun, Longsword, and Greatsword, which are, in terms of shock damage, TCS, Helmbreaker, those are like the two, two of the strongest moves in the game. And then you've got um, Heavy Bowgun, which is just the strongest consistent damage in the game anyway. Could I have some help with this investigation? Yeah, go for it, guys. Let's help Scuba Steve. What have you got, mate? What do you want to do? Is that you, Scuba Steve? Wait, which one's you? That's you, right? You want this monkey silver Raphalos? Faint once? Yeah. Uh, let's start with silver Raphalos. How you doing, Kazuki? Hope you have yourself a lovely jubbly day today. I'll, uh, I'll grab a bow. Should I play Ice Bow or Monkey as well? Can do. It's a faint once, so play it safe. Relatively. Alright, that's good. How did I mistype that bad? Dude, I ask myself the same thing every day. I'm terrible at typing. You've got much to learn in this game. Yeah, dude. Dude, there's a there's a lot. Understanding all those little little extra details. MZ, you want to come? Whoever wants in, guys, you're more than welcome. Nice, MZ's coming. Did you ever get the whole stream marker thing down? Oh, yeah, dude, I haven't added it yet. I was going to do it on the weekend. I was going to add it. Uh, I, actually, I really should get it before Thursday because Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, I, I got in touch with Capcom. Which is fantastic. And they very kindly said they'll get back to me tomorrow. They said we'll be able to... Well, they, they've already told me they'll be able to sort me out. So that's good. They just wanted to know what did I want. Like PC. Uh, and what region was I. So they can get me the right code. So thankfully. Looks like Thursday's 24 hour. Twas by design. Celebration anniversary is a go guys. Looks like we're golden. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be hype guys. It's going to be hype. Dragon's Dogma 2, Thursday, Friday, 24 hours. See if we can beat the game. <laughs> See if we can beat the game in 24 hours. Well, probably won't. I think the game's meant to be huge, but we'll take our time. Explore and, and everything. Yeah, it's going to be fun, guys. It's going to be fun. Again, we're celebrating eight years of Twas, um, of the channel. You know, Twas by design. So if you want to come celebrate with us, obviously you're all invited. It'd be wonderful to have you all here. What vocation am I starting with? Either Archer or Thief. Probably Archer, though. Because uh, that's I started with Strider in the original. So I'm going to do exactly the same as I did in the OG. Strider and then my pawn's going to be Mage. So Milfredon's Mage. I'll evolve her into a Sorcerer. So she can do the big the big AoEs. Dragon's Dogma 2 first speed run. Yeah, I, I, I won't be looking to speed run it. I will be looking to just enjoy it. But if we beat it, we'll beat it. I mean, dude, we beat Sunbreak in one day. We beat it on launch day. Got to Guys Magorm, did all that. 
So it's possible. But I, I haven't played Thingy in a while. Uh, Cardine, thank you for the follow. Welcome. It's good to have you with us. Cheers, me dear. Damn it. I was trying to make a pod. Sorry, I messed that one up, guys. Uh, can someone... Uh, so, sorry, I shouldn't have taken it from you, Kate, because you got the temple. Could you make that pod? I've half made the weak spot, at least. On the head. Uh, no, that's, that's the wing. I need, I need the head so, for the knockout. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I don't... Yeah. That works, too. Cheers, me dear. We still need a weak spot on the head, guys. Still don't have one. And I'm doing zero damage here. Who's got a shaver? Carly, you've got a heavy weapon. A weak spot on the head would be great. I'm hitting 15s and 20s here, guys. I'm doing no damage. So I can help with the head break. That's not how you make a weak spot. That is uh, how you do a wall knock. This is why I bring Shaver and a Rocksteady, because people just don't make them. They just don't do them, chat. Today you approve once again that you really dislike Toby Kidachi. Why? What's wrong with Toby? I quite like Toby. Shoot to the right randomly there. Oh god, I can't dodge that. Bought the wrong loadout, god damn it. Alright, one down. Now for monkey. Your English today is annoying. He's just consistently stunning you. Um, <laughs> Milfordon wants the big boom. Dude, I'm going to go Archer. I don't know where I'm going to end up with, with Milfordon because I ended up as a sorcerer myself, but... Obviously, I haven't. I hadn't trained like my levels up as I was leveling up to be a sorcerer. I don't know how the leveling system is going to work. Like, am I going to continue being able to level once I hit max vocation? Like, how is that going to work? We can also get dual vocations now, which have um, other benefits. Like, I, yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know how it's all going to work. It's all very uh, interesting to me. It's all going to be new, so I'm excited to see what they're doing with it. But I don't know how hard the game's going to be, because like I said, I was talking to someone on Dave's stream, and I didn't realize this, but apparently there's no difficulty settings. It's just one difficulty now. So they're kind of taking a From Software approach, which, if the game is difficult, uh, that should be pretty damn cool. But I hope, I'm really hoping it's not too easy, because I liked the hard mode on Dragon's Dogma 1 personally. It's not for everyone, but... For me, I, I did enjoy it, so I, I'm i hoping that it's uh, it maintains that hard mode difficulty. Hmm. Let's get in there. Just die 50 times on every boss and then kill it. Oh, what with the, the wake stones? You know what? I didn't even use wake stones for such a long time in that game. Just wait till you meet Toby's cousin. Angry Toby. 
Toby Maguire. <laughs> Oh, here we go. It's probably three times more annoying. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely more of a challenge. Dum, dum, dum. Oh no, he's dragon blighted me, you. I'm the annoying Godzilla wannabe. Can we just not Devil Joe for just one second, please? Just firing into a mist of dragon blight. I'll stop them from following me here. Flashing. There we go. Get out of there, guys. Don't let them follow you. Are you doing lamb sterile? Cheers, dude. How's things, mate? Welcome. Here we go, monkey. Oh, okay. Will not. Mm, no, never mind. Let's see if I can get a KO. Oh no, someone's already got a KO. Oh, I do have defense down though, I've got to be careful. It's buff. It's the only problem with monkey. Kill Carly someone. Check Carly's health. They're dying. We've only got one life, remember guys. Oh, that was that cancelled out a horn break. I'm gonna try and help you get the KO here one second. don't really want to use the cow chops guys but if you've got a cc player and you need to expedite a ko it can help a little bit like there guys keep your eyes on carly's health he can almost get one shot by this rajang or he, oh there we go he's done flash and win Pit pull down oh never mind that works you guys like zanoga yes i don't really know anyone that doesn't like zanoga He's a very well-liked monster. You don't know. Has it been in uh, a game before Monster Hunter World? What's that one? What monster rare twisted? Almost every monster in this game has been in the previous game. Outside of like Anjanaf, Folger Anjanaf, Dodo Gamma, Kuliaku, Great Jagras, Toby Kadachi, Viper Toby Kadachi, um, Nergigante, Valhazak, Namiel, Velkana, Safi Jeeva, Kulturoff, uh, Behemoth, Ancient Lesion. I think that's about it. Am I forgetting anything? Mid game. Folger Engine F, I guess. Oh, Viper Toby. No, Bambaro, Bear Todus. They're new as well. Um, yeah, probably covers it. Zeno. You said Safi. Oh, I meant, yeah, Zeno as well. I think everything else is uh, OG. Damn, Crypt Medicine. Got some good stuff from that. Cool Trough is such a cool concept. Dude, it's so, so good. It makes me wonder, dude, like what kind of sieges are they going to come up with if they, hopefully they bring sieges back. But it does make me wonder what they're going to come up with in Wilds. The only thing I change about Cool Trough is make the siege reward system more like Safis. That's it. Like, that's the only thing I would change about that fight. I can't describe to you how exciting it was when Cool first came out. Like, honestly, the community was buzzing. Because there was this whole thing, like, we're getting raids in Monster Hunter. Like, proper endgame raids. With, like, randomly generated rewards. Like, yeah, sure, it became a little bit annoying when you farmed it for, like, 500 times and didn't get what you wanted, but... Oh, man, the excitement of, you know, opening up that loot and seeing what you got. And then people going, oh, I got this weapon, I got that weapon. And then people would just change their weapons based on, you know, the rewards that they were getting. Oh, it was brilliant. Is there space? Yeah, there should be. Dude, it's been like, it's been empty. Uh, half empty, honestly. Yeah, it's four spots. 
Right. Do you want to grab MR1 builds, guys? And then we go help um, Kuno? Oh, no. They're on an expedition for now. We can't join them just yet. Fair enough. You came by for a moment. You're going to go back to Rise? Yeah, dude. Go enjoy. How you doing, baby blue? Welcome back. Hope you having yourself a lovely job today. today. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go help Alex. Wait, 26 minutes in. I think the issue is, Alex, you're running a dragon weapon on a monster that's completely resistant to dragons. So you are losing quite a bit of damage, especially when uh, Diablos has such uh, weak ice element hit zones. You actually do gain a fair decent bonus from it. Uh, bring, um, what are they called? Sonic bombs, guys. Let's go give them a hand. Are you off, Kazuki? Bye, people. You're going to go sleep now? You're sick and dying. Yo, get some rest. Get well soon. Get well soon. Drink some tea. Drink some tea or some milk before you go to bed or something. Or water. Stay hydrated. Oh, I the wrong. Oh, no. It's element charge. Very good. Good. Milk for sickness? Probably not milk. <laughs> Milk's to help you sleep, not for sickness. Not the best. Just wondering if there's any tips for Rise in the early game. I actually made an entire video guide, Rare Twisted. It's on my YouTube channel. Type in, go onto the Twas channel, type in Rise Tips. It's like a half an hour guide, mate. Oh, wait, you did? Yeah, mate. Yep. I also made a guide for how to, like, level up quickly and... I only got like 100 views, but I spent a lot of time. I mean, I've gotten way better, better at editing since then. Like, much, much better. Like, this was back when I was still a noob. But um, I did spend a lot of time making those things. Only a lot of time because I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, she's leaving? Oh, no, she's not leaving. Wait, where are they? Where's Alex? He's not fighting her. Oh, he's up top. Ready for a Warnock. Do you want to get the Warnock? Yeah. Hold on, MZ. Damn, dude. Well, that sucks. She keeps... Why is she doing that so much? Weird. MZ, I'll let you get that. Thank you. Legend. Cheers me, dear. Oh, what the hell? Ah, oh, that sucks. No, 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 no. Missed. Now oh, we can capture her anyway. This must be the only game where every streamer knows each other. Well, it's because it's a pretty tight-knit community, mate. It's, um... There's not many of us that stream this game outside of, like, when it's popular. So, for those of us that stick with it, we end up meeting each other. Um, it's a, it's a small community, honestly. Like, the actual people that stick with Monster Hunter is very small. There's a lot of big streamers that stream this game, but... They don't really stick around. You know? Asmongold's a good example, like, it was great that he streamed it and, and gave it some coverage and some a bit of a boost in popularity, but he ain't gonna stick around, like, he'll probably come back to Wilds, obviously, but he's not gonna, like, farm the end game or experience all the fights or beat Fatalis, or at least it doesn't look like he's gonna do that. 5,000 hours played, you have no um, plans on leaving the community. Yeah, I think I've got, like, we worked it out the other day, we added up my guild card hours, and I'm probably... I'm, I'm well over 20,000 hours into the series at this point. But I have been playing for the better part of 20 years. What we, we're we're going to be, I think we're going to be 18 years 
18 years I've been playing next year. Or like this year. Something like that. A long time. So I, I, I've spent more of my life playing Monster Hunter than not playing Monster Hunter at this point. Is there a good way to farm gold crowns other than an event quest? Uh, no, the event quests are the best way. Unless you're doing... If you can't get it in the event quest, level up your Guiding Lands regions to level 7 and summon in the monster that you need there. That's like the next best way to do it. Right, what do you need Black Diablos for? I thought you said you needed Guiding Lands, mate. I did tell you. You've got to go to the Guiding Lands. Alex. You've got to go to the Guiding Lands. You've got to level up your Wild Spire Waste. That's why I was so confused as to why you were fighting it there. Also, dude, you're running a Dragon Longsword. You want to run an... Have you got Ice Longsword? Have you got the Frost... You remember when you asked me for a build and I showed you the Frostfang Barry off Longsword? Have you got that yet? If not, let's get you the Frostfang Barry off because that's good against Diablos. So then you can kill two birds with one stone. You'll get a nice little buff. Come join me. Uh, can I get two people to help with Frostfang for Alex? Let's get you this longsword, mate. Because this will this will help you kill that a lot faster than 26 minutes. Um, what shall I play? Shall I, play? I haven't played any Charge Blade today. Yeah, Alex, come. Come join me, mate. I'll give you a hand. Let's get it done. Yeah, no. Nah, at this point, I feel like I'm a... I wouldn't maybe go as far as to say as a staple in the community. But most people... Most people know about Twas by Design, I feel like. I think, I think we're kind of getting to the point where more members of the community, like creators and stuff, know who, who don't know. Who wouldn't? Oh, no, a lot of people don't know. No, we're still small, dude. We're only... I'm only like 9,000 people, which in the grand scheme of things is... It's not very much. I think probably when we get to like 100,000, maybe 200,000. Um, I think at that point, it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably more more people do. Um, but we're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. For Monster Hunter, though, you think that's definitely well known. Maybe... Maybe it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell because they're at the, you know, everyone kind of knows what they know. I think maybe if you're streaming, if you're on the stream, then yeah, possibly. Well, um, I get that it depends on what you define as well known. Yeah, like well known for me is like Team Darkseid or Arix, who, who doesn't, he's not part of the team anymore, or like uh, Rage Gaming, uh, you know, them lot. They're like synonymous, you know, people that like, oh yeah, that's Monster Hunter. Um, uh, we, we stick with it though, we stick with it, we're always, you know, we, we're always making Monster Hunter content. We're always showing things off and discovering new things ourselves, even, even to this day. Small, small cross fang. This might actually be small gold crown. Who's got second wall not? Thank you, MZ. Legend. Secondo! <laughs> Thank you. You were hunting for the charm because uh, Laura was telling me a lot about the charm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you've you got to do Guiding Lands, mate. You can't... You can't get it from that quest. Literally impossible. No, come on. Give it a rest. You have to get a level 5 Wild Spire region, or level 6. 5 is a chance, 6 is guaranteed, Tempered Black Diablos. You can't get it from that quest that you're doing. Complete waste of time. Can't get it. 
Yeah, the head. Well, it's a waste of time if you're trying to get the uh, the charm, I should say. Hunting's never a waste of time. You gain experience, and you're going to need that experience anyway to uh, beat Tempered Black Diablos because it's harder than the thing you want. Why is it going over there? The hell was that? Someone's got to do the next trap. Sorry. Oh, God. My bad. Next trap for Cap. He should be done. GG, well played. Nice. You were hunting for the... Uh, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. That's the smallest frost fang you've seen in a minute. Dude, he's tiny. Absolutely tiny. Sorry, sorry, the owner, my bad. No, that's on me. I didn't I didn't see you through his bloody head. And then by the time I upswing, it was already too late. I figured I could get away with it. You know, higher DPS and all that. <laughs> this wasn't a hunt, it was a slaughter. <laughs> that's usually how it goes around here. Oh, wait, I caught both of you. <laughs> okay. Maybe I shouldn't be playing uh, Charge Blade today. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry, guys. I'm an idiot. That's my fault. Uh, again. 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 Same again, guys. Just send it. Get it done quick. Sorry, Matt. Sorry, dude. Sorry. I'll, uh, who's got light weapons? Someone make me some pods and that way I can do my circle circle combo. Rather than fire a blight moss at his head and like get no extra damage. If I get some piercing pods, that'll be pretty good. Come again, Alex. Let's go. Uh, wait, major disrespect? Do you need this? Do you also need Frostfang? Oh, Major, if you could hop out for a second. We're actually helping... Uh, we are helping Alex, because he needs an ice longsword going forward. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Do you need help with anything? I don't think you do, do you? MR400? It's always worth asking. Maybe you need a Fatalis or something. I don't know. Probably here to help rather than need the help. Surprising because yesterday there was a lot of people needing help. Today is only like one or one person. I think actually we've got a couple of people. I think one person's like watching cutscene though, aren't they? Starting at MR, they're doing a expedition. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Knock number two, maybe. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hunting Horn's really got to get its buffs up, though. Should be, uh... Sam, I got, like, buff myself, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the pods. Thank you. I need those. There's no one on the head here. Oh, no, I meant to do a uh, AED there. Again? Really? Dude, you're being a... He's being an arsehole, chat. I don't even get out. I... Guys, we have no weak spots on anything here. He got me again. Guys, we need weak spots on arms. Okay. Put some weak spots on.
Always get weak spots on the wings on this fight, guys. You need to break them to get knockdowns, and you do next to no damage, as you can probably see if you don't put the weak spot on. This is ridiculous. I put the tramp down to try and lure him in so we could actually do some bloody damage, and... Got in it eventually. Took his sweet time though, chat. What am I what am I doing? What the hell am I doing? I pressed triangle there, but I was like sheep for some reason. Trolling. Not a dude! How many times do you want to do that? <laughs> A lot of ice moves. A lot of those ice traps. Yeah, flinch into oblivion here. He's ready for a wall knock or capture. Thank you, Longsaw. Too late. Just go for the capture, guys. He's done. That was uh, quite a bit worse than the last quest. Yeah, guys, guys, if he starts running around all over the place, just trap him. Just hold him in place because he, he was literally like, I put the trap down here and he was running around over there for like a good 30, 40 seconds. We were, none of us were doing anything. Mono! Thank you for the 100 bits. Much appreciated. Cheers, me dear. How you doing? Died you died more than 30, 30 times, times today. today. Lords, Lords of the Fallen. Of the fallen. Feels, Feels good. good. Nice. I, I planned on playing Lords of the Fallen over Christmas, but I never did. I don't know when I'm going to play it. You can't play songs and do free weak spots. I know. I can't, but I'll, I'll play a different weapon. I'll play something else if we need to go again. I'll bring uh, Switch Axe. Yeah. Because, I mean, we've got Longsword, but I don't think he has Shaver, so... Yeah. Too long for him to make weak spots. You had did not weak spot deck on my light bow gun. Oh, that makes sense. This thing cancels your songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll play something else. Charge Blade's not the best for... It's, it's really slow. Doesn't do much damage for weak spots, and... Uh, uh, yeah, I've got to buff it. At least with Switch Axe, if I get on, I can, uh, once I make a weak spot, I can do a zero sum. Let's go with, uh, this. It's fine. Right, again. Raging Branky assignment, a special, a special assignment is up. Uh, I can't join it, mate. I want to help. Uh, Carly, could you hop out and let me join that one? With Andrew and Kate? No, 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 no. Dude, Andrew, I haven't had a quest in with you today. I've done some hunts with Carly. They won't mind. Is that all right? I'm just going to give him a hand with this quickly. We've got another assignment. I know, but I promised X's I would help with his uh, Raging Bracky. Also, X's, do you have the Frostfang Barry off Longsword? It's much better here than the Radiant Flow. Like, because he's weak to ice, not dragon. Oh, that one's raw, isn't it? Carly, uh, repost it, X's. I'll come join you, mate. Repost it. They, they, they went AFK, I think, before as well. Someone removed them from the lobby. They don't respond to me chatting. You do not have that sword? We should probably get you the... Let's get you the Frostfang Longsword before we go. I mean, it's good. it will make a difference to your damage on the hunt. 
Here, come join me for a Frostfang, seeing as we're doing Frostfang anyway. Uh, yeah, go go make that longsword as well, uh, thingy. Whoever I was helping, I can't remember who I was helping before this now. Yeah, here, come join this. You only need two tickets from this guy. You get, you're guaranteed one ticket. If you get lucky, you'll be able to make it after a single quest. Let's go. You're a little confused. You're the first to join. Why are you the first to go? Um, because I just want to get it done with... I've, I've Andrew and uh, Kate know my strat for that one. Just to get them through it quickly. Because we potentially have to farm it quite a lot. Yeah. I've done no hunts with Andrew today. And, uh... Uh, Kate's on heavy bow gun for DPS on the tail. So it's by design. Can you join after this hunt? Uh, what, you need more Frostfang? Have you made the longsword? Did you, did you get the longsword together? You can't find it in the armory. You go to Forge Weapon and you find Eldelaria's Edge. It will be there because you've just done, what was it, two, three? So, just have a look again. It's there, I promise you. Oh, everyone crash landed elsewhere. Yeah, it, it will be there, 100%. Let's go. I'm already in fighting, guys. Spots on. Second one up. Two, one. Oh, he actually got me. Three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice one, Blake. Jeep or blade. Who's excited for Dragon's Dogma 2? Me. Yeah, relatively. I'm a little bit nervous because obviously it's been a long time since Dragon's Dogma. I'm hoping that, you know, they deliver. There's big expectations for this game. Um, It looks great though. The trailers make it look fantastic. Obviously, I'd love it to be co-op. I'm a co-op player, but it is what it is. Um, I still like the first Dragon's Dogma without Cop, but I always said if, the, if I could play this with my friends, it would be the best action RPG ever made. Stand by that. I stand by it. I still feel like Dragon's Dogma 1 would have been. It was like it would be up there. I'm surprised no one ever modded 
Dragon's Dogma 1 to have a co-op mod. Uh, that would have been, like, uh, who remembers when they did, do you remember, what was that game? The one where you had, like, the little, the little wingsuit, it was a third person action game, and it was a single player, like, open world game, made by Square Enix, or published by Square Enix. Someone modded it to be multiplayer. That was incredible. You need more friends for pawns? We're gonna we're gonna get something organized on the Discord so you guys it's just cause two, that's it. Do you remember when they modded that to make it like a hundred player online? I'm surprised no one ever did that for Dragon's Dogma 1, like mod it so you could play four player co-op. That would have been amazing. Elden Ring? Someone modded Elden Ring to make the co-op even better. Elden Ring is probably the best, like single player, if you will, co-op RPG. Just because the the like the going through it and it's exploring, adventuring. But when it comes to like overall co-op, you can't beat Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter's number one. Um You wonder how the stats is. Yeah, so do I. I don't know how the leveling up's gonna be. Do we need another one? We go again real quick. I mean we can get this done super fast. Two minutes. Two minute adventure, in and out. Shorten the tickets. Nice. We go again. Oh, booster. Yeah. We do have the new Elden Ring DLC later in the year as well. Um, I do need to get back into that. I'll probably get back into Elden Ring before the DLC drops. Just to play some PvP. Maybe, like, reacquaint myself with the game. I need to also respect my character back to how it was. Because I've respect my character a lot for PvP. Two days? I know, mate. I know. Well, I'm hoping... I've got I've gotten through to Capcom, Uncle Bella. So I'm hoping maybe a surprise this Thursday. We'll have to wait and see. Um, nothing confirmed yet, but they did say, like, you know... Should be able to sort me out for my anniversary stream, which is fantastic. Eight years Dragon's Dogma stream, mate. 24 hour. Thursday, Friday. This Thursday, Friday. It's going to be a big one. Eula Horny, thank you for the follow. Welcome. It's good to have you with us. Cheers, be dear. You're pretty sure that they changed the level up stat uh, growth. Yeah, I think so as well. I'm hoping that in Dragon's Dogma, we can now just kind of level up all the different skills. Oh, I love your profile pic, by the way. That's nice. When am I starting on Thursday? Set normal time. So I'll be 7 p.m. on Thursday to 7 p.m. on Friday, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be going the the whole distance, gaming the whole time. I'll probably eat. I'll eat dinner and uh, or, or breakfast, lunch on the next day on stream. I'll order food in. Try not to have a repeat of the old uh, Wendy's fiasco. Do you remember that when I didn't eat dinner and I was really hungry? Oh my goodness! And we ordered that bloody burger, <laughs> burger with the uh, lettuce. Dude, did everyone crash land again? Dude, everyone keeps uh, crash landing. Straight in there. No messing around. Slide it, he slid along the wall. That's ridiculous, that is. Can't get through.
Oh, I didn't have... Dude, why couldn't I sidestep there? It wouldn't let me. I keep missing my sidesteps. Someone want to trap him? Maybe a bit. G, or Blade. Nice. Tony Hawk Barry off. I launched him into the wall and his head went. Bruh. He like dragged it along the wall. You had hella lag there? Yeah, I think you have a bad connection to me and I have a bad connection to you. Because I noticed that you take a long time to load into my quests. What's your internet speed? I got gig up, gig down. Did anyone else drag their hands along the wall as a kid? Or was that just me? Nah. I think my parents got that habit out of me if I had it. Because they were very like, oh no, don't get germs. Don't touch that germs. Nah, don't do that, germs. You'll get germs, you know. Has anyone else checked out the new show, Shogun, mate? I was literally just talking about it earlier and no one even said anything. Like, bloody crickets in the room, Fryman. I was like, guys, Shogun's so good. Oh, man, I love Shogun. What a show. I'm just like... Alright, excuse me for being excited about some TV for once. Most of the TV these days is absolute dross. But, Shogun. Tasty. It's good. You've not watched the new episode? No spoilers? Nah, I won't talk about it. Karu, the new world hunter. Welcome. It's good to have you with us. Yeah, I'm up to date. I'm up to date. I watched yesterday's episode. Or today's episode, rather. Watch Kamui Ninja. I feel like I've seen that as well. I feel like I have seen that. Right, are we good? You need Zitsi Yaku materials. Why? What for? Zitsi Yaku? What? What you talking about? You yeah, haven't gotten around to watching Shogun. You're caught up on solo leveling too? Yeah. You haven't got to insomnia. Watch it. Watch it. There's that is my like that is my whenever that comes on that is above everything else. Nothing else takes priority over Shogun. Like not even One Piece. Shogun. If One Piece Shogun at the moment Shogun. That's how good Shogun is. It's up there. One Piece comes second <laughs> whilst Shogun's on. It's great. It's that good. I'm loving it. Something new, isn't it? What's next? What do we need? Is it is it time for Raging Bracky? It's the prerequisite for Frostfang Longsword, my brother. My brother in Christ. <laughs> look. God damn it. Look, 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 look. Weapons. Longsword. We get there eventually. Why did I go this way? <laughs> there it is. Just make it. Just make it straight up. You don't have to craft anything. Don't, don't worry about what you just make it. All the stuff there you get from Frostfang Barioff. The suspense. <laughs> there you go. Don't worry. Don't don't make the prerequisites. It's it's just so long winded. 
What does Affinity do? Mate, you know what Affinity does. Don't pull my leg. Don't pull on my Johnson. You know what Affinity does. Do you actually not know what Affinity is? Affinity is your percentage chance to crit. It's your percentage chance to crit. So if you have 100%, you are always critting because you have a 100% chance to crit. <laughs> That's what affinity is. You guys, you guys like <laughs> It's your chance to crit. So let's say you put nothing into this build but the 15%. You got roughly a 1 in 9, roughly a 1 in 9 chance of hitting a crit. But obviously you want to you want to get more than that. Yeah. <laughs> you were not I was in fact not Johnson pulling. Fair enough. I just had to make sure. But you think you've been here for years, mate. I thought I, I thought you would have known what uh, affinity was by now. Fair enough. How do you move forward? What does attack do? Well, it boosts your raw attack value. Best Thunder Swags, excluding the Kyar. Uh, probably Rajang, Furious Rajang. Yeah. Angel Storm, yo, thank you for the follow. It's good to have you with us. Mate, I'm here, but I barely play Monster Hunter. That's fair enough. Well, now you know. It's the most important thing to understand with Monster Hunter is Crit. Because Crit has been ridiculously strong now since... God. I mean, it was strong in second gen, but it was harder to get in second gen. So, oftentimes you just do attack up large with like earplugs or something, but it's always been good. You couldn't really get 100% until 2G with the Naga Cougar weapons. You're excited to have Cool Troth back. When does that come back? Thursday. Yeah, doing good, Angel. How are you doing? Can I get help for Vow, Zach? Yes, you can. I'm just helping someone. Did you make your thingy? Is that your assigned Raging Bracky? Is that what we're doing now? A nasty flesh wound. Fade to black. All right. It's time. Let's get this done and then I'll help with the Valhazak. And then Carly, do you want to help with the Valhazak after this? Because I know Carly wants to join one. Andrew, did you want to do the Raging Bracky? I know you wanted to do it earlier, but I'm, I don't know if you're still up for it. But you're more than welcome to hop in if you, if you want. Get a couple of hunts in. Um, new Dragon Swatch. You might as well come now because... Uh, Where's the fatty? I just want this one. There we go. Once I'm playing Dragon's Dogma, I don't know how long I'm going to be playing that game for. I don't know. So, And there's no multiplayer, so we can't play together. So we'll make the most of this week whilst we can. Obviously, I'll be back on Monster Hunter the second I'm done with Dragon's Dogma. There's a part of me that's nervous. If I end up liking it too much, I'm not going to want to come back to play Monster Hunter. So... It's weird to be nervous of how excited you're going to be to play a game. Because I've got a way, obviously, I've got to be like, well, I still want to play Monster Hunter. Which Switch Axe is that? Fatalis. Yeah, I'm just using the uh, Nergagante layered. Or the Ruin of Nergagante. You unlock it at MR100. You think you asked before you wandered off to make a copy, but you're hoping for crossplay in Wilds, though. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I'm guaranteed. Capcom have put crossplay now in um, every game they've launched so far this year. And cross functionality. Yeah, there was a rumor that even Dragon's Dog was going to have cross pawn summoning. I don't know if that's true or not, but and now they've got the Capcom ID, there is absolutely no reason why they can't do it. So I am fully confident in them to put it in. I don't know, but if you said twas, here's a thousand dollars, yes or no, or ten x, depending on what you vote on, I'm putting a thousand dollars on yes. Because I'm not a gambling man. It's not a gamble. I think it's a guarantee. All chips down. I would be immensely surprised if it doesn't come to fruition. Immensely. Like, when I say immensely surprised, I mean my face. Like that. You'll take that bet. <laughs> You'll lose that bet.
five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Smash him. Oh, oh that was close. Too close. Nice, good head break. Wall blade. Five. Four, three, two, one. Should be good. Trap check him just in case, but I think he's good. What's going on? It's going good. Big pop. How you doing, mate? Hope you're having yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. There we go, GG. Well played, guys. Nice. I don't even need to sharpen here. I mean, I will just in case, but... Refresh that for heavy bow gun. Four, three, two, one. Oh, hello. You got me. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Good stuff. Good break. GG, well played. Kind of miss playing with your mates as they got the PlayStation and you're on Xbox. There's a very simple solution. Next console cycle, you all make sure that you buy the same car PC. All right? There you go. Easy. Start saving. Get PC. The reasons to have console are getting slimmer and slimmer as the years go on. Even Sony are putting their exclusives on PC now. So it's like you don't even need it for that. You don't have to pay to play online. Games are cheaper. Bigger sales. The communities are usually stronger, especially when it comes to streaming communities. Because most people stream from PC. It's the place to go, guys. Yes, you have to pay more money up front. I understand it is expensive. You do have to save up. It might take you a year or two to save up the money. But if you, you know, get yourself a little savings account, open up an account with your bank. A lot of these savings accounts give you money just for opening them up. So they'll pop a hundred, especially if you're in the UK, you can open them up, you can get 150 quid in a lot of these accounts. If you look up, uh, what's the guy's name? Andrew something. He gives you all the tips and tricks on what accounts to open up with what banks. He's a BBC presenter. And... Uh, where you can make money just for opening an account with a with a bank. So you can like literally get... Up. There's not many ways to get free money in this day and age, but there are ways. <laughs> Shame the hardware manufacturers are so greedy. But here's what you do, guys. Components from last generation, the 20 series, are better than what you're using on the PS5 and the Xbox. If you've got a 2070 or a 2080, 2080 Ti, 2090... That's that's way more processing power than what you have on a PS5. So you're going to be able to run your games at higher frame rates, better fidelity. So what you do is you get the last generation cycle. Do you want to know why? Because there are hundreds of thousands of people that upgrade every cycle. And they sell their stuff. They'll sell it. So obviously you find someone you trust. Don't buy it from like a crypto mining bloody resale site or some nonsense like that. But if you know... you, you 
chances are you probably know somebody who's upgrading their PC. Just ask them. Be like, yo, when you upgrade, can I buy your old components? They'll probably be more than happy to sell it to you and you might even get a good price. If you don't know anyone like that, again, there's lots of sites that you can look up um, where people do do it. Don't forget the 30 series of NVIDIA is about exact. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Those 30 series, once the 40 series comes out, the 30 series cards are going to... I mean, sorry, the 40, when the 50 series comes out, the 30 series will drop even more. I'm running a 30 series card. And it runs... I mean, it is the 3090, admittedly, but the 3090 is going to come down in price. It's going to come down even more. But you don't need a 3090. Dude, the 3080, the 3070, they're incredible. These are powerful cards. There's barely any difference between the 4070 and the 3070. Um... And the 3070 is substantially cheaper. Same with the 3060. Can I join you, please? What have you got posted, mate? Is this the Val Hazank? Val Hazank? You got it posted? Oh, ready to strike. That's not you. Who? Oh, this one. High rank. Right, okay. Why are you farming high rank Val Hazank? Uh, get a fire charge blade for this one. Fire charge blade. Your master rank. I guess I can bring master rank gear then. Yeah, why, why are you fighting this? What do you need? Fangs? Claws? Are you trying to make the acid glavinous weapon? Acid glav charge blade, I'm guessing. Is that what you want? I think you need Valhazak stuff to make that, don't you? Are my assumptions correct? Uh, we don't need a helper for this. Yeah, I mean, th 30 series, guys. The 30 series, even the 3060 is more powerful than the PS5, substantially. So, again, like, once the new PS5 comes out, I expect it will be, like, not as good as the new PS5. You would think. But, um, we'll have to wait and see. Angel's probably stuck in ads. I'll do the little, uh, the universal sign of I am ready to go. I'll ping them. There we go. Alright, let's go. Engage. Number two. Triangle button. Start. Yes. Let's go. I'll have a look at their gear after this. We'll help them. Their MR12, so... Yeah. Chat, chat, take a look at their gear for me. And let's start... You know what investigations at what stage of the game they need to farm. Um, so, if you've got any good investigations. I'm guessing they're at, they're at 12, so... Probably Folger Anjanef. They're on Charge Blade. I don't know if they can get Damascus yet. I don't think you can, can you? Uh, wait here, Angel. We're going to lure it over here. Stick with me. Pop some bombs down as well. Might as well. What's taking this bloody time, isn't it? Hurry up, Val. Has that been got all day? Yeah. Is he always this slow? Yeah, we get them full grand enough beta helmet, alpha waist. And then Damascus top, I think, for charge blade. I don't know what weapon. What weapon are they using? Get them the palace guard one, because that's much better than whatever they got there. Try and pull it. One second. Come here. 
Stop ignoring me, you bastard. Come here. Now I've got no bloody pods to launch it down with. Oh, give it a rest, you... Why did you stop there? Right, well. That'll do. One. You're really enjoying Rise. These weapons feel uh, different but similar. They got all the base combos from World. Yeah. All the base combos, but then they just add more combat. There's a lot more combo variety. There's a lot more build variety at Endgame as well. It's the best thing about Sunbreak. The best thing is the build variety. The worst thing is uh, the, the RNG needed to access the build variety, if that makes sense. Like, to be able to make the vast variety of builds, you've got to be able to get, like, some stupidly good RNG when you're rolling for augments. Damn, that's fast. Yeah, it's easy. It's high rank, mate. High rank. Quick Vow. He's only got, like, what? 9,000 health? If that, 10,000 at two player? Not much. Don't even think he's got that much. 7,000. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you need it for? What was it? What was it for? Out of interest. Um, let's have a look at your build. Let's see where you're at. All right. Let's, let's get you some upgrades, mate. Let's get you some... There are some better bits of gear we can get for you. Do you have your next assigned quest for Folger Anjanath? Is it Folger Anjanath next? If you've got that, post it up because there's two pieces of armor from him that are going to be brilliant. And then we'll, uh, we'll work on the other bits. What we saying? Angel, you there? You with me? Oh, they're not in the lobby. Where's Angel? Where you at, mate? Where are you at? Well, good news is they got some decent... Uh, at least they got good charm. That's good. Got some decent decorations and stuff. Not bad, not bad. Need some help? Yeah, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you, Angel. Do you want to you wanna post your next assigned quest? I'll bring uh, level appropriate gear. We'll do your um, Folger Anjanath. Guys, get your level MR12 stuff out, guys. MR12. Do I have an MR12 charge blade that I can use? I'll try and like match him. I've got an MR1. I'll try making an MR12 one quickly. Let me... Uh... Oh, we can help you get the Palace Guard charge blade as well. That's really bloody good. 
Yeah, maybe we should, uh, we'll do that afterwards. Let's get your assign done. And then we'll get you a, a charge blade upgrade. Uh, no, 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 no. Palace guard. Excellent. Apparently I've already got this. One second. Apparently I've got it, chat. Let's see, where is it? The game says I have the palace guard. There it is. Got it. I do have it. Yes. The game is, in fact, not lying. Cool. Alright, I need one more level of crit boost in my build. One second, I'm coming. Uh, wait. What? What, what is Angel Storm posting? That's your next... Wait, that's not your assigned? No, 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 no. Dude, 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 dude. Post your next assigned, mate. I'm going to help you get an upgrade. And then we can go back and do some Val. But I, I, I've got limited time because it's getting late for me. So let me help you get some gear. And then obviously every, we can, oh, you'll be better off fighting the Val Hazak then. You'll be able to do it really quickly. But if you, yeah, if you post up that uh, Folger Anjanaf, I'll come give you a hand. Because uh, that Folger Anjanaf is going to be good. There's some good uh, upgrades for you from that monster. Uh, in the meantime, let me get a... Need a crit boost in. Have to par that off. Get crit boost. Crit boost evasion. Yeah, that's fine. That'll do. Angel, Angel, dude, post your post your full grand enough. Your next quest, because you're well beyond high rank now. Let's uh, let's get you some better gear, mate. Let's get you some upgrades. And I can help you do... Um, get your charge blade upgrade. See the charge blade that I've got? I'm going to help you get this one. But yeah, if you post uh, Folger Anjanaf... You because you're basically at Folger. I can help you, uh, I can help you get that then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you got the uh, stream up? You post the quest? Yes, dude. Yeah, Folger Anjanaf. Your next assigned quest, mate. Time's ticking. <laughs> I, I, it's getting late for me. So if, if we get that done, then I can help you with that and help you get some build upgrades. Yeah. Because high rank Val has acts easy. If you can get that done in a couple of seconds. You don't need my help to do that. That's an easy quest. You've got master rank gear. Let's let's help you with your, uh, your assigns. I think, is there a language barrier here? Am I speaking? No. Okay, alright. I'm going to go do something else for a minute. I'm sure if they understand. I know. It's an English-speaking stream, though, guys. If you can't speak English, um, I can't help very well, effectively. Otherwise, I'm just slowing down the, the stream. Apologies, dude. Right, let's go. Let's go do something else. Who else needs help? Who was I helping before? Did you guys get your... Anyone need more Raging Bracky? Exes, do you want me to post you a Raging, dude? I want to help them, but... Uh... You were doing optionals? Who's that? Karu. Hi. Right, I'm going to post Raging Bracky. If everyone wants to join. No, that's fine. That's fine. It's okay, but I can't really help someone who, who can't understand me. It's a bit difficult. Um, so I'm going to help with uh, the Raging Bracky. Right. Who's coming for raging? What shall I play? Uh, I will play some sword and shield.
You need two immortal reactors. You do? Okay, cool. Uh, Carly, you've got claggers for me, yeah? You can do claggers. Cheeky clagger. Guys, I hate to hurry you, but it is getting late for me. I can't stay up late because I've got my 24-hour stream at the end of the week. So if you would kindly ready up. <laughs> i got, I got to get this on because I know there's quite a few people that need help. I've been, sat, I've been doing nothing for 15 minutes now waiting for the other person. Did you get early access to Dragon's Dogma 2? Uh, possibly. I'm just waiting to hear back tomorrow. I'll, I'll let you guys will know on Thursday. Hopefully though, yeah. I hope so. Going to be doing a part of the... I'm going to be playing it for 24 hours if I get it. We've got Carly and Carly. I know, I know, I know. I know. But not not new Carly. Uh, Carly who's Scuba Steve. You're on claggers. Because you, yeah. It's an easy quest, but you can do it quickly, actually. No, no, dude, I was, I was, I'm limited on time, so I was going to help you with your uh, assigned quest. So we can get you some gear upgrades. Because you, you're literally at the point where you can get a gear upgrade. I was going to give you a hand with that quickly, because, um. I've got to go in a bit. You know, like, I haven't got that much longer. Uh, and I'm I'm not going to be playing this game for much longer because I've got uh, I got Dragon's Dogma 2. so I'm trying to help you like with something that you actually need help with as opposed to something that uh, you can just do solo when I get you a gear upgrade. You can get that done very very easily. Um, but there's some challenging quests coming up. Oh yeah, Carly. Okay, Carly's got switch anks, so they're good. They can do those baggers. You might want to put a weak spot on the arms, though, Carly. There you go. There's Clagger number one. Car Carly, you missed it. I need you to get those. You wanted to join. You gotta. You gotta help. You gotta play the role in the team. If you want to be a helper, you want to help people. You gotta help. This isn't solo play. All right, there's number two. Grab that one. Thank you. Thank you. That's better. Cheers, me dear. I'll heal you up, don't worry. There's Clagger number three. Keep going, Carly, keep going. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Legend. That's better. It's nice to not be on Clagger for once. There's another Clagger. Go, 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 go. Grab, 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 grab. Excellent. Well played. Thank you very much. Cheers, me dear. Oh, he's trying to leave already. Oh, oh uh, trap checking. One second, trap checking. Oh, he's done. Never mind, he's good. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, one. Cheeky sharpen. That's it, Carly. You know the drill. Grab him. Legend. Well played, well played. Thank you. And again, and again, and again. Cake's getting good damage off. Well played, Carly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They are doing the role of this is what I put. This is how I play when I'm on uh, switch axe. GG. Well played. Nicely done. Good teamwork. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. 
You didn't realize, but Rise Toby has uh, a ranged thunder attack. Dude, Rise Toby's a lot stronger as well. He's actually a mid-game monster as opposed to an early-game monster. Nice. GG. That might have been your fastest. Dude, I told you, man. Swax is good at the claggers. Obviously, what you want to do for future reference, get your sword mode up at the start, and it's going to be quick. When you get to the second area, the first thing you do is when he enrages, clutch on, jump off, charge your sword again. So make sure you save your temporal mantle. That way you charge your sword, and then when you're getting the claggers in the last area, you can do zero-sum discharges as well. That's how you maintain your damage whilst getting the claggers. That's also coincidentally why Switch X is very good for claggers on this quest. But the claggers were good. Well played. Oh, you're able to let me get my perfect rush off. You let Kate get their um, zero sums off. GG. I mean, let you. Sorry, you let yourself get your zero sums. You let Kate get their uh, heavy bow gun off. Well played. But that's all All it takes is knowing your roles in the team, and it makes a big difference. You can blitz Raging Bracky. That was also very good RNG. He moved quickly between the areas, and we got a quick start in area two. That was your last quest. Thank you for the hunts. Yo, take care, Kate. Thank you for the hunts. Giselle, thank you for the follow. Welcome. It's good to have you with us. You cannot get the Challenger Charm 4 for the life of me. You need uh, Black Diablos, mate. You gotta do Black Diablos in the Guiding Lands, tempered. You gotta get level five Wild Spire. Oh, oh, Deco. Right. That is from the best way to get it. Do you know what it is? It's the Melda. Melda is the best way to get it. Trade in Decos, junk Decos at the Melda. That's how I got two of mine. Very early on. So yeah, trading your junk, it's not guaranteed. Obviously, you've still got not the best. The Astral Tickets, Astral Tickets are okay, yeah. You can meld from Astrals, you can get it from Astrals. Ag Agitator is one of the ones you can get. That's good, but also just trading in junk. Doing the, the melds, I forget what they're called, but... Right, Angel Storm, what we got? Angel, can we post your... Do you want to get your um, assigned quest up? Get your assigned. And I'll give you a hand. Are you doing a keto? Welcome. Hope you're having yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. You need the fangs. I know I know you need the fangs. But let's let's get you a weapon upgrade. Or a, or armor upgrade. We can do uh, do your Folger and Because you've got no weakness exploit. So it'll give you that 50% crit rate. I can give you a hand. I've got, because whilst I'm here, I've got the uh, investigations for it. Um, you know, with like gold tickets and that. Val Hazak is this high rank. It's fine. Like, you, you're not going to have trouble doing that. I'm, I, I'm better suited helping you with the master rank stuff, given that you're MR12. All right, let's see. In the meantime, what have we got? Day of Ruin, Evening Star, Greatest Jagras. I'll go help with this quickly. If you're a Thunder build for Dual Blades early, do I need Attack Boost or Thunder Boost? Uh, Thunder. Element element over Attack, 100%, yeah. Priority. Ele uh, so, Elem up until end game is going to be your, like, crit. And then crit element slash true crit element. Or Safi Jeeva bonus. Then your element. So, always try and get... If you're high rank, level 3 element. Once you get to master rank, level 6 element, yeah? That's generally what you're aiming for. You still have a Discord, right? Twas, you got kicked about a year ago. You accidentally pressed the hacking link. And now it's safe. Have you got a new uh, Discord account? I can't let in accounts that have been banned. But uh, if you've got a, a new one... Oh, 
Where are they? Over here? You might get insta-kicked if it's... Because I know someone kept trying to join after they got banned and... Uh, well, not banned, but like kicked from the thing. They're trying to make the bracky arms twas. You think they're not clear on uh, what they're supposed to be doing? You don't need Valhazak fangs to make the raging the the Bra sorry bracky dios arms. You don't need them. What's oh, a raid? Who's that? Who's that? Yo, Dow, how you doing, Dow? Thank you for the raid, mate. How's things? Hope you have yourself a lovely jubbly day today. Dude, thank you for the raid, guys. Welcome in. He's dropping a load of decos up here for you, mate. I'm making him vomit a lot. Pick them all up. Dude, how was your stream, dude? Welcome in. How you doing, Waffles? How you doing, Dow? Guys, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm just helping Carly with a quick... Greatest Jagras. Five, four, three, two... One. Heal us both up here. Grab all those shinies. There you go. It's going to vomit up a lot now. Are you ready? Make sure you pick up the pile. Oh, wait. Don't tell me he's dropping them outside of the map. Oh, no. I think he's dropping them outside of the map, chat. Where'd he drop him? Did he drop him in the rock? Don't tell me he dropped him in the bloody rock. He did! No! Oh, they're over here. Over here. On me, Carly. On me. On me, Carly. Look, look here. You can reach him from here. Carly, Carly. Carly, on me. Carly. On, for God's sake. On me. No. Carly. Carly. The decorations. The whole reason you're doing it. Carly. Kalima! <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get him next time. You try to help people. Why is no one listening today? <laughs> Be advised, your teammate got their ass kicked. Oh, Carly over here. <laughs> Carly. <laughs> the decos. They're here in the huh? rock. They're, they're in the rock. You can reach them from the rock. <laughs> okay. Oh, unless they've disappeared. On me, on me. I think they're coming back. I'll capture Jagras. Here, look on on here. Stand here. He vomited them all up. They're in the they're in the rock. Like here. They're like if you stand here, you should be able to pick them up. Like somewhere there, he vomited them into the into the rock. No, they came back. They came back. You gotta like stand on that bottom bit. You can reach them just about. Wait, where's he gone? Oh, is he in his cave? Uh, you're keeping those claggers flowing, mate. Legend. How are the hunts? Well, <laughs> I'm having trouble getting people to listen to me today. <laughs> I'm trying to help, but. I'm getting ignored a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. They probably despawned. Yeah, probably. Too late. Maybe a case of people not having the stream open or muted. Guy, don't, don't, uh, <laughs> don't, don't mute the stream, especially if I, if I'm coming to help you, because I can't, uh, I can't give you advice, tips, or point out things or anything, and then you end up missing. You got all of it? No, it disappeared. It disappeared. You didn't get it. 
there was a huge pile of decos that went into the rock. You couldn't see them. You know when I knocked him over? Like, he vomited them all up, but they glitched out of the map into the rocks. You had to go stat run into the rock to pick them up, but by the time you came back, they were all gone. Whenever you do a lot of damage to him and you make him vomit, he drops like a mountain of decorations. Anywho, let's see what's next. Did Thingy finally post up their... Um... Did they post up their assigned quest? What happened to the dude that I was going to help get the Folger Anginath? Angel left the session. You think they don't speak English very well? Yeah, no, I can't. I, there's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. Um, I wanted to. I was trying to help them, guys, but they just they didn't understand or didn't want to. I don't know what it was. Um, but I don't have time to be. I mean, it, not that there's anything wrong with doing a Val Hazak, but like realistically, if you've got master rank gear, you don't need my help with high rank Val Hazak. The dude's got like a couple of thousand health if you solo him. He's gonna die in literally like a minute, as you as you saw already. Right, come then, Carly. Let's do let's do a quest. What do you want to do? A quiz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get you a quiz. Did we get a shout out for? We did get a shout out for Dow. Shouts to Dow, dude. Dow, thank you, thank you for the raid, mate. I appreciate it, legend, dude. I'm glad your hunts were going well. I'm glad the claggers are going strong. Uh, which William Shakespeare play is set in the city of Elsinore? In the city of Elsinore? Damn. I feel like I should know this one. Elsinore? Oh, it ain't the Merchant of Venice. That's not the Tempest. That's not, um... Romeo and Juliet, that's not uh, Macbeth. I don't think that's Hamlet, no. Oh my god, it is Hamlet. Dude, Hamlet was in, you were right, his. I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. Fair enough. Well played, his. Dude, I could not remember that. All right. Oh, wait. We're on thingy. Okay, guys. Level appropriate gear, guys. Level appropriate gear. Bring MR16 builds. I'll play some... Uh, I'll play some Charge Blade. We'll do a little bit of... Uh, I'll just set it up again. One second. Crit boost evasion. Guys, don't don't take like your bloody end game builds into this one. Let's let this is their first time fighting Volcana, so let them enjoy it. Bring like, you know some underpowered stuff. Or or at least at the level, if you're gonna come help. So Palace Guard weapons, guys. Palace Guard, if you're gonna come join it. And bring, you know, like MR1 to MR. 12 armor, stuff like that, you know, like Raphalos or whatever. Who's that? ZGZ5. Welcome. Hope you have yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. They were weirdly focused on getting Valve Fangs, supposedly for Bracky Arms, which makes... I, I know. I was trying to help them. I was trying to tell them, like, you don't need that. You don't need that for the Bracky Dios Arms. Um, and I was trying to help them get their Folger stuff. But they just didn't... They didn't want to... I, again, I can't... If they can't, if they don't post their assigned, I can't do the Folger Anjanaf. Um, I explained to them, guys, I sat there for a full 15 minutes explaining, collectively. I can't, I, I want to help, but man, like, if, if you ain't going to listen, uh, how can I help you? <laughs> I guess, I can't do it. Oh, wait, no, wait, oh, wait, 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 they got no camps. Yo, if you die and we kill it, you're going to lose all your loot. You're not going to get anything. 
You should have your camps at this stage of the game. Oh, wait, guys, get your camps. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, come back, Carly, when you watch the cutscene. It was very puzzling. Well, the thing was, they were speaking English, and they didn't say that they didn't understand English, so I, I don't know. We should, we should get you camps. My only concern is, yeah, if you die, you've got to go all the way from camp 5 to get back to 16. And if we kill it, you're going to get nothing. Quick question. You've been thinking of getting Monster Hunter World since it's been craving... You've been craving a grinding game. Is it worth it? Uh, after 6,000 hours of this game, I can honestly say that it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm joking. Yes, it's worth it. 100%. Exclamation mark Nexus, if you want to pick it up, it's on sale on my store for 67% off currently. Yeah, Andrew got into it a few weeks back. He's been loving it, haven't you, Andrew? Uh, Carly, come back. Come back. We'll get you your... Let's get you your camps. Let's get the camps, because otherwise... Uh, this could end up being rough. It'll only take a second. It's worth doing. Uh, now that you've watched the cutscene as well, yeah. Let's, uh, yeah, if you return, like, go, uh, return from quest. That way it will keep your, uh, the cutscene is being watched. And then we'll get the camps and then you can post it and we'll all, we'll all go in together. You're going to get it then? Yeah, dude, get it. Exclamation mark Nexus, mate. Chat, can we get a Nexus link? It's on sale on my store. Carly, if you come back, come back and, uh, we'll get you your camps. You should have your camps at this stage in the game, 100%. Especially for this map, because you've got a lot more quests to do on this map as well. Let's get those camps. Carly, come back. Come back, Carly. Let's, uh, let's get you those camps. Just uh, the start button, and then you go across. Return from quest. And then we'll we'll get the camp 15 and uh, thingy for you. That way, if you die, you'll be able to get back and get the loot. You should always get your camps, guys. Camps come first, before anything. The fact that you've gone through the whole game without getting them. Let's get you those camps. It'll only take a second. We just got to get... Um, what is it? Toby Kadachi parts and... Uh, something else. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> Azure Rathlos wing. Yeah, yeah, I'll post the quest. I'll post the quest we need. Uh, let's start with the Kadachi because it's super easy. We'll go get this real quick. Would you mind showing your Fatty Swank's main build? I don't have a main, dude. I've got them all tailored. Do you just want? What do you want? What do you want it for? What do you want to fight? Do you just want my Fatalis one? This one's good. This one's for Fatty. There you go. This page has Flinch Free and Coalescence. And those are the rest of the skills. Uh, top skill is Critical Eye. Seven. Let's quickly get you the um, the camps. Because I know it's your first time fighting Velkana. And obviously if you die, that's fine. But I'm just worried that if you die as we kill it or something, trust me, it happens a lot. Uh, you won't be able to get back in time to get your carbs. And I don't want that to happen because obviously you want to get your loot. Let's quickly do a Toby. We'll quickly do an Azure Raphalos. We need to break the wings on the Azure, guys. Wings on the Azure. Yeah, it's annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the camp spawns right outside. It's the, the other camp's like right outside Thingy's um, spawn point. Velkana's. So it's super easy. Where is he? I've, dropped, I've crash landed on him.
If there are any other camps that you don't have as well, guys, that goes for anybody. Uh, get them for every map. Should be your priority number one. In this game, in Rise, in Sunbreak, get your camps first. It's going to, you know, every single quest, it could save you one to two minutes. Even three minutes in extreme circumstances. Otherwise, I do another Warnock here. One off, could you get her? Oh no, he needs his pods. He's going to do it anyway. Thank you, dude. Take yeah, in a minute. Uh, Arachno, dude, thank you for the follow. Welcome, it's good to have you with us. Got him. There we go. Cheers, me dear. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for hitting that follow button. I appreciate it. Five, four, three, two, one. A bit too late on that one, Greg Sword. Maybe you got him. What? Ranking should be good. No, not good. Trap him, guys. Trap him. Oh, he's not ready. No, don't let him run. Don't let him run. Right, that should be your Toby components. Now we've got to do you an Azure Rathalos for the other camp. Do you get a Steam key? Yes, you do. If you buy it off of a thingy, it's Steam. Yeah. So all of my keys are provided by Capcom. I'm a Capcom creator. So you're not like getting a third party key or anything like that. It's like, no, straight from Capcom. And 10% uh, of every purchase, I think it is, goes to support the channel. And then I donate 5% of that to... Uh, charity as well you're gonna head for a snooze 4 a.m here good night all yo take care twisted have yourself a lovely jubbly one mate you think twas you should make a jingle about getting your camps i think i probably should yeah need some music to it though right uh, I need one other person to join me for Azure Rathalos. Rentius, you want to come give me a hand with this? Could use an extra player just to get it done quick. It's getting really late for me, guys. I can't stay up as much as I want to keep helping. Uh, unfortunately, we spent so much time trying to get that other guy to bloody <laughs> post his quest. I've sort of, the time's run out. Um, we'll do this. It's better for getting wings. You're going to buy it a bit later? Yeah, no, dude, absolutely. Again, you don't have to buy it from my store, but 
It is on sale at the moment. 60, I think it's 67% off of World and 63% off of Iceborne. So you can get the expand. I think you can get World for $9 something. And uh, Iceborne's like, what, 15? I don't know how much it is. 15? Maybe less? $10? $11? You might join in this Friday to stream. I won't be playing this Friday. I'm not. That's why I'm trying to get people to get, hurry up. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm rushing people, guys, I'm not going to be playing this for a while. Come the end of this week, I'm playing Dragon's Dogma 2. It's coming out on Friday. So that's why I'm trying to, like, begging people to listen and hurry up because this is my last chance really to help you is the next couple of days. I have a reason. There's a method. <laughs> How you doing, Dow? You're still here, brother? You're eating and relaxing? Dude, I appreciate it, mate. Thank you again for the raid, dude. Shouts to you. I'm glad you're having a nice time chilling. You'll definitely get it from me, store. I appreciate it, dude. I appreciate it. If anyone else wants to buy Dragon's Dogma 2 as well, that is also available on my store. Obviously not on sale because it's not out yet, but if you're planning on getting it this Friday, uh, I mean, you can buy it right now if you want. You know me and pre-orders, though. I always say buy it when it actually comes out because... You can watch the reviews. Yo, um, Rentius, come join us, mate. I, can't, I, need a, I need one more player to help. I can get the claggers for you as well. There's a reason to the madness, Narson. There's a reason. You know there's always a reason. Rentius, you coming? You're the only other person in the lobby, mate. I could use a helper. One more. It's getting late for me. Has everyone, has everyone, has everyone got the stream muted today? <laughs> Dude, I swear, man. I don't understand. I don't get it. Like, it, it's, it, it's not just Rentius. Like, it's everyone. I feel like I've been like... Oh, do you want to come join, guys? And then... Yeah, guys, no, I'm doing a 24-hour stream on Thursday, Friday, so I can't do more. What was that, Twas? I couldn't hear you. Guys, I'm not going mad, right? I feel like I'm waiting a long time trying to get people to respond today, right? Like, I'm not getting anything back. I said how limited I am on time. Are they coming? I'm just going to... Let's just go. No, I wouldn't worry about it, Larson, uh, NASA. Thank you for offering. But by the time you boot it up, I'll probably be gone. Um, honestly. I don't get why I'm getting ignored so much today, guys. It's kind of frustrating. <laughs> it's really annoying. Come here, man. Come on. Oi! Ah, bugger. I thought you'd go to there. Messed up, guys. That's my fault. I'm an idiot. That's okay. We got the enraged. That's all we really wanted anyway. Legend's got the CC as well, which is great. Get ready with the paralysis in a second. After this, I'll go para. Paralyzing. Oh yeah, get those wings. Get those wings, legends. I'll hold them in place for a second for you. There you go. Go, go, go. Get them, get them, get them. You should be able to break them pretty quick. Alright, head's done. They only need one wing. But if we break both of them, they got a good chance of getting one. I'm going to try and put a weak spot on so I can do some damage to them. I 
That's a keep it going. Keep hitting those wings, mate. Keep hitting them. Doing good, doing good. I'm surprised we haven't broken the wings yet. There's one. Alright, they've mounted. Yeah, bring it down. We'll go for the other wing. Guys, so when you're a uh, trick when you're mounted, by the way, I still notice a lot of people doing this. When they go to slam you into the wall, just switch spots. If you switch spots, they can't. Um, they can't knock you down. They can't knock you off. Saves a lot of your stamina and helps you bring them down faster. If you're on the head, they're going to wall knock you off the head. So switch to the body. And vice versa, do the opposite. Okay, both the wings are broken. That's excellent. Get ready to capture, guys. Probably. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure here, but... Oh, they're That was a bit weird. Put a trap down. Nope, not enough damage. Can we get a weak spot on the head hunting horn? It's not done, mate. Oh, damn, our damage sucks. What the hell? How? Oh, there we go. Nice. I was going to say. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. I think he was probably ready. I just... The trank... Maybe the second trank didn't activate. GG. Right. That should hopefully be a wing. And then... Uh... Yeah. Just deliver the camps. And then we'll go do the uh, Volcana. At least the only person you'll need to wait for in the next couple of days is yourself. It's the one benefit of Dragon's Dogma being a single player only, I guess. <laughs> I don't have to wait on anyone. Dude, I swear to God, it's been a nightmare. It's been a night... Today, I... Are people... Like, I just wonder, are people even listening to the stream? <laughs> I swear I'm talking to myself. I don't get it. Why... Right. Okay. Yeah, go make your camp deliveries, Carly. Over here. What kind of game is Dragon's Dogma 2? Third person action RPG. Carly. No, 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 no. Don't post your quest. You don't get your camps. You've got you to gotta make them. You'll come make the delivery here at the resource manager. That's it. Come here. You make the delivery. So you go here. Then you go complete deliveries and you deliver them. Nice. Excellent. And you should get two on that map. I think you'd found them because you had the icon saying that you'd found them. I think. I'm assuming you found them. Time to pass out. Take care, his. Have yourself a lovely jubbly one, mate. Got them? We good? Lovely. Excellent. All right. Well, in that case, guys, get your um, MR17 builds. 
This will be the third time I've gotten this build out, but this is the last time I need to get it out. Got to make it again because I can't. Well, I can't save it. I don't have it on my bloody thing. Actually, do I have a Glavinous? I probably do, but I'm just going to run the Palace Guard. It's fine. We'll do Savage Axe. Let's go. Uh, any tips for improving your Fatalis runs? You get 15, 13, 30 consistently. You see some people that can get below 10 with Longsword. Um, well, you're going to need a lot of good move RNG to get sub 10. My best time with Longsword is a 9.56. But the move RNG was crazy. Get rid of your Palico. Once you're comfortable, that's going to improve it because it means he's going to keep focusing you. Try utilizing EI Slash on the head as much as possible on a lot of his moves. That's going to, like, the more you can do that, the better. Exploit all the openings for Helmbreaker. There's a lot of them. Uh, make sure you're constantly, like, cycling, uh, foresight slashing, buffing, and then, yeah. Uh, Carly, do you want to, yeah, post it? I'm ready to go whenever you are. Uh, what else? Heavy artillery on your temporal mantle to get the free knockdown. Should be an easy head break in phase two. Um, that can definitely help. Uh, evasion mantle helps you do a lot more damage if you're not going to use Rocksteady. Rocksteady's good for a consistent start, but evasion's really good for the damage, especially on Longsword. So yeah, it's a tough one, but I like using temporal, temporal after that. You feel like your phase threes are still terrible. Okay. Phase threes where all the good openings are for Longsword. For me, it's phase one. Phase one, like, if, if I don't get a good phase one, I'm not going to get a good uh, thingy. Um, that's where I have the most trouble. Reset. If, if you're not out of phase one within three, two to three minutes, then probably want to reset if you're going for, like, a sub 10. Like, eh, realistically, two minutes 30 is what you're going to be aiming for. Phase two should be auto skip. So you want to make sure you're at red bar coming out of thingy. Uh, major disrespect, please do not join with the Black Fatalis Blade. No, no Fatalis Blade, mate. Don't, don't, don't bring that gear. We look at, look at our gear. Look at um what uh one of Legends and I are bringing. So we're going with like early game stuff to give him a hand, you know. Or mid-game stuff. Not end-game, mate. This is, this is we're just trying to help them not... We don't want to ruin their first experience doing the hunt. Speaking of which, I should probably put a... I think I have to get rid of an Elementless as much as I don't want to. I need Guard up. Because I can't block a bunch of stuff. I also don't have... Wait, do I have Guard? I've got Guard 3. Yeah, alright. We'll put, we'll put Guard up in. I lose a bit of damage, but I do want to be able to uh, guard point. How you doing, Bunny? Welcome back. Hope you have yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. So your buff? Okay, yeah, sure. Have you not got a? Uh, have you not got like a just a palace guard weapon? Dude, you can play greatsword if you want. It's just don't bring. You know, the problem is your gear, mate. <laughs> You're gonna be doing a ton of damage, even with hunting horn. You don't have mid-game stuff. You won't attack. Well, we kind of want someone to attack. <laughs> we're not. We still want to because we, we're still helping them. Uh, do you want to just go make a palace guard hunting horn real quick? I'll wait for you. Just to quick, like really quick. Grab that. That way you can attack as well. Oh, we'll wait for you. It's fine. It's okay. You're, you, you'll probably be able to make one, right? Palace guard hunting horn. Mid-game. One of Legends... Oh, wait. One of Legends is withdrawn. How you doing, Bunny? How you doing, Rock Frost? Welcome back. Hope you have yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. What's Legends running? Yeah, I think Legends is running like mid-game, right? Palace Guard? Oh, he's doing Gluttons. Jagras. The thing is, this is their first time doing Velkana. If we go in and just... All take Fatalis weapons. Dude, the thing's going to be dead in under two minutes. I don't want to, like, ruin the experience for them. That's why I always say, guys, try and bring level-appropriate gear on these ones. I appreciate it. Thank you, dude. Thank you. 
I know, I know it's a bit of effort, but it's worth it. It's worth it, guys, when you're helping people. That way we don't rob them of their first experience fighting the fighting the monster. You've got a crap ton of armor upgraded and max today, but you're already out of money again. Uh, you know the drill, mate. You know the drill. You got the you got the steamworks at the moment. It's perfect. The perfect way to make money. Literally can't go wrong. Golden eggs. All right, and they got their camps now, which is excellent. Wait, you didn't get the camps. Why, why did they lie? I think I'm done for today. <laughs> How you doing, Stefan? Welcome back. Hope you had yourself a lovely, jubbly day today. But we just helped them get all the stuff. Why didn't they make the delivery? They said that they did. You didn't discover it. But why didn't you just say we could have gone and discovered it? <laughs> Never mind. Whatever. If you die, you die. I'm sorry if you don't get your loot. I apologize. Try not to die. Have they been to the locations yet? No. But we could have gone and done that. We could have gone and done that. That was the whole point. The whole reason I did it was to do that. Guys, get your camps. Alright. I printed it on a mug. If you're at the start of Master Rank and you don't have your camps, start getting your camps, guys. I'm going to feel horribly guilty if uh, I kill this thing now. You die. And then you don't get anything. Because... Uh Why is it staying in the sky? Uh, Warnock guys, Warnock, one of you, help us. It's right next to the wall. Why is it not landing? There we go. Normally it lands after that attack, doesn't it? Oh, oops. Oh, dude, I don't have flinch free. It's bad. They're going to die, I think, at some point. They're taking so much damage. I'm, I'm concerned. And if we kill it, it's going to be a problem. No, no, apparently not. I don't want to feel bad. I don't want to lie. I'll try healing them. I'll do my best, chat. I keep watching their health, and I'm like, I got three, two, one. Wait, what? Why did the clagger not work? What the hell? Ouch. 
Ouch. Wait, why did Carly... Oh, they fell off the edge. <laughs> I thought they died. I was thinking, when did they die? No, they didn't. They didn't die. But again, they don't have their camp, so they can't get back quickly. Dude, he's just going to move area again, because we just... God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. You're starting to see the importance of getting your camps, yes? Hey, dude, Dean, welcome back. Hope you only solve a lovely, jubbly day today. Wait, where's it going? Okay, down here. They've spent more time out of the fight. I will try and invade it. The thing was, I wanted you to just be able to enjoy the fight. But because you're getting knocked off and knocked down and you can't travel around, you're not here to experience it. If you have the camps, it doesn't matter if you die, because, you know, you can get back quickly. That's the benefit of it. Damn it. Dude, why? Uh, wall knock, guys. Wall knock. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Pull it to the wall. Over here. Guys, on me, on me. Wall knock it. Okay, nice. Uh, weak spot. Uh, major disrespect. Legend. Well played, guys. Good knockout. Thank you for the weak spot. Disrespect. Cheers, me dear. I know I don't have my full buff up, but i make the most of it. Oh, I'm getting a lot of hit stop. It's these uh, wargs. Got it. Oh, damn it. Nice. Good paralysis. Well played. Stop here. Oh, dude, I'm literally just... It's chaining me. <laughs> Thank you. by my team than Belkana. Oh. My guard point weird. Dude, why are my guard points not weird? It was right at me. Oh, and now, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I do the guard point, you don't hit me. But when I don't do the guard point, it hits me. Nah, that makes sense. Oh, 
All right, don't let it get away, guys. Flash it. Come on, team. They don't have the camps, so we can't let them. We can't let it get away because if it dies in the final area, and they die, they're not going to get anything. So do not let it get away. Make sure you load up a flash if you haven't done so already. Five, four, three. Uh, hunting horn, grab it. I'll get it. I'm not going to get it. Oh no, they did. Did they get it? No, oh, they did as well. Thank you. Weak spot remade. Guys, go, go, go. Finish it. Finish it. Don't let it get away. Guys, guys, guys. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Don't let it run. Stun it. Hit it with a pod. It can't flash it again. That was... Not enough damage. Dude, look at how much longer this quest takes just because they don't have the camps as well. God damn. It adds a lot, doesn't it? I mean, look at look at the time just because they can't move around. And because they're out of combat for so long when, they, when you get knocked down and stuff. It really makes a big difference. Just do more damage. Yeah, excuse my Baroff, Hornator, Paolamu, Dodo Gamma armor. <laughs> I'm doing as much as I can, guys. You learned the hard way. You didn't have to. <laughs> I, I, I helped you get all the stuff as well. We did it. We went through all the effort. All you had to do was just deliver. Make the delivery. Do liver. Do you, do you do liver? We were done. One of legends. No, 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 no. Oh, God damn it. They put it. One of. Don't, don't mess this up, mate. Don't put the bombs right on the tip of the head. Gone, gone, lad. You shouldn't need to do that. You should be fine, mate. You should be fine. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa what are you doing? <laughs> Stop. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. I'm done. <laughs> Dude, literally got a great sword. <laughs> uh, honestly, this has been so painful. <laughs> just... Oh. I need helpers, man, in future when I do this. I need me helpers. <laughs> You're in a hurry. You've got work. Sometimes the fastest option is to wait. Greatsword, Greatsword does double damage on wake up. It would have killed it immediately there. Yeah, robbing Greatsword of his greatest joy. Rarely has victory been so painful. Well, it's a win, at least. I feel bad for Greatsword, though. <laughs> it's a Greatsword. Dude, he was lining it up. In all, all fairness, one of legend. Dude, you should have done enough Greatsword wake-ups to be able to do that like that. You should just... That should just be second nature to you. Oh, dear. Thank you for the help, though, guys. Get your camps. That is, that is, that, that quest is the perfect, is it allegory? Is that the word I'm looking for? For why getting your camps is so quickly. Let me just Google that and make sure allegory is the right word I'm looking for. But that entire quest, that is why you get them, guys. Yeah. That's the perfect story. Tells it tells the story better than anything. <laughs> the greatest great sword wake up. 
The thing is, Carly, you didn't make any mistakes. Your only thing that you didn't do was just make the delivery for the camps. That was it. We we went we spent like what half an hour farming it all and getting it all ready. And then I said, Oh, did you make the delivery? And you said yes. <laughs> and it wasn't you didn't make the delivery. So we never had it. But yeah, that and let Greatsword have the wake up at least. Definitely let Greatsword have the wake up. Don't uh don't flash the monster when it's asleep. Oh dear. You've seen the Greatsword curing clip on TikTok. That's how you play Greatsword. Um I need to do something quickly just to Make myself feel a bit better after that hunt. By myself. Rarely does so many things go wrong. But at least they didn't die and they got their calves. That's the main thing. You do blindfolded run? Yes. I've beaten most of the game blindfolded. <laughs> the pain on Tor's face. The thing is, I've been there, mate. With a third monitor? No. I've got four monitors, but no, not with a third monitor. In rage. What's your opinion on Queen Poons a lot, mate, guys? I already talked at length for this. It's too late for me to start talking about it now. All I'll say is this. Guys, don't lie. Don't cheat. Don't falsify things. Do them legit and people will respect you and appreciate you for it. Stay honest, guys. Stay honest. Don't feel the pressures of the community or whatever to make stuff up just because. Wait, why did I bring sleep? I meant to bring paralysis. Four, three, two, I'm going to put the respawn on there. <laughs> it's a 10 out of 10 clip. <laughs> Oh, I missed the head. Whoops. Wait, why did that not... No guard point? Oh, wait. Oh, oh crap. Ran out. Mm, I could not. I was too slow. Too slow on my sidestep. Oh, he missed me. No, I needed that guard point. Damn it. Never mind. It's alright. No, you bastard. Wait, how did he even get me with that roar? Oh, dude, you've done four of those attacks. He never. I'm not even getting any good hits off, guys. You ain't gonna hit me with that second one, are you?
I was trying to get a KO, but I keep missing the head. It's not going well. Just a bit too far forward. And he, and he keeps missing my guard points too. I think I'll be better off with the small one. No break. Should have bought Part Breaker instead of Coalescence. That took way too long. Ah, Run's dead. Oh, you just missed me. And my shield ran out there. Oh, I'm done. Oh. You hate this guy? Always spamming the roars? It's pretty good with Charge Blade. You just need to uh, get your AEDs off. Knock him out. Good night. You're off. Yeah, take care, dude. Yeah, I need to wrap up, but like I said... I can't leave it on that horrible Velcana or uh, this. I don't know where Emzy and Leona were for that quest. Because they would have bought their... Uh, they would have. We waited so long to get that done, dude. That took 40 minutes to get the camps and everything. And then only to not have the camps. Oh, I got boosted, though. So much time invested. <laughs> You're going to grind gears? I think your gear is pretty good. You got the Folger engine have stuff in that. Yeah, take care, Legends. Take care, dude. Oh, we got a small one. This is good. This is better. This is what I want. Aims at the head. Gets on the arm. Wonderful. I don't know if that's going to reach. Yeah, we're good. What's that? Dude, now he's doing the good RNG moves for, like, counters. Uh, I need more pods. Ah, screw it. Why am I getting knocked back? Do I not have enough guard? Hold him down. I just realized he's not enraged yet. Why? Oh, yeah. Freaking. There we go. That's, that's what I was looking for on the first quest. But it never happened. big. Three, two, one. This is going much better. Oh, God. Like, delayed it. No, 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 no. Two, 
Come on. No, come on. Second KO, that's what I want. There we go. That was better. day well tomorrow is potentially our last day of playing monster Hunter. so make sure you keep your bloody twitches on so you can actually listen <laughs> god today guys i swear it was like drawing salt from a wound today why was everybody dude, i was getting ignored so much by like everyone We'll have some fun tomorrow. Last Monster Hunter stream for a while, potentially. Great. Nice to see the camera working. What the hell was that? What was that? What's going on there? Bloody Streamlabs glitching out. Thank you for the stream. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow, though. Yes. Dude, what is the camera doing? It's like breaking. I'm glad you guys had fun. Uh, here is the raid message. We're going to raid out. God, it's 3 a.m. Guys, I can't keep doing this, man. <laughs> I can't keep doing this. i got to stick to my time. I've got 24 hours at the end of the thing. Right, who am I raiding today? Who am I raiding today? There's actually not many people on today. Um... Uh, hmm. You know what? I know I, I, there's, there are a lot of people. There are a lot of good people I could raid. I might have to. Hmm, do I skip the raid today? I might skip the raid today because I've, I've stayed quite late, and um, I do want to. Um, I want to go make clips and stuff. I've got a lot of things to do. We could raid someone new, maybe. Could do. The only thing is I feel bad, but we could I could raid and leave and like let's see who's on. My recommended. Who is this? I'm having, I'm just having a quick look to see. Um I yeah. Spending too long trying to decide. Let's go. You just discovered Kiyun. Kiyun? I feel like I know them, but I don't. They're not on my thing. Uh, wake ups would be great sword, then hammer. No. No, 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 no. Wake ups would be uh, great sword, then. Actually, I guess Hammer, yeah. Hammer's got like a single big hit. Uh, Wyvern Heart, if you've got a proper Wyvern Heart heavy bow gun, that's pretty good. Who is Q? Let me see, do I have them? Why do I feel like I've, I've met this person before? Let me have a look. I recognize the name. Maybe they're like a TBD viewer who uh, started streaming. Maybe, maybe not. 
Open lobby? Uh, sure. You recommend them, Rantius? We'll raid in. And then I can, uh, we'll, I'll let, send you guys over to chill. I feel like I recognize the name. I must have seen them around there somewhere. She's still at high rank? That's ah, fine. I don't, I don't mind where people are at to raid them. It's not a problem. You guys can help them out. Go chill in their stream. Um... Make sure I'm spelling it right. Yeah, that looks right. Right, anyway. Tomorrow. Yes. You've good no news. You fixed your two-factor authentication situation. That is good. That is good. Yeah. I wish I could say the same about Facebook, giving me back my bloody Facebook page, even though I had two-factor authentication. But apparently, that doesn't really mean anything. I'm still waiting to get that back, guys. It's been almost nine months now. Anyway, much love, guys. Take care. Uh, we're going to get this raid on. Tomorrow is potentially our last Monster Hunter stream. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping to hear back from Capcom tomorrow about Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, thank you again for the raid, Dow. Much appreciated. Shouts again to Viseri and Dow and everyone who raided in today. Everyone coming in. Make sure you go give him a follow, guys. He is going for 1,500. Um... We will be doing more help for hunters tomorrow, guys. Please, please, if we do help for hunters tomorrow, keep the stream up on your phone or something just so we can listen because it's going to be my last one and I want to help as many people as possible. But the if I spend 40 minutes just talking and not being able to, you know, uh, help people out, then it really does slow things down. So keep keep the stream up, guys. Keep the stream up. Make sure you refresh it just in case there's no, so there's no um, latency because... Uh, I, this is going to be it. This might be people's last chance for me to actually help them tomorrow for, for well, I don't know how long because I don't know how long we're going to be playing Dragon's Dogma 2, but it, it could be a while, right? Dragon's Dogma 2 looks like a pretty big game. Yes, uh, before we go, oh God, we're going to skip the outro, but very quickly, uh, YouTube, TikTok, uh, Twitter, guys, Question of the day will be up as well. All right, au revoir, guys. Here comes credits. Goodbye. Take care. Twelve by the